fantastic. And I mean, these ones are great supercharged slot ships, all in eyes and tam now these are all sentinel ships as that's what we hunt on the mainstream all of these like i say are in eyes and tam now that i want to express is an important step because if you're not in the 10th galaxy eyes and tam you will not find any of the ships that i am showing you today however do not worry if you cannot get into eyes and tam yourself you can go up to the anomaly go to the teleporter the big one at the back look at the featured bases and head to the one that is based in eyes and tam that is your entry into eyes and tam if you don't have it already now every single one of the ships i show today will have a communication ball placed down as well as the coordinates and all the portal information shown at the top of the screen to find the exact supercharged ship i am showing you so Let's go. Okay, now ship number one on today's list is an S-Class. Now this one was found. Um, it was a ship we hunted for a great supercharged slot placement, didn't find one, so we settled for the S. The S is never always the best. Now this particular one is very simple, just a purple with a tiny bit of yellow. Supercharged slot placement on this one was a one, two, one. One left, two middle, one on the right. In the air, it's very simple. It's just the bottom sections kind of drop and dips a little bit. And like I say, the yellow on this one is very, very minimal. So next. Okay, now moving on to ship number two on today's list. Now, as always, the details will always be top of the screen, including the coordinates to the exact ship that I show. Now, this one is a very simple style, no main wings, it just has the kind of tie section that splits out and mini wings top and bottom. It comes in a purple with blue. Now, as an A-class, you see only two initially, but once you've upgraded it, you've got three on the right and then one over on the left. In the air, like I say, it has no main wings, it's just the tie section that kind of opens just a slight amount with the four mini wings on the rear. What do you reckon of this one? Next. Okay, now ship number three on today's list. Again, this one starts life as an A-class. All the details you need are top of the screen. Now, this one comes in a very bright neon yellow as the winch on the front, dragonfly with skinny wings and tank feet. Lots going on on this one. Ah, but it's got skinny wings. Supercharged slots, you only see one initially on the right is the A-class. Once upgraded to S, you've got three over there on the left and one on the right. Very bright, this one. In the air, it does look very nice. There's lots going on. It's very busy with the wingtips and the thrusters. It looks very, very busy at the back. What do you reckon? Next. Okay, now ship number four today. Now this one starts life as a class B. Now this one's a little bit special. This one I still have in my collection and it's called Death Seeker. Now this one comes in a lovely white with just an undersection, deep vented wings. Oh, it doesn't have many thrusters on the back, but I don't care. This one is a little beauty. Still in my collection, like I say, supercharged slots as the B. You only see two together initially. Once upgraded to S, that turned into three in the middle and one on the right. This thing looks lovely with the tri eyes on the front there. Um, I can't see myself getting rid of this one. It's probably one of my best white ships I've got, if I'm honest. What do you reckon? Are you going to pick this one up? Next. Moving on now to ship number five. Another Class B in today's list, another Dragonfly. This one has full size wings, it has the tank feet. Now it comes in a kind of, I guess, construction yellow and white. That's what I would class this as. Now supercharged slots, as the B class, initially you only see one. Once you fully upgraded to S, you've got three over there on the left together, and then that one you see initially on the start. Now in the air, this one doesn't look too bad. Full size wings always finishes it for me. The wings could have done just a little bit more. So personally, not my cup of tea. Next. Okay, now moving on now. Ship number six, another one that starts life as a class B. Now all the details, as always, top of the screen. Color scheme on this one comes in a kind of salmon, pink, red, uh, with white and a little bit of black there. It does have the fangs on the front too. Now supercharged slots as a B initially, only has two together in the middle. Once you fully upgraded all four together, unfortunately, just not in a square, but still nice. Now in the air, this thing does look pretty nice. Very simple, but you've got the prongs on the side there, the rear extended wings, the pincers on the bottom, nose fangs, wide front, lovely. Next. Okay, now ship number seven, another one that starts life as a class A. Again, all the details you need top of the screen. Color scheme on this one comes in a yellow and black with a bit of purple in there. Also has the tank feet, nice wing tips too. Now, supercharged slots on this one. Initially is in A, you can see two over there together on the right. Once fully upgraded to S, you can see two on the left 
to on the right. Nice looking ship this one. Now in the air it remains quite simple as there's not a lot going on other than the wings that dip down but wingtips top and bottom, not a bad little ship. What do you think of this one? Next. Right now moving on to ship number 8 on today's list. Now this is the first class C. Ignore the class though if you're anything like me and the stream and you're after the best supercharged placements and style. Now the question is when it comes to style this one is yellow and red so are you loving it or not? Now it's supercharged slots initially as a C you're only going to see one. Once you've upgraded this particular one to S all four are there in the middle. Once again it's a shame they're not a square but still a nice little setup there. Now in the air with no big main wings it's very simple. You've got the mandibles on the top which also have little mini wings as well. Hmm, loving it? Next. Okay, now ship number nine on today's list. This one is a class C ship also. Now the color scheme on this one comes in red. It is a dragonfly style. Uh, it does have the undercarriage, which gives it the extended thrusters and it's worth noting it is full size wings. Now when it comes to the supercharged slots as a C class, we can only see one initially on the left. Once you have fully upgraded this thing to S class, you'll see three over on the left and one on the right. Now once in the air, it does look quite graceful, very simple. It's a minimal dragonfly of just the bug and the undercarriage, but it does look rather nice. What do you reckon? Next. Okay, now ship number 10 on today's list, another class C ship here. Uh, color scheme on this one is like a dual teal. This one is really nice. I had this one in my collection for quite a while, and the only reason I replaced it is because I found one very similar that was faster however this is still fast and still amazing supercharged slots we've got three over on the left together and one on the right once you fully upgraded it to s class now once in the air this thing does look amazing now for me i think if you're going to have a dragonfly style ship if it doesn't have tank feet it must have pincers and then pincers do look amazing lovely ship lovely colors what do you reckon of this one hmm next Right, ship number 11 on today's list. This one also starts life as a class C ship. Color scheme on this one comes in blue, yellow, and black. Now you can see it has the deep vented wings down there, makes it nice and thick. We have four extended thrusters, top and bottom, with the prongs and extended thrusters on the side. Very thick ship. C class, we just see one supercharged slot initially. Fully upgrade this one to S class. You can see three in a row over on the left, and then one just to the right of that towards the middle. Now in the air, as you can see, lots of big thrusters pushing this thing lovely bubbly it's a nice little color scheme if you like blue what do you reckon of this one but it's not for me is it for you next okay ship number 12 this one also starts life as a class c ship color scheme on this one is red white and black the style is a tie style now these things as i always say look way better in the air than they do on the ground so let's see it in the air before we judge now supercharged slots you can see one initially on the left uh, once you fully upgrade this to s that turns to three together there on the left center and then one on the far right in the air once it's all opened up and turns into its tie style this thing looks great with the wingtips there on the sides you've got the prongs the rear back wings giving it the extension plenty of thrusters going on this is lovely what do you think hmm now that is all of today's 12 ships. Now remember, they were all in Eisentown. Some fantastic, and I mean fantastic, supercharged slot placements today on these ones. Now I've got many more ready to come into videos, and some of them soon will be from Hilbert as well. Now, do you have any ships that you found that are super amazing that you want to share? If so, head to our Discord. The link will be down below. Let me know in the comments what it is you're particularly looking for so when we're doing our live streams, I know what to look out for. Now, don't forget to like, subscribe, hit that notification bell. Now, also, if you want to grab some TGH merch until December the 25th, if you use the code NEXT, you get 10% off everything. Thanks for watching. I'll see you all in the next one. And welcome back to the Game Hub for another chunk of ship hunting on No Man's Sky. Today, I bring you 19 fresh and new Sentinel ship locations. Now, as always, these ship locations will be documented and put in a playlist which now holds over 530 Sentinel ship locations. Oh, quite a few now.
Now, there's more ship locations available on the live stream playbacks, many that don't make the videos. Now, every ship location is in the Euclid galaxy, so that is important or you won't find the ships. Now, if any bases get in your way, report them. Reload your saves, grab your ships. Now, there's many more ships available also in the Discord. Check the description for the link. Multiplayer must be disabled to make sure there's no hiccups and every ship will have a communication ball placed to make it easier. So, let's begin. Let's go, let's go. Okay, ship number one now. Class S, portal address, coordinates, top of the screen. Color scheme on this one, yellow, white, and black. Now this is a dragonfly style. It does have the full size dragon wings and it has extended thrusters on pipes, not side wings. Supercharged slots rather spread out it is like i say an s class so no need to upgrade in the sky you can see it does look amazing especially those extensions with the pipes there i do like the full size dragon wings i've always said that but let's move on next okay ship number two class a this one portal address coordinates top of the screen color scheme on this one is black and blue very sleek ship this one i do like this one has the vented wings looks very nice very menacing with that undercarriage as well if you like the sleek simple blue ones this is a nice choice supercharged slots as an a class you can see two in the middle one on the right when you upgrade it to s class the fourth one is over on the left hand side but this ship does look rather nice like i say if you do like the simple styles this one does look nice with those vented wings what do you reckon next Okay, ship number three is another A class now. This one is a hauler style and it's black and orange, primarily black, secondarily orange. So it's a little bit different. Otherwise, I probably wouldn't have covered it. Not a big fan of the oranges. Supercharged slots as an A class, you can see they're rather spread out. So you're gonna have to upgrade it yourself to where to see what it's like. In the air, it doesn't really change much other than the bottom does fan out, but it's still got orange in it next okay now ship number four this is another class a coordinates portal address top of the screen this is another dragonfly style but this one does have the skinny dragonfly wings color scheme on this one it is pure red even the engine bay and the trimmings supercharged slots as an a you can see two in the middle one on the right if you upgrade it to an s class you can see the fourth one over on the left hand side not too bad once in the air like i say it does have the skinny wings but the undercarriage does give it a nice extension the pipes on the side is nice next okay ship number five now this is another class a ship this one comes in the form of blue and white vented underwings extended top wings it is a tie style so this will always look better in the air than it does on the ground plenty of thrusters in play there supercharged slots as you can see Possibly it could have three together. Mm, almost does. As an S class, that is. Not a bad supercharged layout. Now, in the air, you can see it does look pretty nice. It all spreads out, like I said, a tie style, the three lights at the front. Do you like the blue and white color, though? That is the question. Very nice tie. Next. Ship number six, another class S here. This one comes in green and black. All the details, top of the screen you need to find this bad boy. Do you like green? I know there is a few green lovers out there. Now this does have a style that isn't almost tie style, but not quite. As an S class, which it is, two in the middle, two on the left, once you've taken it to the space station. So you do need to unlock that one. In the air, all it really does is dip down, but the bottom does fold round in a tie style and the top slightly very nice next right ship number seven this is another a class details again top of the screen the color scheme on this one is blue and black it is in an x-wing style it looks like a hauler long style to begin with when we look at the supercharged slots as an a class we've got two on the right upgrade it to an s class you have three groups up there over on the right and one down the bottom left in the air the x-wing style does take shape looks lovely if you ask me but do you like this in blue and black hmm. i do next okay ship number eight now this one comes in red and black this is a dragonfly style this one 
is unfortunately not got tank feet, but that does not take away from its beautiful style. Lovely looking ship. If we look at the supercharged slots, we have two on the right and one over on the left. If it upgrades to an S class, we have two together on the left and two together on the right. Nice balanced supercharged slots. Now in the air, this thing looks beautiful. With the vented wings giving it that depth and the chicken feet tucked away, this looks lovely in the air. Nice ship. Next. Okay, now ship number nine, another class A ship here. Coordinates, portal address, top of the screen. Color scheme on this one comes in white. Now we're just looking at a simple white bug body and the tank feet. That is all you're getting. Very minimalistic, this one. Now, supercharged slots, we can see two together over there on the left and one on the right. And once you've upgraded it, you've got the third one over there on the left as well. Now, once in the air, you're not going to expect much to change here. The feet tuck up um, and that's it. But either way, minimalistic, white, do you like it? Next. Okay, ship number 10, another class A ship here, another dragonfly style. This one comes in yellow and black. It has the skinny dragonfly wings on this one and the white extended engine. Now, when we look at the supercharged slots on this one, they're very spread out. Uh, didn't upgrade this one to S. You can experiment if you like it. In the air, it does look okay. But like I say, it does have the skinny wings, which is not for me. Um, but maybe for you. Next. Okay, ship number 11. This one is another class S ship here. Full details, top of the screen. Uh, it's orange. Um, don't like orange. Meh. It's orange. Supercharged slots. They're orange. It's all orange. I don't like orange. But I'm documenting it because it's an S class. It's orange. Next. Okay, ship number 12 now on the list. Class A, many Class A's today. Now, details top of the screen, color scheme on this one is red, blue, and black. Again, very simple style ship here. We're trying to keep them simple too. Now we've got two on the right, one on the left when it comes to supercharged slots. We didn't upgrade this one to S, you'll have to check that one out yourself. Now, if you like the Superman, Spider-Man style, wow, well, check it out. Next. Okay, ship number 13 now. This one comes in red and black. It is a long extended style with the four eyes, deep vented wings. Now, unfortunately, this doesn't do much uh, once it's in the air. Two slots we can see is an A class. Again, didn't upgrade this one to S class. Something you'll have to do if you like it. Doesn't change shape in the air, like I say. The back stays as it is. Next. Okay, ship number 14 now, another minimalistic ship here. This one is red. Class A, details top of the screen. It's just a red bug body on the skis. So again, this one isn't going to change in form much. Supercharged slots, very spread out as an A class. Again, didn't upgrade this one as it wasn't worth looking at, to be honest. Uh, once it's in the air, it does spread out on the skis, but that's about it. Next. Okay, ship number 15, another class S ship here. One for the green lovers again. Uh, this one comes in green and white, has the white vented wings, the tank feet, has the extended board at the top with the extended thrusters. Overall, not a bad looking ship for an S class. Supercharged slots, we can see two there towards the middle and one further across to the right. Once you upgrade, you can see the fourth one slightly over there to the left. Hmm. In the air, it does look quite nice. The wings dip down slightly. It does have the nice looking light. Very simple. Hmm. Next. Okay, ship number 16. We go from green and white to green and black. Another class A, this one. Coordinates, portal address, top of the screen. The bottom wings are vented, which I do like, as I've said before. Very minimalistic on the green, um, but very sleek. Supercharged slots, we can see two together over on the left and one in the middle. Once you upgrade that, we've got two on the left and then two towards the middle, but they're spread out. In the air, like I say, very simple, very sleek. All you're going to get here is the wings dipping down, but the vented wings give it that depth. I do like this one. Do you? Next. Right, ship number 17 now, another class A ship. This one is a solid red little ship here. Um, now, depends if you like this style of ship or not. It's an X-wing. Don't judge it on the ground. 
looking at the supercharged slots we can see they're very spread out unfortunately so there may be a better version down there once in the air like i say the x-wing shape takes form these ships always look better once airborne hmm. next right ship number 18 here now this one is a yellow and white dragonfly full-size dragon wings here this one does look oh, pretty nice i did pick this one up and recently sacrificed it oh for the better cause ship hunting now supercharged slots it does have three together over there on the right hand side the fourth one when you upgrade it to the s is on the left still a great setup though in the air this thing looks amazing now i've already got a yellow and white one which is the four slot supercharged group one so this one went bye bye next okay ship number 19 on the list now this one is a class s ship this one is red and black it has the under pincer solid black under pincer which gives it extended thrusters on the back it does only have the skinny dragonfly wings but nonetheless it looks amazing supercharged slots we have three groups up there in the middle fantastic layout uh, when you get the fourth one unlocked it's over on the right in the air it looks beautiful do you like this one <sighs> i would have kept this one if it had full-size dragon wings but maybe you will look at that beautiful which one of the 19 did you like today did you like any of them let me know in the comments it's always good to get feedback on these videos i need to know what people prefer what should i be hunting tell me in the comments what is your ideal ship color size tell me what you want put it on the menu and if i see it i won't overlook it we'll try and document it as always thanks for watching and i'll see you in the next one and welcome to yet another ship hunting video here at the game hub however this one is a little bit different. This one is 28 locations that are viewer finds. Discord viewer finds. So come, join us, and check out what they've got to offer. Now, not every ship is going to be an S-Class, but don't worry. Every ship can be upgraded for free these days when you change your settings to free purchases. So, no need to worry. As always, every ship will be located in the Euclid Galaxy. So, they're accessible to every single one of you now beacons will be placed down uh, as well as save points so they'll be easily findable now i also recommend that once you start this you turn off multiplayer just there's no hiccups as always coordinates and portal address will be shown on every single ship credit for every single ship will be shown at the bottom of the screen let's go Okay, ship number one submitted in by Coxaflopping69. This one is an S class. Um, now, the color scheme is gray and red. Really nice color scheme. It has the uh, tank feet, dragon wings, the supercharged slots themselves. You can only see two in the middle, one on the right. But once taken to the space station, you can see two together on the right and two in the middle. Once in the air, you can appreciate that color scheme, gray and red, like I say really nice i do wish it had the full size dragon wings if it did it probably would have made my collection what do you think of this one nice find nice find next ship number two class a ship this one submitted by discord user crin now this one comes in a black and white color scheme lots going on in terms of side wings prongs mini wings it has the surfboard style bottom has the uh, split top which does also split a bit further once in the air uh, supercharged slots once you have upgraded it to west you can see two on the right and two towards the middle so not a bad layout in the sky you can see it fully spread out you can see the top does spread slightly wings do dip uh, color scheme like i say black and white very nice very simple do you like it moving on next okay ship number three this one is a class a ship this one was submitted by millie mill discord username now this one is yellow blue and black very simple style just a bug with dual layer of wings the wings that do extend back the supercharged slots are very spread out on this particular one you have to upgrade it to west to see where the fourth is in flight can't expect a lot to change on this one as it is so simple wings just dip moving on next 
Right, ship number four. This one is a Class A, submitted by Game Crasher. This one is a very simple yet elegant black ship. Extended rear back wings has the undercarriage uh, that does split slightly once in the air to give it a nice shape. Three supercharged slots grouped together on the right. The fourth would be over on the left if you upgrade it. In the air, nothing much changes other than the, like I say, the bottom does kind of angle out. Very nice ship. Next. Okay, ship number five now. This one is a Class S ship, submitted by Twix. Now, the color of this one is red, black, and white. It does have the tank feet, not the full-size dragon wings. Supercharged slot straight from the off. We can see all four, two on the right and two in the middle. In flight, you can see the color scheme shine bright. Um, the planet lighting always affects how some of these come out, but this one does look rather nice in the sky. Just need the full-size wings for me. Next. Now, ship number six. This one is submitted by Orion. Class A. Now, this one is a very simple ship. This one is red. And it's just a bug. Not a lot to see here, really. Unless you like bugs. Now, the supercharged slots, as we can see, is an A. is two on the right and one in the middle. Upgrade to see the fourth. Now, in flight, all you're going to see change is the chicken feet rise. That is it. Let's move on. Next. Okay, ship number seven, another class A ship here. This one is submitted by Coxaflopping69. Now this one is a hauler style, but it does spread out once in the air to form the X-wing shape. Supercharged slots, we can see two on the right and two in the middle once you've upgraded it to S. In the air, like I say, the parts that are balanced and even in shape do spread out forming the X-wing shape. Very nice if you like blue and black and haulers. What do you reckon? Moving on, next. Okay, ship number eight now. Now this one was submitted by Cox of Flopping. It is a class S ship here. Now the color on this one is black. It doesn't have any side wings. We're looking at just the bug, uh, the bottom skis and the top part as well. Now the supercharged slots, we can see two on the right, one in the middle, one on the left. Once airborne, as you can see, the bottom part does just sort of dip and curve a bit and the top bit just raise and spread. That's all you're going to get. If you like this one, let's move on. Next. Okay, ship number nine. Another class A ship. This one was submitted by Ouija Yukin. Now, this one comes in a color scheme of white. Now, we have the extended thrusters on the side, thanks to the pipes. We have just a single vent layer of wings that go all the way across. Uh, supercharged slots, we can see two in the middle, one on the right as an A class. Once you upgrade it, there's two in the middle, two on the right. So not a bad little layout. In the sky, you can see the full bright white color. It is a simple ship, yet still, it's got a very appealing look to it, especially that front light. If you like this one, let's move on. Next. Okay, number 10. This one is also submitted by Yukon. Now, this one is a class A. The color scheme on this one is yellow white and black now again it's a very simple ship uh, but it does have the dual layer of side wings with the prongs when it comes to supercharged slots they are very spread out so you're going to need to upgrade it to s to see where that fourth one is now in the sky it all just dips and spreads a little bit looks very graceful let's move on next okay ship number 11 this one is another class a ship submitted by orion this color is red, black, and white. It's a very simple looking dragonfly, full size wings, tank feet as well, no extra side wings, so it's just a pure dragonfly look. Now the supercharged slots, you can see there are three grouped in the middle as an A class. If you upgrade it, the fourth one does appear over on the left. Once in the air, you can see the nice clean red, black, and white color scheme. It does look nice and tidy with the feet tucked up full size wings if you like these and you like red i suggest checking this one out what do you reckon let's move on next okay ship number 12 now this one is another class a ship this one was submitted by orion color scheme on this one is blue and white very simple looking ship it is the thai style ship once you take it in the air supercharged slots as an a you can only see two grouped over on the left but once it's an s you can see two on the left and two on the right Airborne, you can see it takes its shape into the tie style. Prongs, 
uh that extra prong on the wing as well it all looks very nice and graceful i like this one i like this one next okay ship number 13 now another class a ship this one was submitted by crin now the color scheme on this one comes in red and blue again very simple style ship but it does have the x-wing mini wings if you like that style uh, it does spread out a little bit supercharged slots as an s you can see two on the right one in the middle one on the left once airborne you can't expect it to change much other than the wings dip and like i say the top and the bottom do kind of spread out a little bit but that's all they really do let's move on next okay ship number 14 another class a ship here this one was submitted by game crasher now this one comes in just white pure white uh, it looks very simple and very basic on the ground doesn't look like much but you need to take it in the air supercharged slots we can see two in the middle one on the right once upgraded three in the middle very nice now airborne it forms the x-wing shape but with the top being longer than the bottom it does give it a kind of unique shape and being white very nice i like this one too next right ship number 15 now another class a ship this one was submitted by Siphinimus. I'm sure I got that name wrong, but Siphinimus. Apologies. Now, the class is A. The color, red and black. Very nice looking dragonfly here. Now, it does have the full size wing. Supercharged slots are all spread out as an A class. As an S class, I don't improve too much, but still, this is a very nice shape. Once airborne, you can see the bottom skirt split apart. Uh, it does look very nice. If you like red and black, this one may be an option for you. What do you reckon? Let's move on. Next. Okay, ship number 16. This one is submitted by Coxa Flopping 69 That's a few he submitted. This one is another Class A ship. Color scheme on this one is just simply black. Uh, you can call the cab purple, the bug in the middle. Uh, it's got a very simple style with the dragonfly wings, but they're not full width. Uh, supercharged slots that all spread out as you can see kind of nothing really grouped there to put together uh, in the air though it looks very nice with the predominant front but do you like the skinny wings either way this is a very good find i like it let's move on next right ship number 17 now another class a ship here this one also submitted by coxaflop in 69 color scheme on this one is a pale blue and black so you've got the big wide front on the bug uh, you've got the exhaust you've got the vented wings and the very simple top uh, two together on the right one in the middle but when you upgrade to s you get two in the middle two on the right they're very very close together uh, once airborne the top does split and drop just a little bit and the wings do dip down very simple very simple but again appealing to the right person let's move on next okay ship number 18 now this one submitted by crin again this one comes in a color scheme of red and black this one does have the fangs on the front um it fangs are always appealing to the right people if you appreciate them very simple style but the prongs on the wing do give it a nice bit of depth uh, as well as the tips the supercharged slots once upgrades to where you've got two on the left one in the middle one on the right so not a bad layout overall in the air the tips and the uh, prongs do set the wings off the, the fangs at the front very nice ship if you do like this style and a very nice color scheme let's move on next ship number 19 now on the list another class a this one is submitted by game crasher it's a dragonfly style with the four dragonfly wings and the underskirts uh very simple wings no extended thrusters um it is however uh, a weird one with the supercharged slots because they're all very spread out even as an s class they're all spread out across the middle row very balanced uh, in the air it does look fantastic those side skirts split out the wings dip down looks very dominant full size dragon wings it is a very nice looking ship if you can forgive the supercharged slots next okay ship number 20 very very simple bug all the videos including this one i've always got a simple ship uh, we've had a simple red one and now we've got a very simple teal and white one on the skis supercharged slots we only went to an a there and we can see that it was two on the right one in the middle you need to upgrade to see the rest not a lot to show in the air it's a very simple ship do you like it next okay ship number 21 
another Class A ship. This one submitted by Game Crasher. Another Dragonfly style. This one comes in blue and white. Again, the full size Dragon Wings and Tank Feet. Now, once you look at the supercharged slots, you have three that are stacked nicely over on the right as an A, and then four stacked nicely as an S. Nice. In the air, it does look very nice once the tank feet tuck up, and it always makes a difference to me having the full size dragon wings. Very elegant, this one. Do you like blue and white? Let's move on. Next. Okay, ship number 22 now. This one was submitted by Cox of Flopping 69 again. This one is a class A ship. The color scheme on this one is black and white. It does have the very nice six eyes at the front there. Dual layer of side wings with the extended boosters. Now supercharged slots, we can see one over on the right is an A and then two over on the left that are not next to each other, but they're close. In the air, once it all dips and the top spreads open, you can see the fangs there, but they're tucked away. It is a nice looking ship, this one. Do you like it? Next. Okay, ship number 23 now, another class uh, A ship. This one is also submitted by Game Crasher. Now it's a Dragonfly style, uh, white bug body with the exhaust nozzle on the top. You have the full size Dragon Wings, uh, supercharged slots, you can see two together on the right. And as an S class, when you upgrade it, you're also getting two together on the left. Now, in the air, it looks exactly where I expect it to look. A very simple, sleek Dragonfly. The chicken legs all tuck up full size wings again finish it off i like it next okay number 24 another six side sentinel ship here class a submitted by coxa flopping 69 this one comes in the color scheme of yellow and black or purple six eyes like i say at the front three supercharged slots grouped over on the right as an a four over on the right not stacked on top but very close in a nice neat pile on the right. In the air, it does look very nice with them six eyes, very simple shape, but yellow and black make it work. I like it. Next. Okay, ship number 25, another class A ship. Again, this one is submitted by Game Crasher. The color scheme on this one is blue, uh, white, and black. Now it does have multiple tips on the wings, top and bottom, full size dragon wings, has the chicken legs with a circle light, Supercharged slots once upgraded to west, you can see the kind of spread out, so it's a very balanced look. But in the air, it does look very nice because again, those underskirts split apart, giving it some nice shape. Again, nice ship. Next. Okay, ship number 26 in the list now. This one is submitted also by Game Crasher. Now, the color scheme on this one is green. Now we have a little bit of black on the wings there once it is folded up, but the wings are pure green once airborne. Uh, supercharged slots, so we can see is an A-class, two on the right, one in the middle. You're going to need to upgrade to S to see that fourth one. As I say, once airborne, the wings flip over and they are pure green. So it's just a pure green body and the wings. Nice. Next. Okay, ship number 27. This one is a class S ship submitted by Game Crasher. This is a beautiful white dragonfly ship with the tank feet as well. Uh, it has the skinny dragonfly wings. Um, it has the light that I know is very popular there on the front. Even the nozzles uh, themselves are white. Supercharged slots, we can see they're free, are kind of all grouped towards the middle, but not next to each other. And once you get the fourth, it's over on the right. In the air, it does stand out because of that beautiful white color scheme. Everything tucks up. Uh, do you like the skinny dragonfly wings? If you do, this may be a great find for you. Now, something that's worth mentioning about this ship, when you arrive, there will be an NPC that's gonna fly off with your ship because someone's put a base down, which is really annoying. Now, if you're someone that doesn't wanna mess around trying to swap the ships with the NPC, just when you arrive, no matter if the ship's there or not, go to the base computer that's right near the ship, report it. You're not gonna get the player in trouble. All this does is remove the base for you. Poof, like that, gone. Then. Despite the fact the ship's gone, ignore that. Go to your ship, enter your ship, exit your ship to prompt to save. Once you've done that, reload that save. Upon reloading that save, the ship will be back in place, the same class, ready for you to collect normally. Enjoy, next. Okay, ship number 28 now. This one is a great looking ship submitted by Twix. I myself picked this up and it is in my collection. It's a gray black 
an orange sentinel ship with that big juicy fat light on the front very unique color scheme i do like this one the ship itself is not the best looking the slots are not the greatest two on the right one in the middle one on the left but that color scheme for me said put it in your collection so i did so twix amazing find it's in my collection well done mate this is a beautiful ship right so that is all 28 ships of today's viewer finds video now if you want to get one of your ships featured in the next viewer find video head to the discord link will be down below in a pinned comment maybe your ship will be featured for the next viewer find video as always thanks for watching like subscribe and i'll see you in the next one And welcome to another ship hunting location video here at the Game Hub. And today I am bringing you another six viewer finds. That's now 18 in the last few videos in total. Quite a few more to come as well. Now today again we're focusing on the supercharged slots. So all the best ones with the supercharged slots are the ones that have been selected today. We have some great looking ships, great supercharged slots and some great colour schemes coming up for you. Now all of these are in the Euclid Galaxy. Okay, that is always important. There's always someone that says i can't find it and it's because you're in the wrong galaxy now there's loads of ships available on the channel now over 670 locations in total including the viewer finds and my finds many more on our live streams could be checked out as well plenty of exclusives there that don't make it into the video also consider joining our discord and sharing your ships and checking out all the other beauties on offer there now every location will have a communication ball place for easy finding so let's go so let's begin on ship number one this one starts life as a class a now this one was submitted into the game hub discord by mean dark now the color scheme on this one comes in a green and black this one does have the tank feet and those pincers on top supercharged slots as an a class we can see initially two on the right and one in the middle once upgraded you've got two on the right and two on the left now i do know people like the two two combination so we'll try and include more of those now, once in the air, this thing does look pretty simple as not a lot changes other than the top pincer split and the tank feet tuck up. Next. Okay, now with ship number two on today's list. This one starts life as a Class B ship. This one was submitted into the Game Hub Discord by Guac. The color scheme on this one comes in a black and a white with the purple there too. Now, it does have all thrusters lit up on this one and it does have the mandibles too if you're into that. Supercharged slots is a B-class. We can see two together initially. Once fully upgraded, you've got three together there and then one just to the left of that. In the air is a nice simple ship, not a lot's changing. It does spread just a little bit on the top, but other than that, it remains and keeps its form. What do you reckon of this one? Hmm, not bad. Next. Okay, ship number three on today's list. This one also starts life as a Class B ship. This one was submitted into our Discord by Makina. Now the color scheme on this one comes in a black and purple. That is it. Deep vented wings and the Elvis top with tank feet. Supercharged slots initially we can see two together when it's the B class. Upgrade it and you've got four that are all pretty close together. Not a bad little setup on that one. But as it is a simple ship, not a lot like the last ones are going to change other than the wings dipping down and the tank feet tucking up. Very simple design. But do you like that Elvis hairdo? Next. Okay, now ship number four on today's list. This one is another B class. This one was submitted by Sylvanas Cry. All the details you need are top of the screen. And remember, they are all in the Euclid Galaxy. Color scheme on this one is yellow and purple. Again, we have the mandibles. Supercharged slots is a B class. We can see two towards the middle. Once we upgrade that to S class, it turns into a 2 1 1. So, again, a variation of combinations today. Now in the air, this one doesn't, like the last, change much due to the fact that the mandibles just spread and the wings dip. Stays the same pretty much throughout, but not a bad looking ship. What do you think? Next. Okay, now ship number five on today's list. This one also starts life as a Class B ship. Now this one was submitted into the Game Hub Discord by Warhor Jinx. Color scheme on this one comes in a nice subtle green and blue. Alvis hairdo on the top, pincers on the bottom, Supercharged slots, we can see two together initially as the B class. Upgrade that fully to S class, and you will see it has three together towards the right and one just offset to the left. In the air, you can see that green pop. It's a very simple green, very simple style. Not a lot's gonna change. Do you like them this simple, hmm? Not for me, but maybe for you, next. 
Okay, now moving on to ship number six in today's collection. This one also starts life as a class B. Remember all the details top of the screen and we're in Euclid still. Now the color scheme on this one is blue and purple. The submitter of this one was once again Warhol Jinx. Now it does have the pincers top and bottom, which is quite nice. Now supercharged slots, we can only see one initially as the B. Once we've upgraded that fully, we can see three towards the middle and one offset to the right. Not a bad little combination there. In the air, it does look quite elegant. Again, it's a simple style, but there's a lot going on and it just looks right. Lovely color too. What do you think of this blue and purple? Hmm? Is it your kind of style? Now that is all of today's six. So. Did you have any today that were your favorites? Now, remember, these are all submitted into the Discord. So thanks to everyone that submitted their ships. If you've got any ships that you want to share, head into the Discord. We've got two submission sections for the ships. We've got one for Euclid and currently one for Eisentam. In the future, that may expand. But for now, share with us your best Euclid and Eisentam ships. What have you got? And remember, we want the best supercharged slots. Just show us what you found. Now, as always, thank you for watching. Like, subscribe, and I'll see you in the next one. Or catch me on the next live stream. I'll see you soon. And welcome once again to yet another ship hunting journey here at the Game Hub on No Man's Sky. Today I'm going to bring you 17 new Sentinel ship locations. We're getting through these. That now brings this to a grand total of 595 Sentinel ship locations on the channel. There is a full playlist for you to check out. Now, every day when I can, I do live streams. You can watch me live or watch the catch up. Now also join the Discord. There are so many amazing ships listed in there from the viewers too. Now, every ship that I show on this video is in Euclid Galaxy. That is so important. Now, if you come across any glitch ships, report any bases nearby, save your game and reload it, then get your ships. Multiplayer must be disabled to save issues and as always, communication beacons will always be placed for easy finding. So, let's go. Right, so let's get this going with an S class at number one. Coordinates, portal address, top of the screen. The color scheme on this one comes in a blue and green has multiple thrusters and mini wings, tips as well, fangs as well. Very nice looking ship if you like the color. Supercharged slots, we can only see three there initially. Once at the space station, you can see three over there towards the left and one on the right. Uh, I don't have any in-air footage of this. Not sure what happened. Either way, nice ship. Next. Okay, ship number two on today's list is a class A ship. Coordinates, portal address, top of the screen. So this one, as I say, is an A class. The color scheme on this one is black and orange. It's in what a kind of manta shape, but it's got a few extra wings there. Not a bad looking ship, um, but not for me for the color scheme at all. Supercharged slots though, not bad. Three grouped on the right and one on the left once it's an S class. In the air, this doesn't look too bad at all. Simple in design, simple in color, not bad. Next. Right, ship number three on today's list, another class A. All the details, as always, top of the screen. Big fat light on this one, nice red ship. I don't like the top personally. It interferes with first person view, but I do know there are some people out there that do like this. Supercharged slots, we can see two on the left, one on the right is an A class, once an S class. The second one's also on the right. None of them are grouped though. In the air, very simple again. Wings just dip down, but that fat light does finish this ship off. What do you reckon? Hmm. Next. Right, ship number four now, another class A ship. Details, top of the screen. And remember, these are all in Euclid if you skipped my intro. Now, the color scheme on this one comes in black and yellow. It is a Thai style ship, so it's quite a nice little model, this one. Supercharged slots as an A class, you can see, only see two initially. Once S class, we can see the extra two on the right grouped. Hmm. Now, in the air, it does look amazing. I do like the Thai style, it's got the Y light. It's very nice, very nice color scheme. Mm, next. Okay, ship number five, class A ship. All the details top of the screen. Color scheme on this one is blue and white and it is a dragonfly style, full size wings. The underboard gives it the extended front and extended thrusters, supercharged slots as an A class, very spread out. Once upgraded to S, you can see the two are together on the left hand side. 
Now in the air, it looks just as good as all dragonflies look, graceful and elegant. Beautiful. Do you like this one though? Hmm, next. Right, ship number six, another class A ship. This one is green and this one has tank feet. And again, it has that top board, which I'm not a big fan of, but look at the thrusters. Every thruster that you would want is available. Supercharged slots is an A class, two right, one middle. Then as an S class, it becomes three grouped on the right. Not bad if you like green. In the air, like I say, every thruster that it does have is in full power. Now it don't look too bad in the sky, but it's green. Next. Okay, ship number seven now. Class A, details top of the screen. Color scheme on this one comes in a green and white. We have a bit of black, of course. It has the tank feet, it has the dragonfly wings, but they are the skinny version. So if you don't mind the skinny wings, not a bad ship. Now, supercharged slots though, two on the right, one in the middle. When you upgrade to S class, it doesn't improve much, but they're not too bad. Now in the air, all dragonflies, as I always say, do look amazing. It's just the wings that swing it for me, and these ones do not swing it. Next. Okay, ship number eight, class S ship, full details, top of the screen. Once again, we have another green ship here. A little bit different though from the last, not a dragonfly. Plenty of optional extras on this one if you do like this sort of style with the boards on the top. Uh, supercharged slots, we can see three that are quite close as an S class. Before we upgrade it, they don't improve much. The fourth one is on the right. Now, in the air, it does look as simple as they come. The boards dip down slightly and the wings dip down, but it does look quite nice if you like green. Next. Okay, ship number nine. Another class A ship, another dragonfly. All the details top of the screen. This one comes in red and white. It's a dragonfly once again with the skinny wings. So bear that in mind. Now supercharged slots, we can only see two as an A class initially. So once taken up to the space station, upgraded and unlocked, we can see all four, but spread out. Now in the air, like I say, dragonflies, they are my favorite. They always will be my favorite until they're not my favorite. Next. Right, number 10, another class A ship, coordinates, details, top of the screen. This one, although it doesn't show it, does come in white. Again, very simple, the board on the top that I do not like. Do you like that board? Now, as for supercharged slots though, it makes up for it with the three grouped right there together as an A class. Once upgraded though, it does improve. But I don't have the footage, I'm really sorry. I'm so sorry, I lost it, I'm an idiot. Next. All right, now ship number 11, another class A ship. All the details you need top of the screen. And again, I'm gonna put a reminder out there, make sure you are in Euclid. Color scheme on this one comes in yellow and white. Extended thrusters top and bottom. Mini wings, prongs, not bad. Supercharged slots is an A, two on the left, one on the right. Once you upgrade to S, you've got three over on the left, one on the right, but not grouped. Once in the air, this thing does look quite elegant in its yellow and white glory in that tie style with all the optional extras. Do you like this? Hmm, next. Right, ship number 12 now is another S-Class ship. All the details top of the screen. Color scheme, green, very minimal green, and black and purple. Now, it's a dragonfly style here. Very, very simple, but very nice. Now, supercharged slots, just as nice. We've got three groups over there on the right and one over on the left. In the air, its simplicity shines through with a just simple set of wings on the side there and the full size dragon wings. I love this. Next. Right, ship number 13, another class A ship on today's list. This one comes in yellow and yellow. So it's a dual yellow, this one, very simple style. Again, I know many people do like these styles. This one does stand out. Supercharged slots, we have two on the right, one on the left as that A class, and then as an S, two on the left, two on the right. Not bad. In the air, it still looks just as nice, even though it's just a simple wing dipping down that changes. I do like this. Next. Okay, ship number 14 is a class B initially, but wait, wait, wait. It's a wingless tie ship. Now it comes in a green and white, which is not ideally my sort of color, but I know there are some green lovers out there, but is there a green tie lover? Supercharged slots as a B, obviously only seeing two. Once as an S, you can see four there, all grouped up very nicely together. Now, like I say, it's just a simple tie shape with no wings, the three lights on the wide front. If you like green, this is a great choice. Next. Okay, moving on to ship number 15, and it's another B class. Now this one's not as good as the last one, but based on the style and the coloring of this one, 
I wanted to put this one in a video for the red lovers. It's just a, a dual toned red, supercharged slots. We can only see two on the left, obviously. It's a B initially. Once upgraded to S, you can see the four there. Not as good as the last, like I say, uh, but once in the air, if you are a fan of the red and black, this one would be a good choice to add to your fleet. What do you reckon? Next. Moving on to ship number 16 now. Class A ship, no more Bs. Now, coordinates, details, all top of the screen. Color scheme, again, green. The green lovers, you have been spoiled today. What do you think of the selection? Now, supercharged slots is an A. We can see three grouped over on the right. Sadly, is the fourth on S class. It's not as close, but still good, still good. Now, once in the air, this thing does look quite nice. The wing tips, the extended thrusters, your prongs, oh, it's got it all going on. If you like green, consider this. Next. Right, ship number 17. I said no more Bs, but I didn't say no more Cs. So here we have a white and almost gold. It is yellow, but in certain lights, it looks like a caramac gold. Beautiful little simple ship here with the vented wings too. Now, as a C class, obviously you can only see one, but once we take it up to the space station, we unlock everything. We have three groups over there on the left and one on the right. If you like this ship, this is well worth seeking out and upgrading. I don't think I've ever ended a video on a C class, so this is a first, but it was well worth it. Beautiful. Now that is all 17 of today's Sentinel ship locations. What did you like? Did you like the sleeper ships? Are you happy that I'm putting in the C classes that upgrade into beautiful diamonds? Or do you just want the S's and the A's? let me know also join our discord and share your finds and check out all the other viewer finds there are hundreds now on the discord let me know in the comments also what are you after what style of ship what color in the live streams if i know what you're after it makes it easier to hunt for it as always thanks for watching like subscribe and i'll see you in the next one and welcome to another ship hunting journey here at the game hub this is number six now now we have well over 300 ship finds on the channel already so if you haven't seen the previous videos go and check them out plenty of interceptor sentinel ships uh, available on the channel loads of s classes too now as always with my ship hunts uh, multiplayer must be disabled like any ship hunting um, euclid is the only galaxy in which I do the hunts so it's the starting galaxy so bear that in mind before you jump in a portal you need to be in Euclid okay important now normally I will put a big massive bunch of ships together but I have restricted time this weekend so there's just 20 but there's another 60 plus for me to get through that have already been found just not got the time to put them together uh, locations will all be shown for every ship Okay, let's go. Number one, Class A ship. Um, as always, location for the address and coordinates are shown at the top of the screen for every single ship. Now, this first one is a blue and black style hauler. Like I say, it's an A class for the supercharged slots. You can only see two at this current time being A class, but obviously you will get four when you upgrade to S. Now, on this same planet, there is also an S-Class multi-tool, if you want to check that one out. It's the orange handgun style. Um, I didn't pick it up, uh, so I can't give you a full rundown, but it's there if you want it. Let's move on, shall we? Next. Okay, number two in the list. Uh, the first of many S-Classes in this collection. Uh, details top of the screen. Now this one is white and black. This was found in a previous video as a C-Class. Now one of the users of, uh, or the viewers of that video, posted the location for the S-Class. So we've gone back, grabbed that, and uh, detailed on top of the screen. Once upgraded, you have the three supercharged slots grouped on the left and one stray on the right. Nice bit of damage output, 74,000 on the infra knife. Uh, once in flight, doesn't change much other than the wings dip down slightly and then raise up when it lands. Next. Okay, number three. Another Class A ship. Uh, another white ship, this one. This is a Dragonfly style. Uh, it doesn't have the full thickness of the Dragonfly wings. They are the skinny ones. Either way, it's still a nice little ship. Uh, supercharged slots could be much better. Uh, only two grouped together on the right. The other two straight on the left. But it's a nice looking ship. Not bad. 
uh, in the sky, as you can see. Uh, it could have done with the full size dragon wings, uh, but it passes. Nice. Next. Okay, now at number four on the list. Uh, Class A ship. This one is blue and red. The Spider-Man style, as I've called them in previous videos. Uh, details top of the screen. Um, it's okay. I know that I don't pick these ones up, but I know people out there do like these ones. Um, three grouped on the right. One more is S-Class. Where will it be? Mm, next. Okay, number five in the list is another Class A ship. Uh, details top of the screen. This one is orange and white. Or at least that's what it looks like at night time. In the daytime, it looks red and white. Never picked it up, so I cannot confirm. Uh, but I'll stick with orange and, right, uh, orange and white. Uh, supercharged slots. Meh. Next. Okay, number six. Another class S ship in the list then. So this one is red and white with a little bit of black in there as well. Again, it's a dragonfly style. Has the pincers at the front. Doesn't have the full thickness again of the dragonfly wings. Just the skinny ones. Still nice though. Supercharged slots as an S-Class. You're going to need to go to the station to unlock the fourth one. It's behind one of them hidden ones. Next. Okay, number seven. Uh, quick in and out on this one. Very basic one. We always seem to get these. Black bug, wide front, multiple eyes. Um, yeah, that's all there is to it really. Moving on. Next. Okay, number eight. Another Class A ship here then. This one is blue and black and a kind of off green off blue as well um again it's not the sort of ship that i'd fly but i know people do like these ones um so i mean it could be better i guess um thrusters on the side but supercharged slots are all right not too bad next okay number nine back to class s uh, this one is red and white i believe but again, the planet light in that white almost looks like a, a pale green. But I do believe this is definitely a red and white style ship. Uh, as I said, S-Class, uh, supercharged slots. You can only see three on the ground. The fourth one's locked, but three grouped together. Nice. Very nice. Next. Okay, number 10 in the list now. Another A-Class ship. Uh, this one is in the style of a hauler, as I call them. Uh, black and red this one um, it's not too bad it could have done with some thrusters on the wings or maybe some of them pointer proddy aerial style things uh, supercharged slots you do have three groups up on the right so there could be a fourth one on the right too next and at number 11 now we have another a class uh, another dragonfly style uh, this one is orange and it has the claw feet, tank feet, whatever you want to call them. Um, I've already got an orange ship. One in my collection is enough. And I think mine's a little bit better than this one. Uh, again, that's covered in a previous video. Uh, but overall, not too bad. Uh, supercharged slots though. You can only see two as an A-class. And the split. Next. Okay, now number 12 another a class ship as always details at the top of the screen now this one comes in a pretty solid black and green finish uh, minimal green it's just on the kind of trimming and engine that's about as far as you're going with the green rest of it like i say is just black very slim style very simple style um supercharged slots only two i could see as an a class uh, obviously you always get four but where will they be next Okay, moving on, number 13, another S-class ship. Uh, another hauler style one here. Uh, this one comes again in black and red, solid base. This one does have a few prongs on it. Uh, again, the wings are quite plain though, but sometimes less is more for people. Um, as for supercharged slots on this one, there is two together on the left and one on the right. So that means the fourth one is there under a locked one. It could be on the left. Next. Okay, now number 14, another Class A. This one is yellow, black, and white. Again, a very simple slim style one. Not too much to it. Uh, very basic style. Um, 
again it's not the sort of ship you're going to find in my collection at all uh, supercharged slots you have two on the left one on the right the fourth one when it's s-class could also be on the left could be nice for supercharged slots next okay number 15 another class s ship as always details are top of the screen now this one has the little fangs on the front that are almost spider like that's quite a rare feature at least that i found in my ship hunting compared to all the other parts you can get getting a nice little set of fangs is quite rare um it's not a bad looking ship supercharged slots are very spread out but you've got two together on the right not my cup of tea though moving on next Okay, now number 16 on the list is another Class A. This one is pretty solid in the terms of the color. It's black. It has the tank feet, uh, no actual wings, uh, but does have the uh, predominant top with the extended thrusters and mini wings up there. Um, I've got nothing like this in my collection, never will. What about you? Supercharged slots, you can only see three as it's A class, all spread out, not very good. Moving on, next. Okay, now, number 17, uh, Class A, black, uh, very simple, very basic. Uh, again, uh, not the style that makes it into my collections. However, as we mentioned, other people do like all different bizarre shapes and sizes. So I know that these videos and these locations are not going to waste. Uh, as for the supercharged slots on this one, we have two on the right, one on the left. The fourth one will be dot, 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 next. Okay, number 18, uh, another Class S ship here. Um, again, not the greatest style uh, or the greatest colouring, but horses and courses, everyone's style is different. Um, it could have been a little bit better if the wings were set further back. It would have had that bat style to it, but again, the colour is just totally wrong. doesn't work for me. Uh, supercharged slots, though, it does have three grouped over on the left, sort of, uh, and one on the right next right number 19 on the list another class a ship almost at the end already how quick was that uh, okay this one as i say is a class um, black and red is the color scheme uh, very simple um, no extra thrusters on the side no pipes no dragonfly wings just comes simple and sleek in red and black now supercharged slots uh, pretty spread out where's the fourth one gonna be Mm. next okay so that brings us to the final ship of today's video number 20 uh, it is a class s ship it's the slim style multiple uh, multiple layers of wings uh, comes in like an off yellow and black extended front extended thrusters on the back uh, like i say plenty of prongs and whistles if you like this styling of ship the supercharged slots you've got two grouped on the right and then two over on the left that are separated so that is the 20 for today's video now as i said i have lots of locations already recorded that are done during the week there's another 60 to cover but due to time restrictions over this weekend i had to put something together quickly in the few hours that i did have free so it's not a lot but 20 is the number you're getting today now i hope you enjoyed the video if there was any you liked let me know in the comments it's always good to see what other styles people like and what rings their bells. So, thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one. Journey number seven, coming soon. And welcome once again to another ship hunting video here at the Game Hub on No Man's Sky. And today we're looking at another 15 viewer finds that were submitted into the Game Hub Discord. We've got a lot of ships on the channel now. In fact, we have now over 565 Sentinel ship locations for you to choose from. Now, there's also many, many more that are not in videos, but you can see them in the playbacks of the live streams or come and catch me on a live stream. Now, you can also find many more ships in the Discord itself or submit yours for the next video. All ship locations are in the Euclid Galaxy. That is very important. Be there before you use a portal. Now, report any bases that are near the spawns as they may glitch and cause you issues. Multiplayer must be disabled as always. Communication beacons will be placed down next to all ship locations. So, 
Let's begin, shall we? Let's go. So, to begin, number one on the list is a Class S ship. Portal address, coordinates, top of the screen. This one was submitted by Crin in the Discord. Color scheme on this one is red and black. Very, very simple style, this one. Now, for supercharged slots, we can see all four right from the get-go. Three tools the right and one on the left. Now, in the air, nothing really moves. The top stays stationary, the pincers don't move, and the wings just dip. Like I say, very, very simple. Do you like it? Next. Right, now, ship number two on today's list. This one was submitted by Bandrex. It is a Class A. All the details you need are top of the screen. Color scheme on this one is green and yellow. So you don't see many of these. Now, as for the supercharged slots, you got two on the right and one on the left initially as an A class. Once you've got all the slots unlocked, you get three very close together over on the right and the one on the left. In the air though, nothing changes. The form stays as it was on the ground. Very simple in style, but very nice in color. Next. Okay, now ship number three on today's list is another class A ship. Coordinates, portal address are top of the screen. This one was submitted by Jaragon. Now the color scheme is blue and black. It has the full size dragon wings and half hauler bottom. Supercharged slots as an A class. We can see two on the right at the moment, but once you take it to the station and upgrade it, you've got three on the right together, one on the left. That's as an S class. Now, once you're in the air, you can see the full size wings and the half hauler bottom. Very big ship. Nice find. Moving on, next. Ship number four, another class A ship. Coordinates, portal address, top of the screen. This one was submitted by Crin. Color scheme on this one is blue and white. It has that beautiful bulky light at the front and the pincers. This is a really simple yet beautiful looking ship if you ask me. Loads of thrusters too. Supercharged slots, we can initially see just one on the left and one on the right. Now, once we take it up and we've unlocked everything, there's three grouped over on the right. Very nice. In the air, this thing just looks beautiful. Now, if I had more slots, this one would have 100% made my collection. Give me more slots. Next. Right, ship number five, another class S ship. Coordinates, portal address, top of the screen. This one was submitted by Crin. Color scheme on this one is blue and white, and it is a Thai style. Not a bad one too. Now, as for supercharged slots, straight away, we can see three across on the left and one on the right. Once it is airborne, you can see it's full style in glory, that beautiful tie look, but do you like the blue and white version? That's the question. Next. Ship number six. Now this one is another class S. Coordinates, portal address, top of the screen. This one was submitted by Cypher. Now the color scheme on this one is a very simple green. That's it, that's all you're getting. All the thrusters that are available are available. Now, supercharged slots, you have to take to the space station and unlock all of them to see them all. Two on the left, one in the middle, one on the right. Now, in the air, nothing's really going to change as it is a simple style, other than the wings that dip down. Either way, nice little find for the green lovers. Do you like it? Let's move on. Next. Ship number seven, another class A. Coordinates, portal address, top of the screen. This one was submitted by Crin. Now, color scheme on this one is black with a very minimal amount of yellow. It has that nice mini wing shape going on the back there, all four of them there, so a little X wing shape. Now, supercharged slots is an A, two on the right, one on the left. Upgrade to S, three on the right, one on the left. Once in the air, it does look beautiful. That big fat light, multiple layers of wings there, the four mini wings on the back, very nice. But let's move on, next. Okay, now ship number eight on the list. This one is another class S ship. Coordinates, portal address, top of the screen. This one was submitted by Kaioken. Color scheme on this one comes in blue and red. Very simple shape, this one. Now, when we look at the supercharged slots, we can see two on the right, one on the left as an A-class. Upgrade it and you get three on the right and one on the left. Not bad, not bad. Now, in the air, it does look very simple. The boards just drop and spread just a little bit, but is the color scheme to your taste? That is the question. Next. Okay, now ship number nine. This one is another class A ship. This one was submitted by War 1992. Orange and yellow is the color scheme here. So a little bit different to normal. Dragonfly shape too. Supercharged slots very spread out there. As you can see, it's the A class. Once you've upgraded to S, there's three towards the middle, but not grouped at all. 
Now in the air, this thing does look quite nice. That bottom does split, so it doesn't look boring. Nice vented wings, not a bad looking ship. Next. So, ship number 10. This one is another Class S. Coordinates, port address, top of the screen. This one was submitted by Cyfall. Color scheme on this one comes in white and black. Now, this is quite a simple yet beautiful looking ship. The vented wings and the four, once again, mini wings on the back. Supercharged slots, very spread out. Once you've unlocked them all at the space station, you can see they're everywhere. But it's still a beautiful ship. Look at that in the air. Like I say, does also have the four mini wings they do look rather great i have to say let's move on next okay now ship number 11 on the list is another class a ship coordinates portal address top of the screen submitted by crin this blue and black dragonfly is absolutely gorgeous if you're someone that doesn't mind not having tank feet this is a very very good option supercharged slots we can see three groups up there in the middle as an a class upgraded to s and the fourth one is also in the middle row but not joined now once in the air it does look lovely you got them little wing tips there dipping down those pincers oh, this is a beautiful dragonfly let's go next right number 12 on the list another class s ship here another one submitted by cyfall all the details are top of the screen this one is a very simple looking ship and it's black and orange supercharged slots they're very spread out all over the place what do you reckon now in the air, nothing really moves. In fact, other than the wings, nothing moves. But do you like it? Next. Okay, ship number 13 on the list now. Another class S ship here for you. All the details you need at the top of the screen. This one was submitted by Crin, and it comes in, hear him out, he says, orange. But it's a light orange. Either way, it does look pretty nice. Now, the supercharged slots, though, unfortunately, when you look at it initially, very spread out. But once you've unlocked them all, you do get two together on the right. In the air, very simple shape. Mm, but it's still orange, Corinne. It's still orange. Next. Right, ship number 14 on the list. This is another class S ship. All the details you need are top of the screen. This one was submitted by Crin also, and it's just made up for the fact he submitted an orange. Beautiful black dragonfly, pincers, full size wings, fat light, supercharged slots, you can only see two. Once you've unlocked all the slots, two together on the left, one in the middle, one on the right. In the air, this thing looks gorgeous with the extended thrusters underneath, thanks to the pincers. Ah, oh, very nice ship. Now, of all the dragonflies we found today, this is one of my favorites. Next. Okay, now ship number 15 is a Class A ship that was showcased in the previous viewer videos. One that was submitted by Orion, a beautiful red dragonfly. However, another version of it was found with far superior slots. However, the original find is still Orion. Now, the new version has three supercharged slots grouped on the left and one on the right. So it is a far superior version to the first version that we showed. So if you want to swap them around for a little bit extra power, I would suggest doing so. Now, that is all of today's 15 viewer finds. Now, what did you like out of all of them? What was your favorite? Let me know in the comments. Now, you can share your finds in the Game Hub Discord as well, and then they can be featured in the future viewer videos so i'm interested to see what you found what you like and what you would like to share now also i would love to know what you are after let us know when we do the live streams we put it to a vote do we hunt or do we next so let us know what to hunt now if you do like these kind of videos be sure to like and subscribe and i'll keep them coming as always thanks for watching and i'll see you in the next one And welcome to journey number seven here on No Man's Sky. Oh, this journey, ship hunting journey, now takes us over 350 ship locations available on the Game Hub channel. So if you haven't seen any of the previous videos, you need to catch up. We have found some absolute beauties so far. Now, as always on my ship hunting journeys, make sure multiplayer is disabled. That's important. All ship locations are found in the Euclid galaxy. Every single find is Euclid. So make sure before you jump in the portal, you are in the Euclid galaxy. Now on the journey, after the videos uh, been passed around a little bit, 
you may come across players who put bases down and glitch out the ships. Now, if you come across a ship that you can't access or it looks glitched, just look for a base around the area, report it, save your game, reload your game, and the ship will be there. Let's start. So, number one on the list, Class S ship. Uh, as always, the portal address and the coordinates will be shown at the top of the screen on every single ship. So, the first one is a hauler style. It's orange, black, and white. Uh, plenty of prongs and whistles. Question is, do you like orange? Uh, as for the supercharged slots, let's look at them. We've got three on the left, and the fourth one we can't currently see. It's under one of the lock slots. Next. Okay, number two on the list is a class A ship. Uh, it's yellow, very small. Um, it looks like it was half made, and they gave up on the project halfway through. Um, someone may like this, uh, not me. No information on it though. Number three, class A ship. Another hauler style. Now, yellow and black, I've said this many times, yellow and black haulers for me personally just always look nice. Now this is a solid encased hauler, top and bottom, plenty of prongs and whistles, supercharged slots. Uh, you've got one on the left, two on the right, but it is A class, where's the fourth one? Hmm, next. Number four, another class A ship. Uh, the first dragonfly in this bunch. This one is an orange and black dragonfly. It doesn't have the full thickness of the dragonfly wings. It is the skinny ones. Uh, no claws on this one at all. Um, do you like orange, like I say before? Supercharged slots, we can only see two. Hmm. One left, one right. Next. Okay, number five, another class A ship here. This one is a blue and black bat style, uh, as I like to call them. It's a two-tone blue as well, not just a single-tone blue, so bear that in mind. As uh, the extended rear wings, that's why I call them the bat style. Um, so okay, the two-tone blue ruined it for me. Uh, supercharged slots, we got two at the top, one on the right. The fourth one, where is it? Mm -hmm. Next number six okay another class s ship uh, another yellow hauler uh, this one doesn't have as much to it as the previous yellow hauler but it's solid yellow two-tone yellow but it is solid throughout now there's every chance that those rear extensions do fold when it flies in which case it could look really nice supercharged slots though pretty spread out we can only see three at this point uh, you need to unlock the fourth next Number seven, class A ship again. Uh, this one is red and black. Uh, if you like those kind of extended front sections, I know a lot of people say they don't like it, they fly first person, it gets in their way, but it has got a nice style and look to it. Um, and if you do like this style, this is a solid looking version. Uh, as for supercharged slots, uh, we've got two that you can see together on the right, and one on the left, there could be three on the right, it could be, next. Okay, number eight, another class A ship here for you. Uh, this one is a double board. Uh, the two boards on the top, two boards on the bottom. There seems to be the mini wings on the top, but I don't believe that I could see any mini wings on the bottom. Um, it looks like it's got hinges. So again, these boards could flip out when it takes off. Supercharged slots, we can only see two at this current stage. Next. Okay, number nine another hauler style this is another class a as always locations at the top this one has the quite rare as i like to think they're rare for me at least fangs on the front solid red black and white um, again those rear extensions of the hauler style may fold out which will make it even nicer shame we didn't have the claws as for the supercharged slots very poorly spread out depends what you like next number 10 class a ship and remember coordinates and portal address is always at the top of the screen now this one comes in a blue white and black color scheme um not my cup of tea and never made it in my collection supercharged slots now two on the left one in the middle as an s class there could be three on the left next Right, number 11, another class S ship here for you. This one is a black slim boarded style. Um, personally, I do not like these ones, but 
I put as much effort into finding the best version of these as I do any other on any video I do. <sighs> but when you see the supercharged slots, it makes you wonder why I did. Either way, next. Okay, number 12, we have another Dragonfly style, only an A-class one here. Uh, this one comes in a blue and a very pale green. It does have the full-size dragon wings uh, on this one. Uh, it's not bad, it's not bad. Not my kind of color scheme now, unfortunately. Uh, won't be going to my collection. The supercharged slots, there is three that are quite grouped uh, with a fourth one to appear. Could be good. Next. Number 13, another Class A ship here. This one is another one with fangs that extend on the front. Uh, solid black and red. These black and red ones, like the yellow and black ones, always look good if the right parts are there. The color scheme just works. Uh, supercharged slots, we have one on the left, one on the right, but two to unlock. They could end up being a group of three. Next number 14 class a ship as always details top of the screen now this one comes in a pretty solid black throughout other than the trimming on the thrusters and the engine bay other than that you've got a triple layer of wings all black uh the main cab black everything black um three supercharged slots are possible if the s class puts it on the right next Okay, number 15, another hauler style. This one is a blue winged hauler. Now this one doesn't look as nice without thrusters uh, or even prongs on the wings for me personally. Um, but I'm quite fussy when it comes to the hauler style and I think yellow and black, red and black, they're the ones to go for. Uh, but again, as I've said always, horses and courses. Supercharged slots, we can only see two at the moment, next. Okay, number 16, another Class A ship. Uh, another one that I would not touch with a barge pole. Um, it's green. Now, there's every chance that those do fold out the extensions. And again, it may end up looking kind of nice, but not for me. As for the supercharged slots, we can see two at this current stage as A Class. Next. Okay, number 17 on the list now. A Class. Again, all the details top of the screen. The color scheme on this one is black and an off-white. It is a slim style. Uh, the extended front may put off the first person view players. Uh, as for the supercharged slots, two on the right, one on the left. The fourth could put three together. Next. Okay, number 18 on the list now. This one is a yellow and black claw style. Personally, personal opinion uh, don't shoot the messenger I don't like that top it does ruin it for me uh, and I know the first person view players won't like that either now as for the supercharged slots we have two that we can see on a class so who knows what it would be on s class next right number 19 now this one when I first saw it I got a little bit excited I thought it was a beautiful solid white red and black color scheme but it turns out it wasn't it was more of a nicotine yellow <sighs> very disappointed however someone may like this supercharged slots one on the left one on the right meh what a horrible color next Right, number 20 now. Okay, this one is red and a light green. Um, I think the best thing going for this one is the four little eyes at the front. The color scheme for me is a big fat... <coughs> um, just, no. Do you like this? Ugh. Supercharged slots, we can only see two, but meh. Next. Okay, at number 21, we have another boarded black style one here um i don't like that top that is probably the worst top possible on any of the ships i feel it's very intrusive especially in first person it does have a yellow engine but other than that and other than the fact it's an s-class i think this one is ugly supercharged slots we can see two on the left uh, and one on the right next number 22 on the list now class a ship this one comes in a orange and black color scheme 
Um, slim style, it does have extended thrusters uh, via the pipes. It only has a single layer of wings on this one. Um, color scheme is not for me. The overall style is not for me. What about you? Uh, as for supercharged slots though, uh, there's two on the right, one uh, towards the middle. Fourth one could make it nice on S-Class. Next. Number 23 on the list. Class A ship, another hauler style. Color scheme is red and black. Uh, overall, it's not a bad looking one. Uh, the extensions do hook up nicely. They match perfectly. It fits. The jigsaw pieces fit well. On the rear of this one uh, got the extra prongs uh, just a single solid layer of wing supercharged slots two on the left one on the right not too bad next okay number 24 class B the only one in this video now this has the very rare at least again for me fat solid light on the front uh, if you find an S class of this, if someone looks please let me know in the comments now also this planet has two Yes, two S-Class weapons to grab. So the only thing that's changed at the top is the coordinates. Now, they're both going to have the same name, Loop of Lightning, because it's the same planet. So there's the first one and the supercharged slot layout. Now, the second one on this planet, like I say, coordinates have changed. Check that. Uh, going to be exactly the same name. It's just going to be a slightly different layout with the supercharged slots. So, hmm, next. Okay, number 25. Uh, class A ship. This one is red and black slim style. Uh, dual layer of wings, extended top and front. A few extra mini wings thrown in the mix. Uh, extended thrusters, top and bottom. So it has plenty to offer if you like this style. Now the mini wings are top and bottom as well, it's worth noting. Supercharged slots, uh, two on the left, one on the right. They could end up being three grouped on the left on S-Class. Next. Okay, number 26 now in the list is another Class A. This one is orange, black, and white. The uh, extended thrusters on the wings are brought to you by the pipes. Um, it does have a solid base on this hauler style one. Um, and a few prongs as well, so not too bad. Uh, as for the supercharged slots, two on the left, one in the middle. Potential, potential, if it's got the third on the right on the S-Class. Next. Number 27, Class A. Now this one is 100% white. Uh, I don't mean the whole ship is white, I just mean it's not an off yellow. It's not a nicotine yellow. It's white. Uh, it does have a solid base on the hauler style. Uh, even the engine's white does look very nice this one supercharged slots could be so much better where's that fourth one going to be on s-class next okay number 28 on the list now this one is another class a the color scheme is orange white and black it does have the extended uh top and bottom at the front so first person players probably won't like this one uh extended thrusters also triple layer of wings a few extra prongs but it's orange uh, two supercharged on the left, one on the right, has potential once it's S-Class. Next. Right, number 29, another Class A. This one comes in red, white, and black. It does have the undercarriage, which gives it the extended pincers at the bottom and extended thrusters on the back. Dual layer of wings extended at the back uh, is why I call it the bat. Not a bad looking ship. Uh, Supercharged slots could be so much better, but there's still a fourth to pop out once it's S-Class. Next. Okay, now, number 30. Class A, last one on today's video. This one is a black slim style hauler. These are not the haulers that I like out of the hauler styles. I've mentioned it in one of my early journeys. I don't like the ones where the front and the back look the same from the side. Hmm. Either way, supercharged slots, it does have two on the right together, one on the left, potential for three together, once S-Class. So there we are. That is today's video done, journey number seven, 30 ships covered. Uh, I have a bunch more ships that are Bs and Cs that I know that may well spike interest to those that don't mind upgrading. So I will get round to doing those. I'm also planning on a live stream uh, 
as I do these journeys. So if that does interest you, if you want me to live stream and to sit along, see what I'm finding live, let me know in the comments. And if enough people are interested, we'll make it happen. Uh, I haven't streamed on No Man's Sky for a while. Uh, I find ship hunting may bore some people, but if I know there's people that have interest in a few ship hunting live streams, then we'll definitely make it happen. Now, thanks for watching. Uh, like, subscribe. Let me know in the comments if you want the live stream. Let me know what was your favorite, and I'll see you soon. And welcome back to the Game Hub for another Sentinel ship location video. And today's video, I'm bringing you 10 new locations within the Eyes and Tam Galaxy. That's Galaxy number 10. Now, that is an important step. If you're not in Eyes and Tam and you try this from Euclid or anywhere else, you will not find these ships. Now, you can get to Eyes and Tam through the anomaly by using the rear portal. Now, if you need any further help getting to Eisentam, just let us know in the comments of the video. Now, on the channel, there is over 680 ship locations now amongst the Euclid and Eisentam galaxies. Now, don't forget, we also do daily live streams and there are hundreds of ships that do not make it to the videos, but they're there logged for you to go and grab if you want them. Now, also think about joining our Discord. You can share your ships of us, your bases, your pets, and all those goodies that you found. So, should we go? Let's go, let's go. Okay, now, ship number one. This one starts life as a class A ship. All the details you need are top of the screen. Now, the color scheme on this first one comes in a green and purple. Very simple style, it does have wingtips, extended thrusters, and an under section that will change once in the air. Supercharged slots, initially as an A class, we can see two on the right, once you fully upgraded to S class, you've got three on the right and one on the left. Once in the air, like I say, it is rather simple. The wings dip down slightly and the under section does drop and fold just a little bit. What do you think of this one? Hmm? Next. Okay, ship number two. This one also starts life as a class A ship. Now remember the focus on this is supercharged slots, not the class. Okay, all the details you need are top of the screen. This one comes in a black and blue. A little bit of purple in there as well. Very simple style with them rear bat wings. Supercharged slots initially, you can see two on the right, one on the left is an A. Once upgraded to S, that turns to three on the right and one on the left. In the air, it does remain simple. There's not a lot going on, but that is a big appeal for a lot of people. That simple, elegant bat shape at the back. Do you like this one? Hmm? Next. Okay, now ship number three. This one also starts life as a class A ship. All the details top of the screen color scheme on this one comes in a black and green bit of purple in there as well nice little shape if you like this style lots going on with the double pincers top and bottom supercharged slots initially is an a we can see three all pretty close together but once it's an s class you've got three that are clumped and one just to the right very nice in the air this one does look quite nice if you like this style nice box grill ring light double pincers nice what do you reckon of this one lovely next okay now ship number four on today's list this one starts life as a class b ship all the details you need are top of the screen color scheme on this one comes in a green and purple with black in there as well it is a dragonfly style with a full size wings and does have a small undercarriage supercharged slots initially is the b class you just see two towards the middle once you fully upgraded to s class that turns into four in a row in the middle nice nice now in the air this thing does look nice if you like dragonflies very simple very sleek do you like green that is a big question i know not many do pick them up but are you one of them next ship number five now this one also starts life as a class b ship all the details top of the screen color scheme on this one comes in gray white and black very simple looking ship but very nice gray is quite rare compared to the other colors now supercharged slots initially is a b class we only see two towards the right once you've upgraded to s class you can see that turns into four all nice and close together in the air this thing does look great it's simple but great those four eyes on the front and that gray really does pop like i say it's a lot rarer than the rest are you a gray fan next okay now moving on to ship number six on today's list this one starts life also as a class b ship all the details you need are top of the screen color scheme on this one comes in a green and black a little bit of purple and also a little bit of red very minimal red but it is there nice pincers on the top 
better than the Alva's head. As a B class, you only see one slot. Once you've fully upgraded that to S class, you see three supercharged slots stepped on the right, and then one just to the left. Now, I'm not a big green fan, but this one does look quite nice. It's not over cluttered, but it does look elegant in the air. Next. Okay, now ship number seven. This one starts life as a class C ship. All the details you need top of the screen. Color scheme on this one. Yes, your eyes are not deceiving you. It's orange with white and black. It's been a while since I've documented an orange that wasn't a viewer find, but here we go. I've documented one. Now C class, you only see one. S class, once you've upgraded, you see three supercharged slots over on the right and then one on the left. In the air, it looks very orange, as you'd expect, because it's orange. Do you like orange? Next. Okay, now ship number eight. This one is a class S ship naturally. This one comes in a color scheme of green, white, and black, and it has a tri-eye and the fangs at the front. Pincers too. This is not a bad little ship once again. Do you like green though? Supercharged slots, it's a natural S, but there we go. We've got three towards the right and then one towards the middle. No footage of this thing in the air as the file was, for whatever reason, corrupt. But take my word, this thing looks pretty nice in the air. Next. Okay, now moving on to ship number nine. This one also starts life as a natural S-Class. All the details you need are top of the screen. Color scheme on this one comes in a green, white, and black. This one does have prongs on the side and the tank feet, and it also has those pincers on the top too. Now, supercharged slots, naturally as an S, you see two over on the left, and then two towards the middle that are quite close together. Now, in the air, it doesn't change too much. It's quite a bulky ship, but if you like green and you like tank feet and some prongs, maybe this is for you. Next. Okay, now the final one on today's list, number 10. This one starts life as a class C ship. All the details you require are top of the screen. Color scheme on this one comes in a lovely red and black. It does have the full size dragon wings and it has the pincers. Now supercharged slots, you can only see one as a C class. Once you've upgraded it though to S class, you can see three in a row and one just tailed off to the left of that. Now in the air, this thing looks great. And what I do like about pincers is they make up for the lack of tank feet. So if you don't have tank feet, I think pincers are the way to go on a Dragonfly ship. Do you agree? Let me know. Right, so that is all 10 of today's ships. Remember, they were all in Eisentam. What was your favorite today? Did you like any of them at all? Let me know in the comment and also let me know in the comment what you're looking for so we know what to document because it's always down to the chat. When we find a ship on the live stream, they decide whether we hunt that ship or next and just document it there and then on the live stream. But everything I find, even if it doesn't make to a video, it is on the live streams with all the information for you to go and grab. Just because the chat at the time didn't like it doesn't mean that you don't like it. Now make sure you join our Discord, share all your goodies. And also, the Game Hub shop is now open, link is down below. Also, if you use the code NEXT, you'll get 10% off everything. Can't be too bad, can it? Right, thanks for watching, like, subscribe, and as always, I'll see you all in the next one. And a big thanks to all the TGH members. And welcome to another No Man's Sky video here at the Game Hub. It's been a while since the last one. Other games, family, stuff, stuff, but we're here. Now, this video is going to document one journey, and that journey is me hunting out as many Sentinel ships as I can, putting as many to my collection as I can. I have nine slots available for Sentinel ships to make sure I can keep this flow going. This is going to be days and days worth of hunting, shared with you, all condensed down to one video. I suggest you get a pen and paper if you want to make note of all the ships that you like. Every uh, ship that I show will be numbered and in the description will be timestamps with the number for every ship. So you can make a note now as we go through the ships that you like. At the end, you can then go back and flick through the timestamps, double check that is the ship you want to go and hunt out compared to everything else we've shown. Uh, all you need is the Harmonic Echoes, which I'll show in a moment as well, and the Dreadnought AI. Uh, one of those so when you enter the system I will show the location the portal ID for every ship when you enter that location just pop one of those and it will take you to that ship there's only one type of ship in every system that we visit 
So as long as you've got an echo locator, uh, which finds the camps, so that will get you the weapon as well as a ship, or if you've got the Dreadnought AI fragment, as long as you've got one of those, when you enter the system, you'll be able to find the ship that I've shown on this video. The class hunting, that's up to you, whether you find a C class, an S class, and then just upgrade it yourself, totally up to you. Um, but pen and paper is what I recommend, or your phone and a notepad, just to make note of every number, of every ship that you like, so you can reference it at the end. Remember, in the description down below, there will be timestamps for every single ship shown. So buckle up. I don't think there's anything I forgot to mention. I think we're good to go. Let's get this journey underway, and let's see what we found. So number one, the first one is very simple, basic looking. Uh, it's green, possibly blue. You can never always tell, depending on the planet's lighting. Uh, very simple style, not for me. Location though will be shown bottom left, always. Next. So the second one, again, nothing special. Looks to be blue. You might like it. You might think it's cute. Got a color rear thrusters on the back. Again, this is not for me. Location shown bottom left. Next. Right, another basic looking one. Orange, possibly red. Lighting's bad. Not for me. We'll get through it nice and quick. Location on the bottom left. Ugh. Next. Right, now for number four in the list. This is a blue and white Sentinel ship. Um, as I have nine slots at the, this early stage on the journey, uh, I will pick up a lot of the ones that I won't end up keeping. I know I won't end up keeping, but they may well be to someone else's taste. Now, I do like the little under small wings from the main wings. Uh, it's a sleek looking ship. I mean, if you like blue and white, why not? Portal location is in the bottom left. Let me know if you like it. Next. Right, number five. This one is a blue and orange variety. All your prongs and whistles. Uh, not for me. Port location, bottom left. Next. Number six. If you like yellow, then this is for you. Uh, it's yellow with a few black markings, but primarily it is all yellow. It has a nice rear end, extended engine. Port location, bottom left. This was part of my collection for a little while, but it got better. Next. Okay, with number seven, we have a very simple looking bug shaped one. That's what I like to call the ones with no rear engines on them, bugs, especially the ones with the big wings. But this one, not for me, location bottom left. Maybe you do like it, I certainly don't. Next. Now number eight, we have a lovely, I think, black and white uh, Sentinel ship here. It has the dragon style wings, the full width ones, not the skinny ones. Um, it has the tank style feet that double up as thrusters, as extended thrusters on the wings. This was a no brainer. This one at this early stage was definitely going to my collection. Will it stay in my collection? Will I find better? Well, time will tell, but I think this one was beautiful. Uh, I didn't hesitate in thinking, I want this, didn't care what class it was. Uh, I've already upgraded it to S class, I will say that. But, portal location bottom left. Do you like it? Let me know. Next. At number nine, we have an orange and white Sentinel ship. Very basic design. Not for me, though. Portal location is bottom left. Next. Number 10, another orange and white Sentinel ship. Again, very basic. Not going in my collection. Location bottom left. Next. At number 11, we have a nice looking white and black Sentinel ship. If you like this style of ship and you like the combination of white and black, you should check this one out. Uh, this one I did pick up and it stayed in my collection for a short period. It actually looks quite nice when it's flying. Location bottom left. Next. At number 12, a orange basic Sentinel ship. Another one that won't be going in my collection. Nice rear thrusters at the back, but not my style. Not at all. Next. At number 13, we have a jet black Sentinel ship. If you like this style, it's worth checking out. This one I did pick up at the early stage, as I did have nine available slots, like I said. So I can shuffle them around, try them all out. This one did look nice when it was flying. Uh, it stayed in my collection for a little while, but I did get rid of it. You'll soon see. Location bottom left, next. At number 14, I think this one is a little bit special. I do like the dragonfly style, as I like to call them. Small little bug bodies with the large wings. This one has a nice undercarriage to the bug body as well as a little non-working thruster engine exhaust, whatever that is on top of the bug body. Uh, it's got a nice predominant front. I like that undercarriage. It looks nice on the bug. 
So this one definitely went in our collection. Location bottom left, check this one out. Next. Right, at number 15 we have a really nice, I think, black and red hauler style Sentinel ship. I call it a hauler style just because of the extended back. Now the extended back on this one is a solid platform as well. Um, it's an S class as well. So because of that, the location, you can see the exact coordinates are shown on the right side of the screen. Uh, I'm also going to put a beacon down to mark the S class for this one. So if you do like this one, I picked this one up and it is still in my collection now. I, I don't know. I don't know what it is, but it's something about this. Just the rear end. Uh, there's probably better versions of it, but right now I like this and it's in my collection. Location bottom left. Let's go next. Uh, number 16, nothing too special, nice little front legs, but the rest of it is pretty bland. Location bottom left, won't spend any time on it. Next. Right, number 17, we have a white hauler style, slimline version, not for me. Location bottom left, let's move on. Next. Now we have another hauler style at number 18, another slimline one, just small wings, orange this one. Uh, again, not for me. Location bottom left. Next. Now this one, black and blue extended front, uh, wing tips extended back, large engine. Not for me. Location bottom left. Next. At number twenty, we have what appears to be in this light another orange and black Sentinel. Has wing tips at the top, double wing blades. Um, not for me. So I'll reload my save on this one. That's why I don't land always. Location bottom left. Let's move on. Next. At uh, number 21, we have an all black slimline bug style ship. Uh, a few little funky prongs, aerials on the back. Uh, won't be going in my collection, though. No. Location bottom left. Next. At uh, number 22, we have what again appears in this light to be orange. It could be red. Uh, orange and white, simple winged sentinel ship here. Uh, the prongs again on the top extended thrusters on the back to give it a little bit more of a, an edge I guess um, won't be going in my collection location bottom left next here we have a simple yet quite elegant red and black sentinel ship uh, has the predominant front uh, multiple thrusters uh, not a bad little ship won't be going in my collection though location bottom left let's move on next at number 24 we have this red and black hauler style ship um, this one I did pick up this is now part of my collection um, at the time of recording which is many ships ahead of this I still have this ship still part of my collection and it is upgraded to S class if you like this location bottom left let's move on with the next one at number 25 we have a quite simple styled white and black sentinel ship another one that won't be going in my collection location bottom left next at number 26 this one is orange and black location shown bottom left won't be going in my collection not my cup of tea so we move on next at number 27 another black sentinel ship predominant front simple wings simple back just one thruster on the back another one that won't go in my collection portal bottom left let's move on next Number 28 is a red, it doesn't look red, but it is red and blue ship. I did pick this one up as dragon style rings, uh, extended back. Uh, it does look nice, this ship. I've still got this one in my collection at this point. Will I get rid of it? I'm still not sure, but it's still there right now. Portal is bottom left. This is a really nice ship, really nice ship. Let's move on though, next. Number 29, we have a yellow and black ship here. Um, little funky small wings on the top and the bottom. Simple wings on the side. Location, bottom left. Let's move on. Next. At number 30, we have an orange, what appears to be orange, sentinel ship. Quite simple. Uh, small, elegant, but not for me. Location, bottom left. Let's move on. Next. At number 31, I think this one's a little bit special. At least for me, it's red, black with a little bit of white. It has front fangs on the on the ship. It has the claw feet. Um, it has the dragon wings. It has small wings on the side. They're not overzealous, uh, but they have the little thrusters and the pipes on the side. I really like this. I don't know what to say. I just really like this ship. If you've got a spot and it needs filling, try this one. 
location bottom left. Let's move on with the next one. Number 32, orange, black and white Sentinel ship. Pretty basic, won't spend any time on it. Location bottom left, let's move on next. Number 33, another orange and black Sentinel ship. Seen quite a few of these. Predominant front, nah, not for me. Let's move on, next. Hmm, this one. Close to what I want, but not quite. Wrong color, move on, next. Okay, number 35. This is the sort of hauler that I want. This is going to replace the existing one that I picked up earlier. I like the back with the extra prongs on it. Uh, solid back. Thrusters on the wings. The other one didn't have that. We've got a nice predominant front. Nice and wide. This one is in my collection. S-Class now. Location bottom left. Oh, this one's nice. Next. And number 36. We have a very slim line entry hauler style here. Um, four little dots at the front. Very cute, but not for me. Not going to my collection, let's move on, next. At number 37, a very simple style, blue, white and black ship. Not for me, let's move on, next. At number 38, look at this bad boy. This is red and black. I believe I named this one Deadpool Flyer. Uh, it's really nice. Uh, dragon style wings, the full thickness of them. Rear thrusters are extended, also little small wings, extended engine, exhaust on the side. This is really nice. Uh, this one, like I say, made it into my collection. Another one that went instantly to S-Class. If you want something that's similar to this or like this, grab this ship. It's beautiful. Let's move on. Next. At number 39, we have this yellow and black entry. Very simple, uh, but it does have extended rear thrusters thanks to that extended front also. Uh, as the claw style feet. Do you like it? Location bottom left. Next. At number 40, you can't get much more basic than this. Well, actually, that's a lie because you can, and we do shortly. If you like this, entry bottom left. Next. At number 41, we have what looks to be orange, possibly red, maybe even yellow. You can never tell with this silly lighting. Either way, not for me. Location bottom left. Next. At number 42, we have a ship where you can't really tell what's front and back when you're looking from the side. Definitely not a ship for me. Do you like this style ship? Let me know. Moving on, next. At number 43, we have another red and black hauler. Similar to the last one, except it doesn't have the prongs on the top. And this one has red wings rather than black. Don't need it. Location bottom left, next. At number 44, we have a very vivid green and blue dragon style ship. The wings are not as wide as they can be. Uh, has extended rear thrusters as well. And actually not a bad looking ship. No room for it in my collection. Location bottom left. Moving on. Next. At number 45 we have an orange and black. Possibly red and black sentinel ship. Quite sleek. Not for me though. Location bottom left. Next. At number 46, we have a blue and red ship here. Uh, thrusters on the wings, claw style feet. Uh, looks quite nice. I did get it just to fill a gap, just to uh, see what it looks like. And yeah, it's not a bad looking ship. If you like them quite simple like this and you like the combination of blue and red, location is bottom left. Let's move on. Next. Number 47, another one that went in my collection and so far has definitely stayed in my collection. This is beautiful. You know I like the bug style uh, ships. I've mentioned that a few times. This one is also S-Class because I like it so much. I hunted out the S-Class location you can see on the right hand side. You might have to rewind it a little bit. Showed you the exact coordinates. I've also put a beacon down. Uh, so you've got two ways of finding it. Yellow, black, bug style. It's got the undercarriage which I've mentioned before. I really do like. Really like this ship. This one is one of my favorites now yellow black if you like this location previously shown let's move on next number 48 not as special and not for me won't spend any time on this one let's move on location shown next at number 49 we have another hauler style as i refer to them as but this one is orange mm, not for me no orange and white in the hauler style does not bite it for me um, I'll stick with my red and black one. Location shown bottom left if you do like it. Let's move on next. And at 50 now. 50. We have an orange and black simple sentinel ship. Claw feet. Do you like it? I don't. Move on. Next. At number 51, a slimline hauler. Not my cup of tea. 
very simple, very basic. Location shown, next. Yellow and black at number 52. Not my cup of tea, someone may like this. Has a little bit of uh, red on the wing as well. Uh, location shown, move on, next. Number 53, another hauler style. This one is red and black once again. Not as good as the previous one shown, I don't think, but you may disagree. Location shown, next. This one, quite nice, but not for me. Kind of like a mint green and black. Uh, dragonfly wings. Um, yeah, it's all right. Just the wrong color combination. Next. Now, I did say earlier, they do get more basic. And I don't think you can get more basic than this. This is basic, basic. Let's move on. Next. At number 56, what appears to be orange in this light and white hauler. In uh, case top and bottom, not for me. I've already got a nice hauler. So let's move on. Location shown. Next. At number 57. Hard to tell in this light, but it is red and black. Very sleek style. Plenty of extensions on the wings, on the top. It's got extended front. But not for me. No room for it. Location shown. Let's move on. Next. At number 58, we have another blue and white dragon style uh, ship here. We have the thrusters on the side of the wings. We have the extended back. We have the dragon skinny wings. They're not the full size ones, but they're still nice. Color combination, not for me. Location shown bottom left. What do you reckon? Next. Number 59. I know what I reckon of this one, and I don't like it. Not going to spend any time on it. Let's move on. Next. At number 60. You may like this one. The extended back with the uh, prongs on makes this quite nice, if I'm honest. Just no room for it in my collection. Blue and white. Location shown. Moving on. Next. Number 61. Orange and black with a wide front. Again, a hauler style. Double wings. Uh, wrong color combination. Got a better hauler. Not for me. Location shown. Next. At number 62, we have a very light blue and white Sentinel ship. Uh, very basic style. But some people do like this style. I appreciate that. So that's why I'm showing them. Uh, extended thrusters on the back as well as the prongs. Location shown. Let's move on, shall we? Next. Number 63. I almost feel bad for putting these ones in this collection, but they were part of the journey. Not for me, though. Location shown. Next. Number 64. Blue and black. Very strange looking ship, if I'm honest. All thrusters are extended. Not for me. Next. Number 65, we have another simple looking red and black sentinel ship. Another one that definitely won't make my collection. If you like it, location shown. Next. 66, this is a nice looking sentinel ship for the default colors. It's got the dragon wings, it's got the thrusters on the side, extended front, four eyes. Location shown. Do you like it? Next. Number 67. Mwah. This is a beautiful little ship. I think so. Uh, I do like the bug style ones. I've said it time and time again. I've got a few of these in my collection, which we'll see at the end. Uh, this one is yellow and black. Uh, oh, I like this one. I really do like this one. Another one that went straight to S class without hesitation. This one is going to stay in my collection unless I find one like this with the undercarriage. That is the only thing that's going to beat this, or an exhaust fan on the back. Just a little extra something, but other than that, this one's staying. Location shown, next. 68, not my cup of tea. I don't like the ones where, like I say, from the side, it sometimes it's hard to tell whether it's the front or the back. Funky combination, orange and yellow and black. Hauler style, location shown, not for me. Let's move on, next. Number 69, blue and black, very basic, but very different at the same time the wings are extended at the back a lot further than the rest of them because it is so small next at number 70 we have an off-white possibly yellow uh, white and black hauler style already got my hauler sorted doesn't interest me do you like it let's move on next now we have an orange and black maybe red and black at number 71 basic style sentinel ship not for me won't spend any time on it you know what happens next Number 72, the footage I had on the ground didn't come out, but the location is still valid. Bottom left, it's an off-white and black dragon style. Nice. Next. This one is uh, hmm, bizarre. Claw feet, uh, top, 
with the little wings and prongs, but no actual wings. Not for me. 73. Hmm. Next. 74. We have a red and black slimline, wide-faced, predominant front. Not for me. Next. At number 75, we have the orange, white, and black Sentinel Dragonfly ship. It has the extended back, uh, as an exhaust on the top, extended engine. Do you like it? It's not too bad. Next. At number 76, here we have a black, simple style Sentinel ship. Mm, not my cup of tea though. Next. At number 77, we have another bug style, orange and black. Very similar to one I've already picked up, or I would have grabbed this one. It's got the exhaust on the back, which is nice. Three eyes, if you like that sort of thing. But, as you can see, this one is the one we've already picked up and already shown. Same style, except it has the undercarriage, which I really do like. But that's number 77, location shown. Next. At number 78, we have an orange and black hauler style. Don't need one. I have my red and black one. I only want one. All I need. Location shown. Move on. Next. Number 79, we have a red and black slimline style ship. Nothing fancy about it. If you like the colour scheme, it might appeal to you. Not my cup of tea. Moving on. Next. At number 80, we have another hauler style. Um, I believe it's red, black and white. It's hard to tell in the light. Location is shown. Do you like it? Let me know. Next. At number 81, we have a grey and white entry here. Um, no, not, not for me. Do you like this style? This colour scheme really doesn't work either. Move on. Next. At number 82, we have a red and black Dragonfly bug style ship. Uh, the only thing that ruined it for me is the tips of the wings and the engines. I was hoping it was just a planet lighting, but it wasn't. I took it off planet and it is like an off green blue colour. So not for me. Location shown. Moving on. Next. Number 83, we have an orange and black entry here. Dragonfly wings, uh, the claw feet. It has the part of a wing, but it sort of cuts off before it passes the dragonfly part. Um, this is not a bad looking ship, especially airborne. I did pick one up just to have a look, see what it looked like. Um, I actually did like this. Did I keep it? That's the question. We'll find out soon enough. We're near the end. Let's move on, shall we? Next. 84, we have... No. No. No, 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 no. <clears throat> Rhubarb and custard. Next. 85 we have a blue and black entry here uh, pretty simple pretty basic not my cup of tea let's move on shall we yes next 86 we have a very predominant looking orange sentinel ship here little fins at the top uh, thrusters on the back not my cup of tea though moving on next 87 another I'd call boring orange and white ship um, not my cup of tea does have extended flaps and thrusters at the back but still no move on next number 88 um a bug body and an undercarriage what more do you want huh <laughs> next uh no what a bizarre color scheme looks like it's be yellow and orange but it could be yellow and red and just a bad planet lighting but uh either way no 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 next at number 90, we have what looks to be like a custard yellow and white hauler style ship. Um, I have no room for it, but even if I did, this one's not my cup of tea. Moving on, next. At number 91, we have yet another orange and black dragonfly style. Um, extended wings, further than the last one we showed. Uh, predominant front, extended thrusters on the bottom. Exhaust, not bad. Next. 92. Oh, this was almost nice. But there's something about it that said no. I don't know what it is. I guess it's just the half-baked rear. Um, you might like it. I certainly didn't. Moving on. Next. At number 93, we have a black and what looks to be like an off-greeny blue colour. Again, a weird combination coming towards the end of colours. Um, not for me. Not my kind of uh, ship. Definitely no room for it. Next. 94 it's nice but no room for it and honestly i probably wouldn't fly it white and black single thruster at the back it's like a 
an old school fighter of the Sentinel ships. Next, 95, a bug body with exhaust and two side wings that reach back behind the ship because of the small body. Um, I don't know. It's kind of cool, I guess. It's red. Location shown if you want to check it out. Moving on, next. Uh, okay, now we have what I thought was a white and black ship to start with, but turned out to be yellow and black. Um, not for me. Moving on, next. Now, number 97. This is where the journey comes to an end. This is the last slot that I fill. So, what do you think? If you want a blue bug style dragonfly with undercarriage that's the same color as your minotaur that's the same color as your robo dog you should definitely check this one out this is an s class as well location shown on the right side of the screen the exact coordinates um this is definitely going to my collection beautiful ship i love it so now let's check my final nine so we will start where we ended and that is with the blue one Right at the end there, number 97. It matches the Minotaur, it matches your Sentinel if you still got it, and it matches the Robo Dog. Lovely undercarriage, lovely shape. I love it. Uh, it was a good one to end on, can't lie. Uh, yet to name that one. Number 47 in the list, kept this one. This one I called a Bumblefly. Uh, lovely undercarriage, lovely little side wings. Uh, really like this one, and uh, a little bit special that one. This one. Number 14 in the list, I called Orange Dragon, another dragonfly style. Lovely little undercarriage, it was tight. Some of the undercarriages split apart, that one's not. Nice and tight, looks nice in the air. Then we have yet another dragonfly style. This is a brighter yellow to the other one, you can see that one in the distance. Uh, no undercarriage on this one. Nice and simple, but it looks really nice flying. Now, number 35 in the list was the hauler that we picked. Really nice hauler, it's got the prongs. Uh, it's got the solid back. Really like that one. That is my best hauler that I found. Will I change it in the future? Who knows? But for now, that one is staying. Now, the next two. These are a little bit special. I do like the red and black. And number 38 in the list. This is what I call Deadpool Flyer. I love this one. Uh, lovely colour. Lovely extension on the bug at the back with the, uh, the exhaust fans, the thrusters. Uh, the little side wings really like that one uh, and this one also a bit wider a bit more to it but it's got white involved um, it's got the thrusters on the wings as well the tips full-size dragonfly wings shame it's got no uh, exhaust on the top uh, it's got lovely tentacles on the front or fangs whatever they are looks really good then we have white hope as I've called it this one number eight in the list we found this nice and early um, looks really nice when it's flying. If you like white and black, it's got all the uh, thrusters that you need. It's got the claw feet. Looks good flying. Really nice little ship there. Uh, may exchange it in the future for a pure white one, but for now it's good. Now, the eagle eyed amongst you may have noticed that there was only eight I've shown. There's number nine. The reason I left that to last is I haven't upgraded that because upon editing, I've decided maybe it's not the final one. But the final one is amongst the 97 that I found. Now I've got to decide which one that will be swapped with. But that is my nine. Now, if you're asking which one was the most powerful, well, that was Bumblefly. That one put out a staggering 71,000 DPS with the infra knife. When it was adjusted right the rest of them between 52 and 69,000 dps the same weapon but that one oh lovely number 47 in the list absolutely annihilates enemies so that was my final nine what was your final nine did you even get nine was it any that you liked did you like the ones that i picked did i make the right choices let me know in the comments if any of these were any good if you've got any questions let me know now i've made a little base still not finished it at the end of our journey the base is called journey's end so if you do go for the blue one look out for the base name and you'll be heading straight to the s-class ship thanks for watching see you in the next one
and welcome back to the game hub for another ship hunting video on no man's sky today i'm bringing you another 13 new viewer finds that came from the discord that now brings us up to over 625 sentinel ship locations on the game hub channel loads now we also do daily live streams uh, so there's many exclusive finds you will not find in videos and the viewers do decide what we hunt and what we next so if you want to be part of that join us on a live stream now also join us in discord where you can find many other ship finds from other viewers uh, that have never made it a video uh, there's just too many check it out now if you come across any glitch ships report any bases nearby save your game reload and then collect your ship make sure you are in the euclid galaxy before using a portal multiplayer must be disabled in your network settings and communication balls will be put down near every crash site so nice and easy let's go Right, the first one on the list today is a Class S ship. All the details top of the screen. And remember, it's in Euclid Galaxy. Now, this one was submitted by Taki in the Discord. Color scheme on this one is red and black. The style is a dragonfly style. It has the skinny wings and the undercarriage. Initially, the slots are very spread out until you've unlocked the fourth one. You do get two together, but the other two are still spread. Now, in the air, this one does look graceful. Once that bottom drops and splits, it does give that extended look. It does look nice, but I do prefer the fat wings. You know that. Next. Now, number two on the list, we've got a Class A ship. This one is submitted by Potsy Dog. Again, all the details top of the screen. Color scheme on this one is very simple. Black slash purple, whatever you prefer to name it as. Now, once you look at the supercharged slots, we've got two on the right and one on the left once you've upgraded it to s the other one is in the middle hmm either way simple beautiful looking ship if you do like them simple this is a good choice if you like a bug with skis well there you go next okay ship number three this one is another class a ship this one was submitted by ra now, color scheme is blue and black. All the details top of the screen is a hauler style with a solid encased top and bottom with a few extra prongs. What do you think of this one? Two on the right, one in the middle with the supercharged slots. But as an S class, you do get a group of three over on the right. So they're not bad. In the air, nothing's going to move due to the shape that it is. But that fat dominant light on the front does give this an extra little touch. Next right ship number four another class a ship all the details top of the screen this one was submitted by rn jesus now this color scheme is orange on this one with a bit of white skinny wings and the dragonfly style with that undercarriage section orange now supercharged slots they're very orange as you can see uh they get a little bit less orange as an s class but they're still orange now once in the air you can see it does look very orange uh and from this angle it's also very orange um, you can see a little bit more orange from the back too. Next. Ship number five. This one is another class S ship on today's list. All the details top of the screen. This one was submitted by Morgana. Color scheme on this one is yellow and red with the black wings. Now this one does have the tank feet, but it does also have that top section many don't like, but do you? Supercharged slots, they're very spread out initially, and uh, they're still spread out once you go up to S class, but still, that might suit you. Now, in the air, nothing really changes on this thing, apart from the wings dipping and the tank feet tucking up. Very simple design, but it's that top part. Can you handle it? Next. Ship number six. Now, this one is another class A ship. This one was submitted by Rogi. Color scheme on this one is red and white. It is a full-size dragonfly, is in the wings. Uh, it does have the under section as well, which does split and spread in the air. Supercharged slots is an A look great, three on the right, one on the left when you upgrade it to S. So still good. Uh, like I say, in the air, it does all spread out. So if you like this style with the full-size wings, this is a beautiful little ship. Check it out. Next. Okay, ship number seven. This one is another S class. This one was submitted by Moist Brownie. All the details top of the screen. This one is a very simple dragonfly, black and gray or purple and gray, whatever you want to call it. Either way, supercharged slots are a little lackluster. However, the ship is great. If you do like your dragonfly simple and you like it dark, this is for you. Nice little four lights at the front too. Nice, nice. Next. 
Okay, ship number eight now. This is another A class. This one was submitted by Six Killer. Again, details, top of the screen. Color scheme on this one comes in black and white. Uh, I'm not a fan of the mandibles, but I know many do like this ship. Supercharged slots as an A, you can see two on the right and one just to the left of it. Once you upgrade, there is three laddered there. Not a bad little shape. Now, in the air, this thing does look nice. It's just the mandibles that would stop me flying it. But it's got the X-wing shape at the back. It's beautiful. Do you like it? Next. Okay, ship number nine is another class A ship today. Now, this one was submitted by Tylus. This one comes in the color scheme of red and black. It's a Thai style, if you like the Thai styles. I recently gave mine up. It was a sad day. Uh, supercharged slots, we got three stacked very nicely there together. And on the left, you get the fourth once it's an S class. In the air, it looks like you'd expect. It's a TIE fighter, it all splits apart. It looks beautiful. I am a fan of these. I just wish I had more slots to keep one. Next. Okay, ship number 10 on today's list. This one is another class S ship. This one is submitted by one of our mods, Fry Sonic. Now, this is green and black. It has all the prongs and whistles, if you like this color scheme. We have the tank feet there too. Uh, if you like the pincers on the top, it's not bad. Supercharged slots as an S-Class, very close, but not completely grouped. Uh, in the air, it just looks beautiful. If you like this style of ship, everything just works. Nothing's overdone. Next. Okay, now ship number 11 on today's list. This one initially is a Class B. This one was submitted by Sasquatch in the Discord. All the details you need are top of the screen. Color scheme on this one comes in a teal and black with purple of course. Now with the supercharged slots, you can see two on the left initially because it's a B class. Upgrade to S and you get three on the left and one just to the right of it. So beautiful slots once it's an S class. Don't judge these ships by their class. You'll be missing out on some good ships if you do. This thing looks great in the air, but next. Right, ship number 12 on today's list. This one is another S class for you today. This one is submitted by Gentle details top of the screen now the color scheme on this one comes in red and black another dragonfly with a bit of white there of course now skinny wings if you like them it has the tank feet too supercharged slots we can see three over on the left initially and then once you've unlocked all the slots the fourth is over on the right now in the air well it's a dragonfly it speaks for itself they're beautiful i just wish this one had full-size wings because the rest of it is absolutely spot on next Right, ship number 13. This one's a Class B. It was submitted by Azioth. Now, Azioth didn't submit the Class B. This is one that we found as a community once he shared his information. This one is an absolute beauty. Supercharged slots in the version the community found are three together and then one just to the left of that. But like I say, Azioth is the original founder and he went out of his way to go back to find the coordinates so we could hunt out this for you today. So it starts as B and ends up as a beautiful S. Check this one out. That is all of today's 13 ships. Did you have any that you liked? I know there was a few that I had a soft spot for. Some of them I did pick up, but they didn't stay in my collection long. I need more slots. What did you like? Now also, if you've got some ships that you'd love to share with us or would like to see in a future video, head to the Discord and share them and check everybody else's out. Now also, if you've got a particular ship in mind, let me know in the comments what it is you're after. Maybe I've already found it and I can point you in the right direction or we can add it to our list of things to look out for. Now, as always, thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next one. And welcome to another ship hunting journey here at the Game Hub. This is journey number eight now, all of which are based in the Euclid Galaxy. Now, 52 new Sentinel ship locations is what I bring you on this video today. Again, Euclid Galaxy, important before you jump in a portal. That now brings the total to 400 plus ship finds on this channel. So check them out if you haven't already. Now, my primary goal is to find ships I like and then get an S-Class version of that ship. However, even ships that are ships I'm not going to pick up, I'll still hunt out the best version that I can in the time I've allotted for that ship, for that hunt. That's important. So not every ship is going to be S-Class. So take Echoes and Dreadnought if you need to. Now, network, make sure that's disabled before we begin. 
Um, if you do like these ship hunting journeys, be sure to give the video a like and subscribe to the channel uh, and I'll keep these videos coming. So let's begin, shall we? Now, ship number one is an S-Class. Now, this one is a solid, white, um, simple Sentinel ship. Now, the location for every ship and the coordinates would be at the top for every ship displayed. Okay? Important. Uh, supercharge slots on the first one, three on the left, one on the right. Next. Okay, number two. This one is a Class A ship. Uh, this is a dragonfly style. It's black and red. It has the under extended parts at the back. Uh, the dragon wing is full size. It does have extra thrusters on the side too. Uh, supercharged slots, we can see two on the left, one on the right. Uh, yeah, next. Okay, number three. This is a class B. This one is a red and black bat style one. Uh, as always, like I say, information is at the top for this ship. Uh, pretty basic looking, no information. Next. Okay, number four is another Class A ship now. This one is an orange and black slim stole. The extended pipes uh, lead for thrusters. Um, extended wings that come forward slightly. Quite basic. Uh, supercharged slots, we've got two on the right, one in the middle as an A-Class. Next. Number five. Moving on, another Class A ship. Another simple, basic style, uh, yellow, just the bottom part. Um, do you like them this basic? I know I certainly don't. Um, supercharged slots on this one. We can see two in the middle and one on the right as an A-Class. Next. Okay, number six now. We are looking at a Class B ship. This is another Dragonfly, full size Dragon Wings. It's blue, white, and black. And again, it does have the under section that extends backwards. Uh, no information. Number seven, another Class B. Now, the Class Bs, I generally don't check, as you likely see one, uh, maybe at best two slots. Not really worth checking. Uh, this black, simple one does have the big fat light, though. So maybe worth hunting out a better version. Hmm? Do you like it? Next. Number eight, uh, Class A ship, this one. This one, at first, I thought was red, um, but I think it was the planet lighting. This one, I do believe, is definitely orange. Nice, simple, slim style. Orange, black, and white. Uh, it does have the claw feet as well. Supercharged slots. We're looking at two on the left and one on the right as an A-Class. Next. Right, number nine now. We have another Class A. This one is a blue... Hauler style, blue and white. Uh, solid top, not at the bottom though. The bottom does spread open. Plenty of thrusters on this one. Uh, extended thrusters on the wings also. Supercharged slot info. We have three available there as you can see. Spread out. Next. Okay, number 10 brings us another Class A ship. This one is a very pale green with extended front. Uh, also has a bit of white in there. Uh, does have the exhaust. No extended thrusters on the wings or at the back. Very simple style, uh, very simple color. Um, supercharged slots, we have three that are just spread out. Next. Okay, number 11 now. Uh, we have another Class A. Now this is a very nice looking Dragonfly style if you like orange and white. Has extended thrust, uh, thrusters on the bottom uh, thanks to the, the underboards which come out of the front as pincers. Full size wings, thrusters on the side. Not bad, not bad. Supercharged slots though, could be better. Two left, one right. Next. Number 12, another Class S ship here. This one is a very nice, if you like white, a hauler style. Um, information at the top, like I say, it's white, black, and red. Um, very simple hauler style. Those extensions may fold out, who knows. Uh, supercharged slots, we have two that we can see, even though it's an S-Class, both grouped. Possible for four. Possible for four. Next. Okay, number 13, we have a B. Now, this one could possibly be yellow. Uh, some parts of the planet, they were yellow. Some parts, they looked orange. Could not find better than B. Um, I did try. Very simple, though. Uh, no information as it is a B. Next. Okay, number 14 now, uh, a Class C ship. This one is a hauler. 
Um, I did try and find a better version, failed to. It does have the fat light at the front, which you don't see many of. Solid bottom and a solid top on the hauler style, so it's fully encased with the prongs, extender thrusters. It's not bad, but it's just to see next. Okay, number 15, we're moving on to a class A again here. Information at the top, very slim, no side wings. It's a blue and black uh, extended hauler style. No parts are in case, but they do join up very nicely. Uh, I wouldn't own one of these myself. Supercharged slots, two right, one left. Not bad, next. Okay, number 16, another class B ship here. Again, the best I could find, so there'll be no supercharged slot information for this one. Uh, this one's orange and white, very simple, slim style. Uh, yeah, moving on, next. Okay, number 17, another class A ship here, another hauler. Now, I'm not sure if it was the planet lighting, but this one is orange and green. Uh, very bizarre combo, not seen that very often. Uh, supercharged slot information, we have two on the left, one on the right is an A-class. Where will the fourth one be? Next. Number 18, uh, another C-class. Now this one, again, I tried to find a better version, couldn't. I wouldn't use it, but I know other players have said they like that uh, shade of green. Uh, simple wings. Next. Okay, number 19, another Class B ship here. This one is a blue and blue, as it appears. We've got a dark blue and a pale blue uh, combined here. Extended thrusters, thanks to the bit at the top. No supercharged light info, as it's only a B that I could find on this one. Moving on, next. Okay, now number 20, Class B ship here again. Uh, and remember, the information's always at the top. Uh, very simple orange and black one here. Again, it's B class, so there's no slot information on this one. Very basic though. Moving on, next. Okay, now number 21, class B ship here again. Uh, another orange, uh, slim, bulky style with the claw feet, this one. Uh, it does have a double layer of wings with the white section as well. Um, again, no slot information as it's B. Moving on, next. Number 22, another Class B. This one is a darker blue and black. It's not a bad looking slim ship. Uh, even the blue engine, it's a nice little finish on this one. Uh, again, B, no slot information. Moving on, shall we? Yep, next. Number 23, another slim hauler style. Now, I couldn't get good lighting on this planet for the life of me. Uh, this is with daylight above me. It's a simple, slim, black and red um, hauler uh, pieces at the back match up not too bad supercharged slots we can see two on the right one on the left is an a-class hmm moving on next okay now number 24 this is another green and black one but this one's a, a, a lighter a sort of brighter shade of green compared to the last one we just showed uh, this one does have supercharged slot information very simple style simple wings uh, boards with the little mini wings as well. Supercharged slot info, they're very spread out. Uh, where's the fourth one going to be? Next. Okay, number 25, Class A. This one is another Dragonfly style. Uh, color scheme is orange, white, and black. It does have the extended bottom that comes out. Uh, may fold. Uh, the Dragonfly wings are not full width, unfortunately. Um, many orange ones on this journey. Supercharged slots, we have two on the right, one on the left is an A-class. Next. Number 26, another Class A ship. Now this one is another solid in case top and bottom hauler, blue and black. This is a really nice hauler. If you're looking for a solid encased hauler, you like blue and black, you may like this one. Uh, couldn't find the S-class, unfortunately. Uh, supercharged slot info on this one, we've got two on the left, one on the right. So it could have three groups on the left, not bad. Next, number 27, uh, C-Class Dragonfly. I did try and find a better version of this as it does have the full width Dragonfly wings. Someone might appreciate this. Could not find better than C, unfortunately. So no slot information. Hmm, not bad though. Next. Right, number 28, Class B ship here. This one is blue and black. Again, remember the information top of the screen always for every single ship as they pop up. 
Uh, very simple style, no slot information as it's only B. Next. Okay, number 29, very quick, very simple. Uh, we always get at least one or two of these. This one is a yellow and white simple bug. Uh, exhaust on the top. Pfft, there you go, it is what it is. Moving on. Next. Number 30, uh, another B class. Now this one is like an ice blue and pale green. Very simple. Uh, again, B class, best I could find. So no slot um, information on this one. Moving on, next. Okay, number 31, class A ship, orange and black hauler. Um, all flows quite well, solid bottom. Uh, the top has the prongs on it. Looks quite grand if you like the orange. Supercharged slot information. We have just two showing at A class at the moment. Hmm, next. Okay, number 32, another Class A ship here. This one, again, orange and black. Lots of orange popped out on this journey. Uh, it does have a little bit of white there on the engine. Very simple style. It is an A-Class, so we do have some supercharged slot information on this one. Um, now, hmm. Yep, next. Right, number 33, Class A ship. Uh, again, oh. It's orange, but this one has the fangs at the front. Um, if you like this style, it has a lot to it. Uh, extender thrusters at the bottom, the prongs, like I said, the fangs at the front. Um, yeah, solid looking. Uh, two on the right, one on the left for the slots. Moving on, next. Okay, number 34, class B. This one is like a mint green, uh, and again, ice blue. Um, hauler, solid bottom. Um, yeah, it's not too bad, but it's just the B. No information, sorry. Next. Okay, number 35, another B. Uh, another dragonfly, orange once again. This is more white than black, this one. Uh, full size dragon wings. The under does extend that to the back. Not bad, but no slot information. Again, it is a B. Next. Okay, another B. Sometimes you find the good ones, sometimes you don't. This one, I believe, is blue and red, but it's hard to tell in this light. Uh, no slot information. Um, mm, not too bad. Next. Uh, number 37. Class A. <sighs> orange. Sometimes you just get those orange streaks, but I document everything, so some videos may be orange heavy, but that's just what the finds were. Um, overall, it's not too bad uh, if you like orange supercharged slots though spread out meh next okay number 38 now green and blue and black class b uh, it's a very bright green compared to the previous greens we've seen but again b class best i could find no supercharged slot information moving on next Number 39, another Class B. This one is an orange and black bat style. Um, again, only a B is what I could find, so no supercharged slot information. Hmm, next. Okay, number 40, another Class B, another orange. Uh, this one's more orange and white again. Does have black in there. Solid top and a solid bottom, it's worth noting, for those that like the solid full top and bottom. Next. Number 41, another Class A. Again, orange. Again, predominantly white over the black. Uh, does have extended thrusters top and bottom. Dual layer of wings. Overall, it's not bad if you like orange. Supercharged slots, though. Again, very spread out. Mm. Next. Number 42, another Class B here. Again, a green. We've got quite a few greens on this one too. Uh, very simple style, but it does have quite a bit to it. No extended thrusters on the wings. Only B, no information. Next. Number 43, again, Class B. Uh, this one is red and black, similar to the one we found earlier, but this one has more red. Uh, it does have the prongs on the side, but no side wings. Meh, next. Okay, now number 44. This one is another Class B ship. Very simple bug style with an undercarriage, red and black. 
That's all there is to it. No information. Moving on. Next. Number 45. Another Class B one here. Again, another orange one. Uh, another hauler style. It does have a solid top and bottom. Again, four lights at the front. But it's orange. No information. Moving on. Next. Number 46. Class A. Again, a wingless hauler. This one is blue. Primarily little bit of black in there but does have a secondary blue a lighter blue also is an a-class we do have slot information on this one two together on the right one over on the left next right number 47 another class a ship here again another orange lots and lots of oranges on this run um, it does have a little bit of white in there uh, very simple style uh, but can you handle that in first person view that's the question and can you handle orange uh, supercharged slots we can see one on the left uh, two on the right but not joined next okay number 48 another class a ship another orange one oh they kept coming they kept coming so it is a hauler style again um, nothing solid on the top or bottom on this one uh, supercharged slots very spread out once again next number 49 class b very similar to the red one that we just saw only this one's black so just a bug with an undercarriage no exhaust on this one though and no slot information moving on next okay so now this one is a class b number 50. um class b i did try and find a better one because i thought from behind this one looked quite funky from the underbelly sprouts two little mini wings again it's orange possibly red only a b next Okay, number 51, um, another Class B here, and unfortunately for me on my finds, it was another orange. It does have a sided in case top and bottom though, with the prongs, um, extra thrusters, but no slot information. Next. Okay, now for the best find of this journey for myself. One I did pick up, it's an S Class. It's a Dragonfly style, it has the claw wings, uh, the claw wings, the claw feet, sorry, tank feet, however you refer to them as. Full size dragon wings, lovely colouring, like pretty much all red, including the engine bay uh, with the black thrown in. Supercharged slots, very nicely laid out. I got over 2,000 on maneuverability and about 60,000 on DPS. It matches my freighter and it's great in the air. I really do like this one. Um, I think this is the best find for me in a while. It's the first time I've actually replaced one in a while. Um, and that was 52. And out of those 52, I only picked up one this time. It's getting tougher. It's getting tougher. Now, thanks for watching. Let me know what you're looking for. And I'll see you on the next journey. And welcome back to the Game Hub and yet another ship location video. Now today I am bringing you six new viewer finds from the Discord. So that now takes us up to over 666 Sentinel ship locations on the Game Hub channel. So make sure you check them out. Now not only have we got the 666 ships, we've also got thousands more on the daily live stream playbacks. Many, many exclusives over there, especially when the viewers are saying next. If they don't like it, we'll next it. But it's still documented for you. Now today we have some fantastic finds once again with some amazing supercharged slots. So be ready for some nice ones. Now, if you've got some ships that you want to share with us, head over to the Game Hub Discord and show us what you've got and maybe we can put it in a future video. Now, every ship today, this is important, is in the Euclid Galaxy. So be sure you are there if you want to find these ships. Right, let's go. Okay, ship number one today then. All the details top of the screen. Now, this one comes in the color scheme of yellow and green and it is an A-class to begin. This one was submitted into the Discord by Warhol Jinx. Now, this one doesn't have tank feet. It's just got an undersection instead. Supercharged slots is an A. You can see two over on the right. Once fully upgraded to S-Class and all the slots unlocked, you can see three stacked on the right and one just to the left. Now, in the air, this thing looks okay. Uh, if you like the skinny wings. Now, the wings are pretty simple. So there's no prongs or extended thrusters, but not a bad little find. What do you think? Next. Okay, now ship number two. Now this one also starts life as an A-class. Now this one was submitted into Discord by Wilma. 
color scheme on this one comes in a green and blue. However, in some lights, it looks purple, so it looks like a Joker ship. Supercharged slots, you can see three over on the right as an A-class. Once upgraded to S, this one gives you four all in a row over on the right-hand side. In the air, it looks pretty simple. However, if you're a Batman fan and you can see this is the Joker ship, this one could be for you. Not bad, Wilma. Next. Right, ship number three now. This one also starts life as a Class A ship. Now, this one was submitted into the Discord by Zorgo. All the details you need are top of the screen. And remember, these are Euclid. Now, the color scheme on this one comes in yellow. It is a dragonfly style with the skinny wings and tank feet. Now, A-class, you can just see two on the right and one just to the left. Once upgraded to S, you can see three over there on the right stepped and then one just to the left. Now, in the air, this thing does look pretty simple as it is a small dragonfly. Uh, but the skinny wings, they don't look too bad on this one. What do you think of this one? Hmm, not bad, not bad. Next. Okay, now ship number four on today's list. Now this one starts life as class B, but never judge them by their class. All the details you need are top of the screen. This one was submitted into the Discord by Mean Dark. Now, color scheme, gray and white. It is a tie style. Now supercharged slots, you can only see two initially as a B, but once you've upgraded to S class, you can see the three stacked over towards the right and one on the left. Now, as this is a tie style, it always always looks better once you take off and you take flight and everything opens and spreads this is a beautiful find beautiful color nice one mean next okay ship number five another class b today remember do not judge them by their class this one was submitted into the discord by sebatio now this color scheme comes in a red and black it has the extended thrusters thanks to just pipes not full wings now, supercharged slots, you can see two together in the middle as the B. Once it's an S, again, we're getting three grouped in the middle and then one across to the right. Now, similar to the TIE Fighter, this one does look slightly better. Once in flight, mini wings there at the bottom, everything spreads open. Quite a mean looking ship, if you like these, and in red. Next. Okay, now ship number six on today's list. This one starts life as a Class C ship. All the details you need are top of the screen. This one was submitted into the Game Hub Discord by Rich H. Now, color scheme on this one, red, black, and white. It does have the four size dragon wings and that under section with extended thrusters. C class, you only see one, obviously. Now, once you've upgraded to S class, you can see all the slots and three are nicely towards the middle with one just to the left. In flight, this thing does look nice. Like I say, full size dragon wings, solid red color, big wide front with the four eyes, the under extended section with the extended thrusters. Very nice little setup. Now, that is all of today's six ships. Did you have a favorite in today's? Hmm? Now, we'll be back shortly with some more. There's many more lined up. Uh, I want to know what you like. What styles do you like? Now, we are focused right now on hunting out the best supercharged slots regardless of class so what style of ship would you love to find with amazing supercharged slots let us know so we know what to look out for in the next live stream or join us now as always thanks for watching and i'll see you in the next one and welcome back to another ship location video here on the game hub and today I'm bringing you 17 new ship locations in the Eisentam galaxy. So a little bit different today. Uh, all these ships were found by myself, as I say, in Eisentam. So make sure you are there. Uh, that's the 10th galaxy. So be sure you've got the correct galaxy before using a portal or you won't find these ships. Now, today we have some amazing supercharged Sentinel ships. And the focus when we were hunting these on the live stream was the best supercharged slots regardless of the class so you're going to get many classes here today c's included but it's for the best and the best slots now make sure you've got multiplayer disabled and every crash location i have put a location beacon for you to find it nice and easily so eisentown ships let's go Right then, so the first ship in Eisentown on this list is a Class A ship, but class, like I say, isn't relevant here. We're going for supercharged slots. Now, the details are top of the screen. This one comes in a purple, simple X-wing style. It does have the mini wings up the top and bottom too. Supercharged slots, you can only see two initially on the right. As an S-class, when you've upgraded it, three on the right, one on the left. 
good ship this one now like i say in the air it's very simple looking you've got the x-wing style plus a little bit of a tie shape going on there very nice next okay now ship number two on the list now another class a but like i say class is not relevant here this one is a fanged manta style with the tank feet uh, nice wing tips there yellow and black is the color scheme all the details top of the screen again only two on the right is an a class once upgraded you get a two two so from an a to an s and a two two that is acceptable and once in the air this thing does look pretty nice as well as simple as it is the tips the tank feet the little tucked up fangs i do like this one no room for it though next okay now ship number three on today's list another one that starts as an a class now the color scheme on this one is a very bright neon yellow it is a dragonfly uh, with the skinny wings and the tank feet we do have the winch on the front there too you have the extended thrusters on the side there's a lot going on on this one now initially as an a class you can only see one once upgraded to s class you can see three over on the left and that one on the right so very acceptable uh, in the air if you do like the skinny dragonfly wings this thing does look pretty nice and it stands out like a sore thumb that is for sure hmm next right now ship number four going down to a b class now but ignore the class like i say all the details top of the screen this thing is beautiful it comes in white and white now this one i've named death seeker and it is in my squad now initially you can only see two together in the middle once upgraded that turns to three in the middle and one just to the right this thing is amazing check this one out it looks absolutely gorgeous in the air the bottom does drop and dip round fantastic ship this one is in my collection next right now ship number five on today's list another one that starts as class b but remember that's not relevant right now so all the details top of the screen another dragonfly style with the tank feet yellow and white not as bright as the last one uh construction yellow i call this one now supercharged slots you can only see one remember it's a b to start with upgrade it to s and then you've got three groups over on the left and that one over on the right nice in the air it looks very nice with the full size wings the tank feet tucked up and very minimal side wings so this is a very nice dragonfly if you like this construction yellow next okay now ship number six another one that starts as a class b all the details top of the screen and remember these are all in eyes and tab now this one comes in a nice soft red with the pincers on the front the rear extended wings you've also got the stinger on the rear very nice little ship uh initially two slots together you can see but once an s class you've got four there groups not quite a square but they're still banging in the middle there in the air this thing looks amazing if you like the color scheme this is a great choice look at that beautiful thing next okay now with ship number seven today another ship here that starts as a class b all the details top of the screen and again remember it's in eisentam now the color scheme this is a beautiful gray and green um, it has quite a bit going on but it doesn't look clustered it has the extended thrusters on the top but not the bottom uh, supercharged slots they don't look amazing initially but then once you've upgraded it to s all four again are very close together if you like a tight build like that now in the air once everything sort of drops into place lifts moves this thing looks beautiful i mean come on how often do you see this lovely next okay now ship number eight on today's list this is another one that starts as a class b but again don't judge the classes remember that details top of the screen color scheme on this one comes in yellow and black big fat light there on the front beautiful if you like that kind of thing it does have the under section two initially as a class b you can only see two upgrade to s and then again you've got three together at the top and then one close by underneath in the air it does look extremely simple but once that bottom drops out and it gives it a little bit more depth this thing does look fantastic with fantastic slots next okay ship number nine now we're on a class c but again this is worth it look at this beautiful thing now trust me we hunted for a long time and the best supercharged slot layout we could find on this one on the live stream is the c class beautiful color there now initially obviously you see one as a c class uh, but once this ship is upgraded to s you got three on the left there one on the right this thing is fantastic and it goes super fast if you set it up that way in the air it looks beautiful this was in my collection for quite a while it's gone now next right ship number 10 now another one that starts as a class c ship color scheme on this one comes in white and black and of course 
purple there too. Now this one does look fantastically simple, but it's still got great supercharged slots as you'll see. Initially, you don't see anything at all. There's no slots, but then once you've upgraded it to S and they've all unlocked, three on the left and one just to the right of it. In the air, as simple as it looks, it looks great. Some people do like the basic styles, and if you're looking for a basic black and white, I've got you. Next. All right, ship number 11 now. Another one that starts as a Class C. All the details will be top of the screen. Color scheme on this one comes in blue and white. It has those pincers on the front instead of the tank feet. Now, dragonfly wings as well, but again, they are the slim version. Supercharged slots, you see none initially as it is a C class. They're all tucked away. Once you've upgraded to S and unlocked those slots, you see three over there stepped on the left and one on the right. In the air, this thing does look beautiful. I was so tempted to grab this one, even though it had skinny wings. But next. Right, ship number 12, another one that starts as a class C. And remember, the target here is the best supercharged slots we can find while we're hunting these on the live stream. Now, this one comes in a beautiful but crazy blue and yellow. Uh, very deep vented wings. I do like this one. Initially, as a C, you see one slot over on the left. Once this ship's upgrade to S, you can see that turns into three and then a one. Very close by to each other. In the air, it has nice depth. Look at all them thrusters. This thing looks proud and big. Mm, next. Okay, now ship number 13, another class C here. Remember, I keep saying this, but these are starting classes. We're looking at the end result. Beautiful TIE fighter here, once in the air. Very simple salmon red the stinger, uh, the dual layer of wings there, the tips, prongs, everything that's going on. Supercharged slots, once it's S, you can see three groups over on the left and one on the right. Very nice layout. Then again, like I say, once in the air and everything opens up, this thing looks amazing. Do you like the color though? Oh, it's beautiful. Next. All right, moving on now to ship number 14. Another one that starts as a class C. Details, top of the screen, coordinates and portal glyphs. Remember, not just the portal glyphs. You have to go to this specific ship to get this one I'm showing. This one is a beautiful yellow. Uh, supercharged slots, you're only going to see one initially. It's a C class. Once you've upgraded it all, all four are over towards the left. Three are pretty close up grouped at the top. Uh, winch, three eyes, yellow, 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 yellow. What more do you want? This thing looks great in the air, especially if you like yellow. Next. Okay, now ship number 15. Another one that starts as a class C ship. All the details, top of the screen. Color scheme on this one comes in red and black. Simple dragonfly, but it does have the full size wings. It does have the undercarriage that extends the front and extended thrusters at the back. Uh, supercharged slots. Once it's upgraded to S class, you see three over on the left and one on the right. Beautiful. Now, in the air, it looks simple. It's a simple looking dragonfly. So, if you like them simple and sleek, check this one out. Next. Okay, ship number 16 now. This one starts as a class C. All the details are top of the screen. Now the color scheme on this one comes in yellow and red. Very simple looking style here. Now you do have the mandibles on the top and the mini wings. Uh, the bottom is slightly different. Once you look at the supercharged slots, you need to take it to S class to get that beautiful grouped four in the middle. What do you reckon? Now it's a very simple one, but do you like the color? Are you loving it? I'm not sure I'm loving the color, maybe. Next. Okay, now ship number 17. This one is an S class, and this kind of proves a point to a degree. Now, this is a beautiful looking ship. Fantastic looking ship. It stands out. Very, very simple. However, the supercharged slots, meh, disappointing. One, two, one. I mean, you may like it, but for an S class, you expect more. That's why sometimes. It's not always about the class, it's about the end result. So that is all of today's 17 ships in the Eisentam galaxy. Remember, galaxy number 10. Which of these did you like today? If you liked any, let me know in the comments. And also, feel free to share your finds in our Discord for the next viewer find video, which I'll be starting to record in the coming weeks. As always, thanks for watching. Like subscribe and I'll see you all in the next one.
and welcome back. It's that time. Today, we are bringing you 32 S-Class Sentinel ships, all of which I found on journeys 5, 6, 7, 8 and 9. All can be seen on the channel in their full glory. But this is all the S-Classes from those journeys put into one simple, neat video. So if you are an S-Class hunter and that's all you're interested in, then this is the video for you. Like I say, this is the second S-Class video. The first one that covered all the S-Classes from journeys 1 through to 4 can also be seen on the channel. So check that out if you haven't seen that one yet. Now today's video, I bring you many varieties of Sentinel ships, all varieties of colour and a few unique ones as well. Hopefully I will cover many of your tastes out there. It's just a case of are any of these good enough to replace what you've already got in your collection? If you haven't already picked these up, of course, as I say, they have been shown in previous videos, but now it's just time for the S-Class to shine and nothing else. Now, a few things that you need to take note of is all the ships are in the Euclid Galaxy. Multiplayer must be disabled. Every ship will have a beacon placed, a save point, and every ship I show will have its location and coordinates shown at the top of the screen. Let's go. So the first class S in the list today is a blue and black tank bug. Uh, it has the tank feet, has one set of mini wings, does have that extension on the top of the ship, which could be obtrusive to some in first person view. However, supercharged slots, uh, not a lot to see. Uh, one showing, that is it. You have to go to the space station to unlock the other three, unfortunately. Now in the air, not a lot's going to change as you would expect as it is a simple bug the only thing that changes is the wings do dip down moving on next okay so the second s class in the list today is another blue and black bug here now this one is a simple sleek style it has multi layers of wings all are blue blue engine bay as well four lights on the front when we look at the supercharged slots we can see all four are available two on the right one in the middle and one slightly left to that as well it's not bad overall you could do something decent with this one next okay the third class s in the list today now this one is a red white and black dragonfly styles it has two maybe even three layers of wings down there the wings unfortunately though on the dragonfly section are only skinny versions they are not the full width dragon wings it does have an extended thruster on the bottom thanks to that undercarriage uh, it does have the pincers on the front supercharged slots we can only see three at this point you'd need to go to the space station to get the fourth one unlocked but it is there next okay the fourth class s today so this one comes in a yellow and orange color scheme it is a hauler style now it does have the three lights on the front it has the extended thrusters on the wings overall this is a nice yellow hauler i do like this one now the extensions on the back are very simple but it does give it a nice look uh, the supercharged slots we can only see three at this current point in time visit the space station for the fourth next Okay, the fifth class S today is a white and black bat style sentinel ship. Very, very simple this one. Not a lot's going to change when you take this bad boy in the sky, but we will take a look anyway. Now, supercharged slots, when we look at them, all four are visible. Three on the left, one on the right. Not bad, not bad. Now, in the sky, like I say, not a lot changes. The only thing you're going to see is the wings that dip down on this one. Overall, though, it's a very sleek looking ship i do like it moving on next okay now for number six in the class s list here this is another white and black and also red hauler similar to the one we just saw uh very simple no thrusters on the wings on this one but overall it still looks nice that white and black tone with that simple bit of red on the back really does finish it supercharged slots if we have a look we can only see two possible for four on the left once you visit the space station who knows okay moving on now to number seven in the class s list now this one comes in white black and red very very simple ship um 
not a lot to it in terms of exhaust or anything but you have multiple layers of wings there quite a few thrusters going for it it's not a bad looking ship uh in terms of supercharged slots you can see all four right from the word go three over there on the left and one on the right has good potential and there's no white by the way i don't know why i said white uh once you take it into the sky as you can see because it's such a simple ship again just a dipped wing is all you're going to see next okay for class s number eight today so the color scheme on this one is yellow red and black the style is a dragonfly style now it does have extended thrusters on the wings it has extensions on the bottom um, the dragonfly wings unfortunately are not full width that does let it down uh, supercharged slots we can see two on the right one in the middle one on the left hmm still a great ship though now in the air um, it does look fantastic. The only thing, like I say, that I feel could be better uh, is the Dragonfly wings being thicker, being the full width. That's it. Next. Okay, now moving on to the ninth Class S in today's list. This is another black, simple, sleek uh, Sentinel ship. It does have the multiple layer of wings, thrusters on the side, supercharged slots. If we look at them, we can see all four right away, three all clustered towards the middle and one on the right. Quite a nice little combination. Next. Okay, so class S number 10 now. Now this one comes in yellow and orange. It has lots going on. It's a very simple, sleek Sentinel ship, this one, but it does have the mini wings on the top. It has the extended thrusters, three layers of wings, the mini wings on the bottom, uh, four sets of extended thrusters, thanks to those extensions on the top and the bottom. Lots going on. Uh, supercharged slots let's have a look at those you can see free at this current stage visit the space station to unlock the fourth not bad not bad next okay now class s number 11 this is another red and black hauler so solid base on the bottom prongs on the top of the rear section one single layer of wings on the side they look great though as they are pure black overall the ship looks amazing supercharged slots we can see two on the left one on the right possible to have three together clumped on the left once you've unlocked the fourth slot next okay class s number 12 in the list oh this is a beautiful one still one of my favorites uh this is a black and sort of dark white sort of gray color depends on the planet full size dragon wings you've got the tank feet on this it looks amazing especially if you like the black ships. Supercharged slots, you can see uh, two towards the middle, one on the right. Once you've taken it up to the space station, you can see two on the right and then two that are close together um, in the middle there. So overall, not bad for the supercharged slots. Uh, once in the air, as you can see, it looks absolutely amazing, just like you'd expect it to look. Tank feet tuck up, wings full width, beautiful. Next. Okay, class S number 13 now very simple black sentinel ship this one um the extensions on the bottom and the extended boards on the top uh, which give the thrusters on the back not a lot to look at here really supercharged slots if we look at them we can see one on the right one just to the left of that and one on the far left next okay class s number 14 in the list this one comes in green white and black very simple sleek ship um, if you like green, it may suit your taste. I'm not someone that picks up green ships, never have, unfortunately, at least not yet. Now, supercharged slots, if we have a look at them, we can see all four straight away, three groups up together on the right and one on its Todd in the middle. Next. Okay, class S number 15 now. This one is solid. Red and black, very simple style. Um, I do like the little dual layer of wings for the small ship. Um, this is one I did pick up. I wanted a quick surfer. These ones are pretty agile. Um, I wasn't disappointed with the supercharged slots. We can see two on the right, one in the middle. But then when you take it up to the space station, you've got the third one on the right as well. So it's a nice clumped amount there. I've just used them for pulse to get um, decent maneuverability to surf around the planets for my ship hunting. Lovely bubbly. Now in the air, it does have the tie style look when the sides split apart wings dip down really do like this one and it's still in my collection let's move on next 
Right, class S number 16 on the list now. This is a very bizarre color scheme. It's orange, green, and black. Now, I've had multiple layers of wings, the little mini wings. It may have been all right, but nah, 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 not for me. Supercharged slots, let's have a look at them. Uh, we've got three groups up on the left and one on the right, so the supercharged slots are nicely placed. Next. Okay, class S number 17 now. Now this is a beautiful black and white simple Sentinel ship. Multiple mini wings on the side. The undercarriage which gives it the extended pinch on the front. Three little lights there. Beautiful. Uh, supercharged slots. You can see two on the left, one on the right. That is until you take it to the space station. And then you get three on the left and one on the right. Not a bad little ship. Uh, once in the air, you can't expect it to do too much other than the wings dipping down. But it still looks graceful. Love it. Next. Okay, number 18 on the Class S list here. So, this one is another red and black one, and it's another hauler. Uh, this one does have a little bit of white thrown in the mix too. It does have the exhaust on the back, uh, extended thrusters, uh, it's got prongs on it. Um, overall, it is a nice looking hauler once again, if you like the white in there. Uh, supercharged slots, we can see all four, two towards the middle, one just to the right of that, and then one on the far right. In the air, as you can see, it does look nice when the wings dip down. The hauler section doesn't adjust whatsoever. It stays solid and in place just as it is on the ground. Next. Okay, number 19 on the Class S list now. Another red and black one. Loads of red and black today. Uh, this has lots going on. The four little mini wings top and bottom. You have the extended top uh, exhaust, extended bottom, which gives the extended thrusters as well. Um, just one simple layer of wings. Overall, though, this is not bad. Uh, no supercharged slot information. I think I've lost a file. Oops. Okay, class S number 20. Color scheme on this one is black and yellow. Worth noting, the only part that is yellow, being such a small ship, is the engine. Nothing else. Now, we had a ship on the list similar to this earlier, except the boards on the top and the skinny extension was on the bottom. Meh. Now, in terms of supercharged slots, we can see two on the left and one on the right until you take it to a space station for the fourth. Next. Okay, Class S number 21 in the list now. Okay, this one, color scheme comes in orange, white, and black. It is a hauler style. It doesn't have any extended thrusters on the wings. Instead, it has the prongs. Same as on the rear, it has a couple of prongs there. It does have an exhaust on the engine bay. Overall, it's not a bad looking haul of this one. Supercharged slots, we can only see three all grouped up on the left. Visit the space station for the fourth, and that could also be on the left. Next. Number 22 on the Class S list now. This one is white, green, and black. Similar to the one we saw earlier, except this one does have two layers of wings, uh, which does make it that little bit extra, and the exhaust, of course. Uh, now, do you like green though? That's the question. Supercharged slots, we can only see one until you take it to the space station. So there could be a possibility for four over there. Next. Okay, class S number 23 now. Okay, this one comes in the color scheme of blue and white. Very simple looking Sentinel ship, this one. Um, it does have the extended thrusters on the wings and an exhaust on the back. Um, it has those extensions that do push out to the front, but personally, not my cup of tea, and I don't have any supercharged slot information. Lost it or I forgot. Next. Okay, number 24 on the list now. This one is a lovely off white, off yellow. I'm not quite sure what it is. It was hard to see in this planet lighting, but it has beautiful extensions on the side, the prongs, multiple layers of wings, the wings that come out the back, extended thrusters, supercharged slot information, two on the right. One in the middle, one on the left. It's not a bad looking ship. Next. Okay, number 25 on our list today of the Class S ships. Uh, this one reminds me of the blue one. It just feels kind of incomplete where the uh, extensions don't go all the way back. But it has multiple layers of wings. Um, it does have the exhaust. It has the prongs on the side. But it's not my style. Supercharged slots. We have three that are grouped up together there, and the fourth one's going to be unlocked once you visit the space station. Next. Okay, number 26 on our Class S list here. Now, we have another red and black hauler here. 
Again, it's a nice beefy hauler, multiple layers of wings, prongs on the uh, wings itself, prongs on the rear section. It does look like a nice ship, this one. The three lights in the front there as well. Supercharged slot information. You can only see three until you unlock the fourth of the space station, and that's two in the middle and then one on the left. In the air, not a lot changes other than the wings dip down. Um, but like I say, this does look great, this one. I do like it. Next. Right, Class S number 27 now. So this one comes in an orange, white, and black styling. Um, it does have the fangs on the front, which is quite rare. So even though it's orange, it does make this ship look very nice. Uh, you got the little mini wings on the top of them boards there, extender thrusters on the side. Uh, in terms of supercharged slots, you've got two on the right, one in the middle, one on the left. Next. Class S number 28 now. Color scheme on this bad boy is pure white. Now, as you can see on this one, you have the three little lights at the front, which I know quite a few people do like. You have dual layer of wings on the side. No extended thrusters on this one. You just have some prongs on the side of the wings. You do have the extensions that go forward. Uh, exhaust on the back as well. Supercharged slots, three grouped up on the left, one on the right. So they're pretty decent. Next. Class S number 29 now. This one comes in orange, black, and white. Very simple style. Three little lights on the front again. Dual layer of wings on the side. One white, one black. The extension on the top as well. Very simple bat style ship, this one. Uh, do you like the orange though? That's the question. Very rare that I'll pick up an orange. In terms of supercharged slots, we've got two on the right uh, and then two that are scattered near each other over on the left there. Could be better, but not too bad. Um, now, in terms of what it looks like in the air, the only thing you're likely to see change here is the wings that dip down. That is it. Moving on. Next. Okay, class S number 30 now. This one comes in black and dark blue. It is another hauler style. Um, it does have multiple layers of wings. It has the extensions on the wings as well. Now, the hauler top and bottom side of this does split up once it's in the air. Uh, it does angle out, but we'll see that in a moment. Supercharged slots, you have two on the left, but they're not grouped, and you have one on the right. Fourth will be available when you take it to the space station. Now, like I say, the top section and the bottom section of the hall apart does split at an angle, and it does look really nice once airborne. Next. Okay, number 31 on our Class S list now. This one is another orange and black, simple uh, bat style sentinel ship, dual layer of wings. The bottom layer is that thick, chunky wing with the extended second wing that comes out towards the back. Supercharged slots, we can see one on the left, one on the right, and one towards the middle. They could be better, so they're not that great right now. Now, in terms of what it looks like in the air, nothing changes other than the wings dip down. Very simple, very sleek. Moving on, next. And here we go, number 32 on this Class S list. Now, if you made it to this ship, leave a UFO in the comments, just so I can see how many of you made it this far, because you've reached the best ship that I found on journeys five, six, seven, eight, and nine. This is an absolutely stunning black and red Dragonfly style ship with the tank feet on the bottom, glorious. Supercharged slots, we have two on the left grouped, and then just to the right of that, another two grouped absolutely lovely bubbly now in terms of what it looks like in the air fantastic what do you expect the small wings dip down slightly the feet tuck up the four wings come out in all their glory now it does match my capital ship as well um, it also matches my character color scheme which is black and red this is beautiful do you agree hmm let me know in the comments now once again i want to thank everyone that's taken the time to watch all of my journeys watch this one please if you like this stuff like subscribe and i'll keep them going and i'll see you as always in the next one and welcome once again to another ship hunting video here at the game hub for no man's sky today we bring you 16 new sentinel ship locations now amongst those 16, we have a few nice S classes and multiple A classes. Now, as always, all of these Sentinel ship finds are in the Euclid galaxy. So please make sure you're in the correct galaxy before 
you jump in a portal. Now also please do not place bases down at the ship locations as it does mess up the collection for other players when they're heading to these locations and they're just confronted with bases and ships flying off and glitches. Please lads, let's just cut out putting the bases down at the locations. Now make sure your multiplayer is disabled. As always, we will put beacons down at the locations. So let's begin. Okay, ship number one on the list now. So the first one is a class S ship. Coordinates and portal address top of the screen. Color scheme is yellow, white, and black. It does have the skinny dragonfly wings. Supercharged slot so we can see two tools in the middle. One just to the right of that. And the fourth S class slot will be over on the right. Now in the air, as you can see, it does look quite nice. Once everything's in place and it dips down. Uh, apart from the skinny wings, it does look amazing. Let's move on. Next. Okay, ship number two on the list. Class A, this one. Coordinates, portal address, top of the screen. Color scheme on this one is black and blue. Now, it does have the extended thrusters, but thanks to the pipes, no extended wings on the side. So it does look quite unique in that sense. Uh, supercharged slots, though, rather spread out. Uh, you're going to need to upgrade to S to see where the fourth one is. In the air, once the wings dip down, it does look quite nice with those extended pipe thrusters. Uh, the uh, board underneath nice move on next okay number three in the list another class a ship here details top of the screen now this one is a hauler style it's solid top and bottom uh, it's a blue and red color scheme this one now the supercharged slots we can see three all the way over on the right uh, when you upgrade to s though the fourth one is over on the left not so nice <clears throat> either way in the air it does look pretty nice for a hauler that is nice color scheme let's move on though next okay number four in the list today now again class a coordinates portal address top of the screen this one comes in a yellow and black uh dual side wings vented side wings extender thrusters uh, it's got the prongs um color scheme also has blue in it supercharged slots we can see two together on the left as an a uh, third one would definitely be over on the right in the air you can see it does turn into a tie style uh, very nice very spread out looks really good there with that front light as well very well laid out this one nice next okay number five another class a now coordinates portal address top of the screen this one comes in a blue and white color scheme has the boarded top with the prongs boarded bottom that match as well supercharged slots not bad not bad all towards the right once it's upgraded to s class once in the air the top boards do dip and spread somewhat the bottom boards stay as they are but the top matching is nice very nice next right now number six in the list another class a portal address coordinates top of the screen this one comes in a yellow and black color scheme it's a dragonfly scheme with the front pincers as well again vented wings i do like the vented wings supercharged slots we can see three is an a class is two to the right one just to the left up the top possible for four close together there now once in the air those pincers do look nice the vented wings dip down all looks nice shame it's got the skinny wings but still looks good next okay number seven very simple gray ship here it's a class s all the details are at the top of the screen now all you get in here is a gray bug that is it nothing special here just triangular light at the front supercharged slots though very spread out um two on the right one not so far away but then one all the way over to the left in the air once the feet tack up uh it's going to be just what you expect a very simple bug next Okay, number eight on the list now. This is another class A ship. Coordinates, portal address, top of the screen. Color scheme on this one is blue and red. Very simple dragonfly, just a bug body and very skinny wings. The only red is on the thrusters themselves. Supercharged slots, we can see two on the right, one on the left. You're gonna need to upgrade to see where the fourth is as an S class. In the air, very simple, wide front, uh, just a bug body, like I say, and the very skinny wings. Very nice, next okay now number nine another simple ship here a bug body with just two side extensions top only though uh, it's pure white so the engine's white as well 
there's no extra coloring on this whatsoever um, once you look at the supercharged slots as an A class, we can see two in the middle. So the third one's going to be in one of those locked slots. Upgrade to S to see where they all are, though. In the air, it does take a unique form where the top section does fold up in a similar style to the TIE Fighters do, but it's only at the top. Nice. Next. Okay, number 10 on the list now. Another class A, all the details top of the screen. Now, this one is a blue and red TIE style. Now the A-Class was found by one of the viewers of the live stream who assisted in the hunt. Um, Shades, his name was. Thank you very much for that, Shades. Supercharged slots, once you can uh, upgrade to S-Class, you can see two on the right, one just to the left of that, and one far left, so not too bad. Uh, in the sky, you can see the full ties shape uh, where the top and bottom does split and curve round. Very nice, I like this. Next. Okay, number 11 now. Now, this one is another Class A ship. The details top of the screen. The color scheme on this one is black and red. Very simple style. Very small, simple red wings. Extender thrusters on the back. The top boards that do spread out a little bit. Supercharged slots as an A-Class. You can only see two there. Uh, the third one will be in one of those locked slots. Upgrade to S to see all four, though. In the air, like I say, you can see the top section does split and drop just slightly on those boards. Nice. Next. Okay, number 12 on the list. Now, this is another Class A ship. This one is a yellow and black X-Wing style. Now, it doesn't look like it at first. Some of these haulers are deceiving. They look quite boring until you get them up in the air. Now, the color scheme, I do like this dark yellow. Supercharged slots, we can see two there in the middle. One just close by to the right. When you upgrade to S, you can see the fourth one also just close by, but to the left. Uh, once in the air, you can see the top and the bottom do split open, forming that X shape. Very nice, very deceiving on the ground. Next. Okay, number 13 on the list. Now, this is a Class A ship. All the details top of the screen. Now, at first glance, I thought this was white, but it's not. It's red and like a grey colour and a black colour. Very simple looking ship. Uh, supercharged slots, though, as an A class, we can only see two that are very spread out. So you're going to need to upgrade to see all four. Now, like I say, it's simple, but the color scheme does make it look quite unique. Mm, next. Okay, number 14, another class A in the list. Coordinates, portal address, top of the screen. Color scheme on this one is blue and white. It is another Thai style. Again, they look very simple on the ground, not very appealing at first sight. Now, the supercharged slots as an A class, we can see two on the right, one on the left. Upgrade to S to see all of them, though. Uh, once in the air, you can see again the TIE Fighter uh, style spread out, multiple eyes on the front. Very nice, dominant looking shape, this one. Do like this. Do you like this? Next. Okay, number 15 on the list now. Another Class A, another deceiving on the ground style ship here. This one comes in a dark black all over uh, with a nice kind of light caramel goldish yellow. Um, supercharged slots, we've got two in the middle. Uh, one on the right is an A class. If you do upgrade it to an S, you can see the fourth one is over on the left. Could have been better. Uh, once in the air, again, you get this X wing shape and those multiple layers of side wings really do finish it off. I do like this one. I was tempted to keep this one, but I didn't. Next. Okay, now with number 16, finally, finally, I got the full white dragonfly. Yes. Full size wings, tank feet, the works. Now this comes in an S class. Now there is a video that shows two S class locations and an A class location on the channel if you wanna see multiple locations. This particular one, uh, two supercharged slots top right and then two towards the middle. Now this S class was found by a live stream viewer while uh, he was helping on the live stream and that was Sif. So thank you very much Sif for finding not one, but two S class versions of this while well, I only managed to find an A-Class on the live stream. So props to you, my friend. Well done, Sif. And also well done to Shades, who also found a beautiful ship on the stream as well. Now, that is all 16 for this one. Thanks again for watching. What do you think? What was your favorite? Do you like any of them on this one? I think there were many beautiful ships. Now, as always, thanks for watching. Stay safe, and I'll see you in the next one. And welcome to another No Man's Sky journey here at the Game Hub. This will make for journey number five. 
As always, Euclid Galaxy is the galaxy of choice to make it available for everybody. Now today's video will have 50 fresh new finds uh, found only exclusive for this channel. Now that takes the total to 300 fresh ship finds, Sentinel ships, on the Game Hub channel. So go ahead and check the channel if you want to check all 300 of our amazing finds. Now, network settings. Multiplayer needs to be disabled just to make sure there are no issues uh, and you don't stumble across other players. Now, I have 12 Sentinel ships and I'm finding it very hard to replace my current ships as all shown on the screen and all available on the channel now portal addresses and coordinates will be shown on every ship individually so every ship is covered and easy to find let's begin okay so number one on the list the first one is an s class ship red and black slimline style not one for me won't be going in my collection now the portal address and the coordinates will always be shown at the top of the screen on each and every ship some ships will have supercharge info some won't so anyway here's the first one red and black do you like it it's not making my collection unfortunately let's move on next so number two in the list is an a-class ship this one is yellow and red another slimline st uh, style ship and another one that won't be making it into my collection uh, again all the information you need is at the top of the screen now there are a lot of ships that i do deem as meh but the whole point of the journey is to document everything so we document everything okay number three another a class ship now i mark this one down as blue in the description but it's more like an ice white ice blue so it's neither white neither blue um but it is what it is it's not a very nice looking ship to me some may uh, argue against that like i said before in other videos horses and courses everyone's taste is different next all right, number four, we have another A-class ship. Info top of the screen. Uh, this one is a black slimline style again. Another one that I didn't pick up. Won't be going to my collection. Not my cup of tea at all. Um, in previous videos, there were people that said they do like this style. Now, this one, I do have information on the supercharge slots. Um, as it's only an A-class, we'll only see three of the supercharge slots. So once you upgrade it, there will be four. Moving on, next. All right, so number five, another A-class ship. Again, information, top of the screen. This one is a blue and black basic style hauler, I guess you can call it. Even though it's not really got much of a platform on the back, it's just what I refer to them as the hauler style when they're extended at the back like so. But not for me, next. Number six, another A-class ship. This one is green and black. Uh, I don't really like this style of ship, but it's not often I've come across the green and black version. So this one stands out a little bit. It's not too bad. It's not a dark green, so it doesn't scream C-class. Um, do you like this? I'm not really seeing many players in the Nexus flying green ones. Either way, supercharged slots as an A-class currently can only see two. Next. Okay, number seven another a class ship red and black again another slimline style with the boards on the tops the extended prongs the mini wings multiple layers of side wings but again it's not my cup of tea i don't really buy these ones at all I mean, it's got a little bit of weight in there as well but nah not for me supercharged slots the three that you can see out of the four is only a class not bad next Okay, number eight is another Class S ship here. This one is a blue slim, quite long looking through the middle due to the extended front. It's got an exhaust, etc., on the back. <sighs> Doesn't float my boat. But as always, we document everything, regardless what I think of it. But oh, what? if I don't like it, I'll tell you I won't like it. Um, you could do worse, you could do worse. No supercharged slot info though, sorry. Right, number nine, class A ship. This one is a white dragonfly style. First of the dragonflies I found, didn't have the full size dragonfly wings. They're the skinny version. However, if you're looking for a pure white dragonfly, not bad, not bad. It's no supercharged slot info, sorry. Okay, number 10, another class A ship, another 
black ship. This one is another hauler style where it does have small pieces on the ship that do have red on as you can see down the side on the hauler section at the bottom and also the little square on the top. Not for me though, moving on, next. Number 11, another class A ship here. This is another hauler style. This one is yellow and black. Now it's not a bad looking ship if you like haulers. Um, I did once have uh, a few haulers in my collection. Some of them, the actual hauler bits spread around and sort of split up, so it's like X-Wing style, whatever it's called. But nah, no room for them now. Moving on, next. All right, number 12. We have another white Sentinel ship here, A-Class. As always, information at the top of the screen. This one is white and black. Um, I'll be honest, it's not the best looking stall, but again, someone else may look at that and think, not bad, not bad. This is only an A class, and again, unfortunately, I didn't stop to get the supercharge info. Bad me, bad me, next. Right, number 13, uh, B class, uh, that's the best I could find. Sometimes it just doesn't happen and you just can't find a decent one, and I have to move on. Time restricted on these journeys per ship per planet uh, all the information is at the top of the screen this is a black and red style hauler uh, as the extended thrusters on the wings with the extra pipe bit on the side not bad but not for me number 14 another class B ship now now this one is yellow black and white uh, hauler style as before again uh, the coordinates portal address everything at the top of the screen this is not a bad looking hauler style if you like this color scheme unfortunately b was the best i found in the time that i put into the planet next now number 15 we have another s class ship information as always top of the screen now this is a yellow and orange it could have been red i wasn't too sure so i brought down one of my orange sentinel ships and it did match so it's definitely orange and definitely yellow with a bit of black there loads of thrusters loads of thrusters um, information as i said top of the screen for this bad boy the supercharged slots even though it's s class uh, only showed three you need to unlock them slots next all right number 16 a class c ship now the only reason this is in it is because i couldn't find a better version but i liked this ship i may actually go back and hunt out the s class or if one of you head there because you like this and you find an S class uh, an S class version of this please let me know in the comments as I will consider grabbing one of these in S class in this white and black it's not bad I actually like it I do like it next all right number 17 a class now hauler style information at the top of the screen red black simple hauler style solid base uh, on the rear does have the exhaust red engine pretty simple um, but it has multiple layers of wings on the side no extra thrusters at all though next okay number 18 class a ship information you need to grab this top of the screen this one comes in green white and black uh, again it's not the style that I would pick up um, I don't believe I've even got any green ships at all I do have supercharge info on this one, uh, even though it's only A-class. Uh, you can see the three are pretty close. Could the fourth be over there too on S? Right, number 19. Another A-class ship, another hauler. This one is a red, black, and white style hauler. It does have a solid top on this one, uh, not bottom. Uh, thrusters on the wings. Um, could be better, it could have prongs. There could be more to it. Uh, not for me. Supercharged slots, only shows three as well. A class, the fourth could potentially put three together. Who knows? Next. Okay, number 20 now. Uh, this is a, a simple looking hauler, but in terms of the way it's put together, it's quite rare for me at least in my finds, and I've found a lot. Uh, it's a solid red color. Instead of having the full extended wings of any kind, it has the extended um, thrusters via the pipes. Now it has three supercharged slots that are all pretty close together, so the fourth could also be over there making this insane for supercharged slots. I didn't grab it myself though. Next. Okay, number 21, another S-Class ship here. This one is a blue and black, very simple, slim style. Um, 
it wouldn't make it in my collection not now i've got far superior ships in terms of styling cosmetic uh you know kind of appeal than this one now i do have supercharge info on this one and it's not great they're really spread out and the fourth one um is up the top there as you can see hidden under rocket launcher next okay number 22 this is a class b ship another slim star one this is yellow and white extended front top and bottom extended thrusters at the back top and bottom too again it's not something that would make it into my collection so let's move on next okay number 23 class b ship all information is at the top of the screen color scheme red and black this has the red underboards uh, extended top as well but not a very nice top if i'm honest uh, no extended thrusters at all on the wings but has plenty on the back uh, nah next okay number 24 another b class uh, this is red uh, and i believe this one's gray not white i had to switch it to the daylight just to double check because at first of all it was white but it's not it's red and gray only a b class though next right number 25 then class a ship location information everything you need top of the screen this is blue black and white this one very basic looking hauler solid top uh, on the hauler style uh, a few prongs on the wings as well as the top as well not in my collection not in my collection supercharged slots there are two on the right already uh, when you upgrade to west class there may well be three on the right grouped up together next okay number 26 moving on to another s class ship here information as always top of the screen this one is white black and green now i'm glad i did check it in the daylight at first i did think it was pure white and then i noticed it wasn't pure white it's green nah not for me now very rarely does up the way i ever see this it's an s class but the free unlocked supercharged slots are actually locked behind the locked slots that's a mouthful next so number 27 another class a ship another dragonfly on the list um it's not a bad looking dragonfly if you can handle the orange uh full-size dragon wings as the piped thrusters on the side it has the pincers as the underbelly it's a nice looking ship I, the only reason I didn't take it is I have a yellow version that's pretty much identical. Supercharged slots, as an A-class, you can see two on the left, one on the right. So where's that fourth one going to be? Hmm. Next. Okay, number 28 now. This one's another Class A ship here. Uh, coordinates, address, as you know, top of the screen. Uh, orange, black and white not my cup of tea this one won't make it in my collection i did collect supercharge slot info on this one as it was an a class now the ones that you can see ah just two hmm boring where are the other two going to be nobody knows next right number 29 a class once again definitely not a color scheme that would make it into my collection another yellow and orange dragonfly um whew, i'd love to know if anyone actually has this color scheme and likes it supercharged slots uh two on the right one on the left where's the fourth one going to be when you're s class hmm. next okay number 30 this one is another pure white one unfortunately it is not the best of looking pure white haulers could have been so much better i am looking out for a solid looking white ship just solid looking i found many but not the ultimate one not yet still hunting i will find you next number 31 now another class a ship here uh information top of the screen this one is black and blue now it does have the extended top uh, and a lot of the mini wings as well on the top but only the top none on the bottom from the top it does look like a nice looking ship um but again it won't be making my collection the supercharged slots only shows two one left one right where the other two are going to be it's a mystery all right number 32 
we have another dragonfly style. This one is yellow and black. Now it doesn't have the full size dragon wings unfortunately, but it's still a nice looking ship. It does have the claws as well, which I know a lot of people do like. Um, only A class, the best I could find on this one. I only put so much time and effort into each planet as I said before. The supercharged slots uh, only shows two out of the four at this current period. So, hmm, next. Okay, number 33, we're on to a blue and black, very basic looking claw bug. So that's it, you're just getting the bug body, uh, extended engine, and claws. Yay, what more do you need? Now, this is an A-class, and I didn't get any supercharger information. Oh, B-class, sorry. Next. This one is an A-class, though. Number 34, uh, yellow and black hauler style. Yellow and black haulers always look nice. Um, this one does look quite nice. It would have looked even nicer if it did have the extended thrusters or pipe thrusters on the wings. Um, maybe the pincer front, who knows. But again, for me, not making it in the collection. There's the three supercharged slots that you do see at A class. Where the fourth one would be, who knows. Next. Number 35, we now have a C class again. This is another bug. Um, I didn't put too much effort into looking for a higher class one. Orange. Yeah, orange bug, next. Okay, number 36, another B class, another white slim style Sentinel ship. Uh, the information you need, top of the screen. Again, B class is the best that I could find. I did spend about 20 minutes, 30 minutes, scanning around the planet. Uh, some planets, unfortunately, are not very kind, and C and Bs are the best you find. Moving on, next. Okay, number 37, another Class B ship. Uh, yellow and blue, not a combination of ship I would take no matter how good looking it is. But again, we document everything on these journeys because there could be just one person out there that likes this ship. But not me. It's definitely not me. Next. Okay, moving on. Number 38, Class A ship. Coordinates, portal address, as always, top of the screen. As always, I'm not going to pick a ship like this up. No, 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 no. Yellow and blue, not for me. The style, not for me. Uh, everything about it, not for me. Now, I did get the supercharge info on this one, and it wasn't that great. One on the left, two scattered on the right. So the fourth one could be absolutely anywhere, but it's still not going to make it half decent, to be fair. Next. Okay, this one is a very simple A class uh, black and red. Uh, you've got the boards at the top with the extended thrusters uh, and the boards at the bottom. Uh, extends at the front, but not at the back. I'm pretty sure on previous videos there are people that like this style, but definitely not me. Uh, supercharged slots only show two out of the four at this point. Uh, not even close. Next. All right, now number 40. Class A ship, as always, all the information you need is at the top of the screen for this one. Color scheme on this is black and red. Now, if I was going to go for any ship in this style, it would probably be in black and red. But I didn't, and I won't. It's not for me. Um, supercharged slots, they're not too bad. If the fourth one appears on the right, it could be all right. Number 41, Class A ship. Now, I know, like I said before, there are players that have commented saying they actually like this style. I normally see this style and run, but I did look for the A-Class and I did find the A-Class in this one. I couldn't find an S-Class, so you settle for the best. And this was the best I found. Uh, as for supercharged slots on this one, uh, I can only currently see two, but they are on the right together. The other two could be over there too. Could be amazing. Next. Okay, number 42, another S-Class we have here. This one is green and black. Green is probably my least favorite color. Uh, if you've watched any of my videos, you know that. I've not picked anything up in green that I've liked or stuck with. Um, and I probably won't at this point. Either way, if you like this style, um, basic, simple, S-Class. As for the supercharged slot, la uh, slot layout, there's three that can be used together on the right. As well as one on its Todd on the left or middle there. Next. Alright, 43. 
Now this one is another B class and another one similar to what we just saw, but only a B class. However, it's got mini wings on the top and bottom as well. So if that does spread out, that may look quite nice. Uh, but again, not for me. Moving on, next. Now at number 44, we move on to another B class with the information at the top of the screen. It's a yellow and black hauler style. Now again, anything in yellow and black to me just looks nice, even if it's not complete. So if you're looking for a hauler style, this may appeal to you uh, if you've got any spare slots, but I don't, so I won't. I didn't. Move on, next. Okay, number 45. We have another black and white style one here, another slim style one. Uh, feels incomplete. Um, I wouldn't pick it up. Again, I know there are some people out there that might look at that and think, that's my style. And fair play to you, good luck to you. But it's not for me, didn't pick it up. Supercharged slots, two on the left, one on the right. So there's every chance the third one, or fourth one, sorry, could also be on the left. Next. Okay, number 46, another Class A ship. All the information top of the screen. Claw style slim ship. Um, orange. Again, I've only got one in orange, and that's because it's a really nice cosmetic style. But this one, no, 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 not for me. Supercharged slots, I only can see three because it's A-class, uh, but they're all spread out. Next. Number 47, uh, another Class A ship here. This one is blue and black. Seem to have a few on this journey in this style. Um, not as many dragonflies as normal. We normally get a lot of dragonfly styles, but this one, we've only had a few. So it's good to mix it up, it's good to mix it up. Supercharged slots at A class, there's two on the right, one on the left. So there could be three together as S class, next. Okay, number 48 now, another slim pointy style. Um, black again. So if you like black and you like this style, you've got a few to choose from on this video. Uh, again, if anyone finds an S class version of anything, Please post it in the comments. Uh, supercharged slots uh, as an A-class. It's only showing two. Left and right. Next. Okay, number 49. Another yellow and black. Um, A-class. Information at the top of the screen. This one does have claws. Um, extended wings that go out to the back, but no extended thrusters on the wings. No kind of pipes or aerials. Nothing too fancy about it. Quite basic and the supercharged slots we can only see two at a class so there's one still hidden away so where's the others hmm. at number 50 the last one in this collection um s class now this one appears to be one of those pretty much pure black ones the color is kind of like a dark gray depends on the planet lighting uh but either way s class slim black um, we do have the supercharged slot info on this one as well. Now, mm, unfortunately it wasn't great. There are two, possibly three that you could link up, but they're not grouped. What do you think? That is this 50. Was there any in this current journey that you liked? For me personally, like I say, it's extremely hard to replace my current 12 that you can see on screen. All of the ships you see on screen, they're all available on my channel. Every single one of the ships that you see me with is available with its location on my channel. Now, I will be back for yet another journey because I feel it's incomplete. I have nice ships, but there's still better to be found. Thanks for watching. See you soon. And welcome to another ship hunting journey on No Man's Sky here at the Game Hub. This makes for journey number nine. And as always, all journeys take part in the Euclid Galaxy. So that is important. And before you head into any portal, make sure you are initially in Euclid Galaxy or you will not find these ships. Now on this journey, as always, I document every single ship that I find. However, I'm only showing the A's and the S classes on this video of all the ships that I found. The B's and the C's, I am still holding those back because I'm going to go back and find better versions of those if I can 
for future videos because there are some really nice ships that do need to be justified of a better class I think now as always you need to make sure and this one is important if you want to find all the ships that multiplayer is disabled okay if you don't disable that there's a chance you'll arrive and not find the ship now every ship and this will be documented with the superchargers as well as some in-flight footage so you can see what the ship looks like when it transforms as some ships do transform and take on a different shape in the sky now like I say address and coordinates will be at the top of the screen for every ship so let's go so ship number one to begin the first ship is a class s the coordinates and portal address will always be shown at the top of the screen for each ship that we show as i've said so the first one is a dragonfly style and it comes in a lovely yellow and red combination full of features plenty to offer now when it comes to supercharged slots we can see all four two on the right one in the middle one on the left not the greatest but they're okay now in the sky it does look nice it is a shame it doesn't have the full size dragon wings because this is a beautiful ship next ship number two this one is an a class ship as always details top on the screen now this one comes in black and the engine bay is like a dark gray this uh, does transform once in the sky it's like a tie fighter style um, the supercharged slots on this one you got two on the left one on the right you can't see the fourth as it's not s class yet now once you take this into the sky you can see those tight side sections do split up and spread around a bit i know a few people do like these styles not bad next number three now this one is another class a ship coordinates portal top of the screen this one comes in a black and blue hauler style uh, not full size wings on the side as it does have an extended thruster which gives it the width via a pipe rather than a wing now the supercharged slots on this one we can only see three is it is an a class they're all pretty close together though so not bad not bad now once in the sky uh, it doesn't change too much the only thing that really changes is the wings dip down uh, the rest doesn't really move next ship number four now another class s ship here details top of the screen the color scheme on this one is very simple white bug body and black wings very uh similar to the bat style um it's not a lot to this one really so there's not a lot that's going to change once in the sky supercharged slots are pretty good three on the left one on the right now as said once in the sky it doesn't really change much the only thing that you're going to see on this one that changes is the wings again they have a slight dip down other than that not a lot to see next okay ship number five another class a ship here then details top of the screen look at them beautiful fangs lovely front light the rare light at least rare for me it's the hardest light for me to find on the front i do like this one it's a solid white hauler this one prongs galore uh, in case top at the back uh, supercharged slots we can see two on the right together one on the left there could be a third put together when it's an s class over on the right now in the air it does look quite nice as you can see again not a lot changes on this one as there's not a lot to it the wings dip down but those fangs gorgeous next okay now at number six another class a ship here details will always be top of the screen color scheme on this one is a red yellow and black which is i personally think a rare combination now the ship itself is quite a nice style very slim very sleek pipe thrusters extended front not bad not bad uh, supercharged slots we can only see two in its current state at a class but obviously there'd be four as an s now in the skies you can see it does transform slightly the top does change the wings do dip down not a bad looking ship overall not bad not bad next okay ship number seven another class a ship here now this one is in the form of a dragonfly style color is blue and black it does have extended thrusters on the bottom um, the dragonfly wings unfortunately are not the full thickness but they're still pretty nice uh, supercharged slots on this one we can only see again two in a class Hmm. in the sky uh you can see like i say it doesn't have the full size dragon wings plenty of thrusters though plenty of thrusters 
What do you reckon? Next. Okay, now ship number eight. Another S class, another small style here. We've got a clawed bug with the extended front uh, on the top of the ship, that is. Uh, small wings. So it's a very compact little ship here. Uh, not bad, not bad if you like this sort of thing. Supercharged slots, even though it's S class, we can only see one. The rest are locked away, so that's quite annoying. Um, when you take it into the sky, being a very simple ship, the only real thing you're going to see here is the wings dipping down and the claw feet tucked up. Next. Okay, ship number nine. Now we have another dragonfly style. Uh, this one comes in orange, black, and white. Once again, we don't have the full size dragon wings in terms of width, which is a little bit disappointing, but some do prefer the skinny versions, I am aware. Now, supercharged slots on this one, we can see two together on the right, one in the middle, with one more to come as an S class. Now, in the sky, it's pretty much like that blue one. Um, with the skinny wings, to me, it doesn't feel complete. Next. Ship number 10. Now we have another A-class ship here. Very simple style. Um, it's the hauler but with no wings. Comes in yellow and black. Um, I was hoping that this one would transform and the rear section would kind of fold out. But it didn't. Supercharged slots though, not too bad. Quite close together on the right. Now as you can see when it takes into the sky it doesn't look much different to how it does on the ground. Boring. Next. And ship number 11, another class A ship. Color scheme, green and white. All the details top of the screen. Now, very simple style, so it's not going to adapt much in the air. However, those kind of sides that extend on the front normally fold out as we'll soon see supercharged slots we've got two on the left one on the right not bad for a class one more to go now as i say the tops do fold up and down so it's almost like a tie fighter style but with the little mini wings that dip down too not bad not bad next okay ship number 12 now another class s ship here details top of the screen now this one comes in a hauler style um, has no thrusters on the wings extended it has prongs instead same as on the rear solid black solid red not a bad looking haul if you like this sort of thing now supercharged slots we can see three even though it's an s class uh, fourth will be locked away there not bad not bad uh, once in the sky you can see it doesn't really transform in any kind of manner other than the wings dipping down the hauler style at the back remains the same. Next. Okay, ship number 13 now. Another class A ship. This one comes in a solid black. Uh, two layers of wings, both black. Um, really nice ship. You've got the exhaust on the back as well. You've got a little bit of dark blue around the engine bay. Um, just to finish it off. Supercharged slots, pretty spread out. Uh, two towards the middle, one on the right is an A class. Uh, now in the sky, you don't expect it to change much, obviously, because it's a very small ship. Wings dip down, looks amazing though. Next. Okay, ship number 14 now, class A once again. Uh, this one comes in orange, white, and black. Again, another dragonfly style. The bottom part extends at the back like half of a hauler, but again, the dragonfly wings are not full width. Uh, plenty of extra bits and pieces. Uh, supercharged slots, we can see three. Two on the right, one on the left on an A-class. Uh, once you take flight, the bottom section that extends does split slightly, giving it a slight angle to it. Um, looks okay. Looks okay. Next. Okay, ship number 15. Another A-class ship here. The color scheme on this one is red and black. Very simple bug style with just wings, small wings, nothing much to it. Um, many people like these just for insane maneuverability. Uh, the supercharged slots on this one, we can only see two in its current state at A class, four when it's S though. Once in the air, as you expect, not a lot changes other than the wings dip down slightly, but again, swift, swift, swift. Next number 16 so this one is an s class again 
Uh, all the details are at the top of the screen that you need. This color scheme is red and black. Very simple, slim, sleek style ship. Um, not too many thrusters. It's not over packed with them. I do like the multi layer of wings. Uh, supercharged slots, we have all full show in. We've got two clumps, uh, one close by uh, on the left and then one on the right. Uh, once it takes flight, again, where it's a simple looking ship, the only thing you're gonna see change in here is the wings that dip down next. Okay, ship number 17 now, another class A ship, another dragonfly. Combination of color is a rare one on this one. It is green and blue. I've definitely not found as many green and blue as I have your orange and blacks, red and blacks, yellow and blacks. So quite a rare one. Supercharged slots on this dragonfly, just two on the right that we can see as an A-class so far. Uh, once in the air, the only thing I think lets it down is the skinny dragon wings, but that's preference. Um, what do you think of this color scheme? Hmm, not sure. Next. Okay, number 18, class A ship. As always, details will be at the top of the screen. Now this one comes in just one color and that is black. Now we found quite a few of these on our route and at first I turned my nose up at these because I didn't test flight them. But once in the air, I do like the tie style. Uh, the supercharged slots on this is two in the middle, one on the left is an A class, fourth to come is an S. Now in the air, like I say, the sides do move up and move down, giving it that nice tie fighter style. Um, it's not bad, not bad. Next. Ship. 19 another class s ship here details top of the screen now this is another hauler red and black not bad not bad it's got all the prongs and whistles that you want uh no solidness to the top or bottom very open uh, extended thrusters plenty of layers of wings supercharged slots we can see all four two in the middle uh one just to the right of it and one to the far right not bad now in the air the uh hauler style section of it doesn't change at all the wings dip down and that's pretty much the only transformation you're getting on this one next okay number 20 another class a ship and yet another dragonfly however this one does have the full size dragon wings orange white and black no side wings you'll notice they do cut off the dragon wings are the primary wings on this one now the supercharged slots on this one we can only see two as an s class and they're both towards the middle Hmm. Now in flight, as you can see, like I say, full size dragon wings, full width that is, so that does appeal to me a bit more. Not too sure about the actual shape of it though. Next. Number 21. Again, a class A ship here. Now, this one comes in a color scheme of red and black. Slim style ship, extended top um, out to the front with extended thrusters on the back. Very simple style, like I say, just a few prongs here and there, no extended thrusters. Uh, supercharged slots, we can only see two at this point in time as an A-class. Go S, you'll see all four. Now in the air, you can see the wings do dip down. The top does split slightly to the sides, not too much. Not a bad looking ship. Next. Ship number 22, class A ship color scheme on this one comes in blue white and black very simple sleek ship like previous ones we've seen uh, undercarriage on the bottom does extend towards the front prongs and extended thrusters on the wings not bad uh, supercharged slots on this one as an a-class we can see two on the right and one currently on the left once it takes flight um, like most of these sleek simple ships it does just have the wings that dip down not a lot else is going on but it still looks nice next okay number 23 another class s ship here again another red and black but this one is a really nice one it's kind of like half bat half tie uh it's got double layer of black wings on the side um really nice i picked this one up supercharged slots we can see two on the right one in the middle until you get it to the space station we can see there are three groups up over on the right for me, I've just slapped it all into maneuverability with 2400 maneuverability. I like it, surfer. Uh, once in the air, it does look nice. The whole tie style with the top and the bottom splitting apart, the wings dipped out. Oh, I like this one. Do you like this one? Next. Number 24. This is another class A ship. And guess what color this one is? Wow, we've had loads of red and blacks. Uh, this is another bug style with the simple wings and it has the claw feet as well. 
exhaust on there so it's very small but has plenty of optional extras not bad not bad supercharged slots though we can only see two as an a class both on the left hmm now in the air uh the wings dip down and the tank feet kind of tuck up and that's all you're going to get in terms of transformation next okay number 25 another class a ship now this one is an off white and black slim style very simple but again very sleek looking so if you do like these styles it doesn't offer too much in terms of optional extras but it does look nice now supercharged slots we can see two in the middle one on the right as an a class once you take it to the sky again like all these sleek ships it's just the wings that dip but it still looks good next number 26 now another class a ship this one moving on from the red and blacks to blue and black extended thrusters with pipes uh, prongs on the wings um, extended top that gives you extended thrusters on the back as well uh, not bad supercharged slots we can only see two as an a class and they're both over on the left once it takes flight you can see again the wings dip down the top does split open just a little bit more not too much very simple next number 27 another class a ship here now now this one comes in an orange black and white not a big fan of the orange but this does look nice four size dragon wings uh, extended thrusters on the back you have the pincers on the front extended thrusters on the wings supercharged slots two on the left one on the right is an a class could work out really nice as an s once in the air it does look nice um and yeah i said nice for an orange ship if you see my previous ships that's a rare thing for me to say but this not bad next number 28 class s ship here again coordinates portal address you know it top of the screen now the color scheme on this one is black and a very dark blue it's a hauler style it has a triple layer of wings uh, it has extended thrusters on the wings itself as well not bad not bad supercharged slots uh two on the left one on the right you need to unlock that four from the space station now in flight it does look pretty nice once those um extended parts do twist out it does give it a nice shape what do you think of this one do you like it Hmm. Next. Number 29. Look at them fangs. Now I do like a fang on a ship. Now this again is a rare color scheme for me. It's like a white and gold. White and yellow. However you want to look at it. It's beautiful though. I only found an A-class which I was gutted about. Lovely full size dragon wings. Lovely extension on the bottom. Thrusters on the side. Oh, it's lovely. Supercharged slots. Two tools in the middle. One on the right. I want to find an S-Class one of this. If you find the S-Class of this, please let me know in the comments. I really want an S-Class one. Now, in the sky, um, it doesn't look too bad, as you can see. I do like the color scheme. It's rare. It stands out. Um, it's got everything a Dragonfly needs, and it's got the fangs. Lovely. Next. Okay, ship number 30 now. Another Class A ship here. Very simple. We, we always get at least one of these on our journeys um and this is the simple bug yellow extended top which gives it the uh, thrusters on the back as well so yeah that's all you're going to get from this one it's yellow supercharged slots let's take a look at them you can only see two in its a class state you need to go s to see all four in the sky well other than the legs going up nothing on this is going to change next ship number 31 class a this one details top of the screen color scheme on this one is red white and black it's another hauler style uh, it does have a triple layer of wings thrusters on the side and the prongs solid base on the hauler at the back it's not too bad um not for me though uh, supercharged slots we can only see two one on the left one on the right is an a class hmm now in flight as you can see not a lot changes on this one um the wings dip down but that's as much as you're going to get in terms of transformation on this overall though not bad not bad but next okay number 32 another class a ship here uh this one comes in orange white and black very simple style um four extended thrusters 
uh, thanks to the extension on the top and the bottom as well as a couple of little mini wings up there if you like them now supercharged slots what we've we got here we've got two on the right one on the left fourth one to come once it's s class once we take flight we can see the top splits open just a tiny fraction not too much and the wings dip down that's it moving on next number 33 okay this one is a class a ship details top of the screen color scheme on this one comes in blue black and white uh, very small simple ship no extended thrusters on the wings on this one but it does have the four mini wings top and bottom extended front as well um, supercharged slots we can only see two as an a class s class to see all four once it takes flight not a lot changes the uh, top and bottom does split just a little bit not too much if you like blue black and white it's not a bad looking simple ship next okay number 34 class s ship details top of the screen color scheme on this one is orange black and white it has a small bug body with a dual layer of small wings both of those wings are black um, it's not a bad little ship bat shape bat style as some would say supercharged slots uh, we can see three available even though there should be four the fourth one's locked away in that bottom corner uh, in the air nothing changes other than the wings dipping down as it is a very simple uh, non-optional extra type of ship mm. next number 35 class a ship details top of the screen color scheme red and black now again a very simple small ship does have a dual layer of wings and an extended front in terms of supercharged slots we can only see two in its current format as an a class go s to see the rest now in terms of what it looks like in the sky it does have the folding extension up the top uh, the wings dip down as you'd expect them to but that's about it next number 36 now okay now this one is blue and black extended top and bottom that goes forwards uh, nothing extended at the back loads of thrusters now it doesn't have full size wings instead it does have extended thrusters via the pipes um, it's definitely not my cup of tea and won't be going on my Christmas card list now we can only see one supercharged slot in a class boring now once we take it to the sky again it doesn't look anything special the wings dip slightly with the thrusters on but that's about it hmm next Okay, number 37, another class S ship here. Again, orange. Uh, the orange one started to pour out towards the end of the journey. Now, this one is orange, white, and black. Uh, dual layer of wings, extended top. Um, it's not bad, but it's orange. Mmm, not for me. So, supercharged slots, we can see all four of them. Two on the right and two towards the left. Hmm. Now, in the air again you don't expect it to do much in terms of transformation other than the wings dipping down that's about it next okay now we reach number 38 getting so close to the end this one is a blue and red spider-man style hauler as i've always called them just due to the color scheme it does have a solid base on the hauler no thrusters on the wings so it doesn't have all the optional extras that you would like from a hauler Unless, of course, this is your style. Now, supercharged slots, we can only see two, which are grouped to the left. There's a possibility there could be four as an S-Class. Now, once it takes flight, you can't expect to see any difference in the shape. It is what it is. The wings dip down. That's about it. Next. Number 39. Class S, and personally my best in this list. Details top of the screen. Color scheme, black and an off-white beige color i guess full size dragon wings which are black it has the tank feet um nice sleek wings doesn't have the thrusters on the side instead it has prongs but i'm fine with that i've got a second one of these already with the thrusters on the side supercharged slots we've got two on the left one on the right take it to the space station and you can see we've got two on the right and two on the left uh with all my bits and pieces in i've got 2000 on maneuverability and about 65,000 on the dps once you take it into the sky, as I say, it has the full size dragon wings, which are black. The feet all tuck up nicely. Looks very sleek in the air. I do like this one. Stayed in my collection. Has two very nice black ones I got in there now. What do you think of this one? What was your favorite? I am curious to know if 
at all there was any that you liked in this collection which one stood out for you now if you do like these videos please like and subscribe and i'll keep them coming the next video is going to be another s class video the previous s class video i released with 25 s classes on it was all the s classes that was found on journeys one through to four now the next video i'm releasing to be all the s classes that is found from journeys five through to nine just for a nice simple collection for those that are just purely s class hunting well once again thanks for watching i hope you enjoyed the journey and as always i'll see you in the next one and welcome to another no man's sky interceptor ship hunting video here at the game hub now the previous four were big ones and they totaled around 250 ship finds fresh ship finds um, and many of them were S class, but the majority were A class due to the amount of time it takes to search for S classes. Now, what I've done is I've got those four journeys and I've picked all the S class finds from all four and put them all together. So if you're someone that is hunting S classes only and you don't want to spend funds on upgrading or whatever, this video is just pointing out all the S classes from the previous four big journeys. Uh, one of the best finds is a beautiful ship with four clustered supercharged slots for absolute damage. Now make sure multiplayer is disabled. Uh, portal locations and coordinates will be shown throughout on every single ship. Uh, make sure that you are in Euclid, that's the galaxy. So let's go. So the first one is, well normally I'd say at this point, S class, A class. They're all S class, so no point. Coordinates and portal at the top of the screen. This was the last find of the first journey, S-Class. Now, upon returning when making this video, I noticed that someone's made a base on this ship and put a launch pad there. So when you land, there's a chance the ship's just gonna fly off because it's now owned by an NPC. Now what you can do is either go to that NPC and swap your ship for his before he flies away. Um, and if he does fly away before you get to him, you can just reload your save and he'll be there again or you can just do uh, the second option which is to report the base uh, it will disappear once it's disappeared save your game at your ship at that location uh, reload the save and once you've reloaded the save the base is gone and the ship will be there business as usual now this might happen throughout many of the ships due to players putting bases there so if you have any issues reload the save that will work or if there's a base there just uh report it save reload now this is a lovely ship this blue one uh, let's get back to the ship now uh it has lovely uh style to it the dragonfly it's clean um it has half decent supercharged slots as well uh, so let's bring them up it has three clumped together on the left and one on the right next okay now number two coordinates and portal address shown at the top of the screen this one i believe is red black and white but the planet lighting is very red in itself so there's every chance this ship could be orange black and white uh, all indicates to me at the time were that it was red i never took this one for a test flight as i had no room and it wasn't good enough for me personally at the time to swap out for what i already had so next okay so the third s class this is still one of my favorites uh, i found this on the first journey uh, i named it bumblefly it has pretty good supercharged slots which we'll get to them in a minute um lovely style i like the simple wings on the side about the thrusters full-size dragon wings um has a lovely undercarriage it just it looks good and the yellow and black nice simple yellow not too much really works well in flight as you can see it does look extremely gorgeous if you're into the dragonfly style now with the supercharged slots you have three on the left so you can get as you see they've got 71,000 with infra knife and i use one for pulse on the right moving on next right number four location coordinates top of the screen this one is a blue bug style it's got the claws um very simple wings they are extended slightly with the extra layer of the color that do uh, protrude at the back um, no extra thrusters on the side it is really simple really sleek um, at the time i did pick this one up 
Um, it's not a bad looking ship in the sky. If you like them simple, sleek and blue, this one's definitely worth checking out, I think. Now, the supercharged slots, we've got two on the left, two on the right, share them, next. Okay, now number five, coordinates and portal shown at the top of the screen. This is another beautiful yellow, black and white. We have another one of these coming up with insane stats, but this one itself is also gorgeous. You've got the pincer style on the front, um, pure black wings when landed, but when once in flight, as you can see, and they flip, you have the yellow coloring on the wings as well as the body uh, and the white protruding there on that pincer at the front. This is a nice, nice looking ship. Um, in terms of supercharged slots, two on the left and then two separated over on the right. Still a beautiful ship though. Mm. Next. Okay, number six. Location, coordinates, top of the screen. This again is in my collection. Uh, the file name for this was Best Black Dragonfly. And it still does remain to be my best black dragonfly. It looks good uh, on the ground. Uh, it's got the whole claw wing situation going on. Uh, the claws, sorry, at the front going on. Uh, it's got the dragon wings, full size ones. It's all basically black other than the uh, tint, which is like a dark silver, dark gray. It depends on the planet lighting. Um, as for supercharged slots, you can make use of the three on the right for damage and uh, pulse on the left. Moving on, next. Okay, now the number seven. Coordinates and portal address at the top of the screen now. Now this is a blue and an off-white hauler. Now, I wasn't sure if it was the planet lighting, which is quite dusty, was making a white look off-white. So I did take this one for a test flight, but did not keep it. And it definitely is off-white, even in the sky, away from that dusty planet. Um, it's different. Um, I've only found one or two with this sort of colouring. It's not the greatest looking hauler. Um, uh, supercharged slots, two on the left, one that could be linked up, but mm, next. Now, number eight, another beautiful ship. Now this is another one that may be glitched because there's a base there. So again, if you get there and you can't get the ship or it's not accessible, remove, uh, report the base that's close by, uh, save your game near the ship, reload, and then your ship will be there, okay? So that's important if you're in a glitched area or a glitched ship situation, just always save near the ship and reload or remove the base. Either way, gorgeous red, black and white ship. Uh, supercharged slots, two on the right and also two that can be put together in the middle. Moving on, next. Now, number nine. This, hmm, I took this one for a while, but it didn't stay in my collection for very long. I am a sucker for the full size dragon wings if I'm going to have the wings. Uh, some people do prefer the skinny finish to the wings. I myself prefer the full width all the way down. Other than the wings, it's a very nice looking ship. Uh, it looks great in the air. Sometimes some ships do look nice without the thrusters on the side and just the tips and this is one of them. Nice predominant front. Uh, good ship other than the wings for me so I didn't keep it. Slots were not amazing either, as you can see, kind of all over the place. So, uh, a rather balanced ship. Next. Okay, now number 10, location, portal address. As you know, top of the screen. Now, this was originally found in my first journey as an A-class. Uh, one of the viewers uh, who liked this ship went there and continued the hunt, found the S-class, shared it with me uh, in the comments. Uh, and I placed it in the third journey, I believe. I updated the information for it to share that. But Umbra Viper was the viewer that found the S-Class, so credit to him for finding the S-Class. Now, the ship itself does look glorious if you like the Dragonfly style, full-size wings, undercarriage extended, uh, predominant front because of that, exhaust on the top. Um, it's nice, it's, I do like this style. The supercharged slots, you get three stacked on the right and one on the left. Pretty nice DPS on this one, very nice. Next. Right, moving on, so number 11, uh, coordinates and portal address now at the top of the screen. Color scheme, blue, black, and yellow. Pretty simple, the style, not a style that I would pick up, uh, or at least keep, um, but there are people that do like these. So, is this your color scheme? Um, nice predominant front, top and bottom, but it needs to be better than that. Now, supercharged slots, two left, Two right. Hmm. Next. 
Okay, number 12. This one is red and black. Uh, the wings cut off and just fully extend thanks to the pipe and the extender thruster. So it's quite unique. It doesn't look uh, like the majority of the ships you see in the Nexus. Um, and there's just certain styles that a lot of people go for. So this one stands out a little bit. Um, looks nice and flight. I've picked this one up for a while. Um, the reason I picked this up is because it does have very nice supercharged slots if you like a bit of damage. All four of those are stacked over on the right so you could put them all together. Nice little ship. Nice little ship. Let's move on. Next. Okay, number 13 is as simple as it comes. Coordinates, portal address, top of the screen. It comes in a uh, simple black with the sort of grey, silver, off black engine. That's all you're getting really. Just a small, basic bug. Moving on, next. So, number 14. Coordinates, portal address, top of the screen. Um, definitely not my colour scheme, but I'm including it. Uh, because it is the S-Class, it's orange and black. Um, it's a nice style, if you like this style, but the color scheme, never been a big fan of the orange and black. Now, this is one of the early ones I picked up, so I had room at the time just to test it in flight, but it did not stay in my collection. Definitely not my cup of tea. Now, as for the supercharged slots, let's have a look at those. Now, you've got two on the left, and then there's also two that can be combined in the middle if you wanted to. So, yeah, do you like it? next all right 15 coordinates portal address top of the screen very bizarre combination this one it's orange yellow and black now nothing too fancy about it no extra prongs uh, it does have the extra thrusters on the wings but it's just, just a si single set of wings that's got a slight extension on the front um, it's nothing too fancy again it's one of those I picked up quite early on when I had the slots now I wouldn't be able to test flight these. Uh, supercharged slots though, worked out quite well on this one. Three that can be used together on the right and one on the left. Next. Right, number 16. This one is another blue simple style one. This one, however, has white uh, under wings, like three layers of wings. You got white, then a the blue, then the black, and the black ones extend on the back. Uh, the white also enters onto the engine bay. Um, simple, like I say, it's got the claws. Um, do you like these simple styles and do you like it in blue? Moving on, next. Okay, number 17 now. Uh, coordinates, portal address, top of the screen. Now I've found many in this color combination throughout my journey. So if you like this Spider-Man style, as I refer to them as, uh, I've found tons of them throughout my journey. Even put a video up of uh, four or five of them uh, early on. Either way, uh, if you like the blue and red and you like the hauler style, the extended style, this is quite a nice little one. Uh, worth checking out. Uh, as for supercharged slots, uh, we've got two on the right, one in the middle, one on the left. Hmm, not bad. Not great though. Moving on. Next. Okay, number 18, coordinates, portal address, top on the screen. Now, this one is just plain black uh, with a slight sort of white trim. I think that's just a default pattern, to be honest, on the wings. Um, so, Technically, this is class as pure black, I guess. Uh, simple, slim, elegant, double wings, predominant front. Now, it's worth mentioning that those sort of uh, extensions on the top and bottom, they do spread open. As you can see, they just closed. So it doesn't look like that when it's flying. Supercharged slots, not amazing though. Moving on, next. Now, number 19. Whew, nearly at the end now. Now, coordinates and port address top of the screen. This one, um, definitely not my style. Red, black, um, extended thrusters on the top. Nah, does not float my boat at all, but horses and courses, as I said before, someone out there will like this bad boy, I am sure. Now, moving on, next. Okay, number 20. Very simple bat-like style, blue bug uh, with an exhaust double layer of black wings the rear ones extend quite far so when you look from above on this one it does look like a little bat it's quite cool but i had no room for it do you like it bat 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 next right number 21 this is another black one with a slight bit of white on the engine bay itself extended thrusters thanks to the pipes extended front top and bottom um I can't remember if the uh, tops on this spread out or not. I really can't remember. 
long time ago I picked this one up. Um, but if you like this style, it's quite elegant, quite sleek, but uh, no, not for me. Supercharged slots weren't amazing either. One left, one right, two middle. Meh, moving on. Next. Right, number 22. Another Spider-Man style, as I call them. Uh, again, S-Class. It's got the extended bottom, a little bit pincers. Um, it doesn't have the fangs. If it had the fangs on this, it would be really, really nice. But it doesn't have them. Uh, no extra exhaust on the top, which is fine, because you get to see the full color scheme. Uh, in flight, it looks all right. I picked this one up for a little while. Um, it's not a bad looking ship. Like I say, if you like the blue and reds, plenty of these on offer. I found loads of them, loads of nice ones too. Uh, supercharged slots, three stacked on the left, one on the right. Not too bad at all. Not shabby. Next. Okay, number 23. We're getting close to the best now. We are getting close to the best. Now, this one, it looks red and green. Could be the planet lighting. I did not take this one off the uh, planet itself. It could turn out to be blue, but it looks like it's red and green. Mm, definitely not a color scheme I'll pick up. And it's quite a bland hauler, but it is S-Class. So it has to be listed in this video. Next. Okay, number 24. Now, before I show you the best, I'm going to show you what I would class as the worst. Uh, I don't like the green one, especially uh, this sort of shape. Green, for me, screams C-Class, even though it's an S-Class. Um, if anyone likes this, please let me know in the comments, because I can't see anybody liking this. Let's move on to the best find, shall we? Number 25, let's go. Right, now if you stuck around for number 25, or until we reach number 25, congratulations, you've stuck around to the best ship. Um, if you are one of those viewers that stuck around to this ship, uh, put a banana in the comments, just to indicate you've got to this point, and you have reached the best ship of my entire journey so far out of all the 250 this was the only one that had the full grouped up supercharged slots perfectly positioned in the top right hand corner um, and even with the slots the other stats are still insane on the ship um, it looks absolutely glorious it's got the pincer style at the front uh, it's got double side wings black on the side four dragon size wings uh, dragonfly wings and as i said four supercharged slots positioned beautifully uh, in for a knife, I'm getting over 95,000, and I'm still picking up 1,200 maneuverability without putting any extra boost on the pulse. You should check this one out. All right, so that is all 25 S-classes that I've found so far and in the total of uh, 250 ship locations that I've uh, made available on my channel. Now, I do want to take this moment to apologize if you struggle to hear me, uh, if I'm quiet, uh, if I'm not coming through that clearly. I've got a viral infection on my chest at the moment. It's pretty hard to talk without going into a coffin fit. Uh, and if I talk too much, I get very breathless. So that's probably come across. Um, I don't want to apologize if that's affected the video in any way. But I will get back to another ship, hun uh, ship hunting journey very soon. So please, if you do enjoy this, like the video, subscribe, let me know it's worth it. And uh, let me know also uh, in the comments what you're looking for and what's your favorite in this one. Thanks for watching and I'll see you soon. And welcome to another ship hunting journey here at the Game Hub. Today's video is not as big as the previous. Uh, I've been a little bit under the weather recently, so I've not had as much time to do this as I'd like. But it's been a week since the last one. So I've put together what I have collected over the last week. And I still have some absolute beauties. Uh, I believe the total is 35 new and fresh ship locations. Uh, many S-Class included. S-Class weapons again. Uh, all ship finds will be in Euclid. Multiplayer must be disabled just to make sure all the ships do spawn. I do try and find the best version of every ship that I find, even if I don't like it. But sometimes you don't get a good version. It's just as simple as that. But the S classes that I have found are beautiful. One of them, uh, very special if you like high DPS, all four squares on one of these ships is together in one clump. Lovely bubbly. Now, portal addresses and coordinates will be shown for every ship I show. If you've got any questions ask them in the comments let's not hang around let's get on with this shall we let's go right so coming in at our number one on this one now uh, that's not number one and it's the best it's just number one in the list now it's a class a a green and black dragonfly style ship uh, if you've seen in my early videos you do know that i like these ones uh, i did take this on board for a while in my collection but i did replace it later down the line and you'll see why 
but this is a magnificent ship if you've got room for it and you like these dragonfly styles I've not seen many green and black ones I've seen plenty of red and black uh, yellow and black but not so much the green and black now the supercharged slots are not so bad three in the middle you can put together and one on the right moving on next right number two now our first class s ship this is a red and blue as I've previously called them spider-man style ship uh, it's not bad actually uh, I did pick this one up as you'll see in a moment as I take it into space for a little flight um, I didn't keep it though I didn't keep it these are nice little ships and I've never actually seen anyone in the Nexus use these red and blue guess there's no spider-man fans in the game either way this is an S class it looks nice in the sky uh, supercharged slots we'll look at them we've got three together on the left and one on the right moving on next now at number three we have another A class here this one is an orange black and white ship now I don't normally like the orange black and white ships as I've mentioned many times but this is a bug style that I like and it has wings that none of my other bug styles have got the extra wings on the side are really set far back which I've not got with any other dragonfly combination so just in that aspect uh, it's unique for me compared to my other ships as you can see there from above the wings the second set of wings are set quite deep back as well as the undercarriage which gives the extra thrusters uh, the exhaust overall not bad shame it's orange but for now it's still in my collection supercharged slots nice one on the left three groups over on the right moving on next okay coming in at number four now uh, orange claws that's about it no wings uh, just a bug body with exhaust and uh, claws that's all you get with this now the location is shown at the top of the screen for this particular one the a-class version uh, portal coordinates also shown at the top of the screen now also new coordinates for an S-class weapon that's also located on the very same planet as the bug for just the claw so if you want to come here and grab this if you haven't got one of these yet uh, it's got three supercharged slots that are grouped nicely together and one on the left damage potential is 27,000 hmm next okay now at number five we have a class S ship here funky color I'm not sure if it's the planet lighting and that's actually supposed to be a blue but it looks green black and red I'm hoping it's the planet lighting because I've not seen one that looks that green before very bizarre either way it's a hauler style if you want it uh, coordinates and portal address are shown at the top of the screen as funky flying beetles if you want to grab yourself one of them as a pet as well while you're there um, yeah you like this style uh, not for me next okay number six we have another class a ship here for you now this one is just a pure red uh, with the black accents uh, dragonfly style simple wings no thrusters on them uh, slight extension on the front the back there's nothing extended on it it's clean if you like pure red you may well like this uh, location is shown at the top of the screen for that particular one coordinates for the portal are also shown in flight it does look quite nice uh, I did take this one on board for a little while but I did get rid of it uh, DPS was mediocre the slots weren't that great um, you like it it's nice looking it's a shame about the slots next okay number seven hmm not much to this one it's a class a ship portal address and coordinates shown at the top of the screen now I've never taken one of these to flight because I don't like the look of them but I was curious what do they do and they do spread so if you haven't seen one of these in flight there you go uh, it does come up and down just not enough not for me next right, number eight now yellow and black class a ship coordinates and portal address shown at the top of the screen I have this one in my collection it's still in my collection I do like the yellow and black ones I've got quite a few of them now but this one I do like the fact that it's a dragonfly style and instead of the full extended wings you've got the extended thrusters via the pipes so again it's slightly different to some of the other versions I got so this is found for now 
and probably permanently a spot in my 12. Um, I am planning on doing a video on my final 12, but is it ever final? That's the problem. So, either way, this one is in my collection. Class A upgraded to Class S. Now the supercharged slots, not too bad. Three can be used over together. Now I've got a total of 64,000 from Infranoise, so it's not bad. I like it. I kept it. Next. Okay, number nine, Class B, the best I could find for this one. Sometimes they're just tough. But you like this, maybe? No? If you do, you can always take your echo locators uh, or the Dreadnought AI to the planet, pop a few of those and see if you have better luck finding a better version than the B class. Either way, location and coordinates shown. Next. Number 10, another class S, but a class S that I did not pick up. Um, I think it's red, black and white, but planet lighting, chances are it's probably orange. Um, hmm. I've gone off the ones with the really long extensions on the back that are kind of half hauler style. Um, no, 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 no. I've got much better red and blacks if it is red and black. You like it? Next. So, another S class weapon coming up. But first, a B class ship. Nothing special. Two tones of blue. Uh, it's got the little mini wings top and bottom. Extended thrusters on the back. Um, if you like this colour scheme, it's got quite a bit to it, but nah, not for me. Now, as I also mentioned, there is a Class S weapon on this planet as well. New coordinates shown at the top of the screen for the weapon itself. Again, it's the same style as the first. Um, as for supercharged slots, I don't think they're as good as the first, unless you like to split up your supercharged slots across your upgrades. Next. Now, Class S ship here again. Ooh, this is probably one of the best finds on this journey. This uh, has four grouped up supercharged slots, which is the first that I've found personally, because all these finds are fresh finds that I've got myself. I'm not finding ships that other people have located. They're always fresh finds, so it's always nice when you find those special ones. Now, the setup of it with the yellow, black, and white. I haven't got any in that particular color scheme until now. Uh, I like the extended pincer front with this one. Uh, the wings with the little tips rather than the thrusters. It works. Um, yeah, I like it. Again, I kept it. Now, the supercharged slots, I was pretty pleased when I looked in and I saw four groups up together. Now, normally I'll just be happy with three with the pulse with one um, but I thought I'd keep this one and have just a full damage version but even still I still got 1200 with maneuverability and 95,000 on damage lovely next right now at number 13 we have another class A ship location and portal address shown at the top of the screen uh, blue and black got pretty much everything you'd want except I know people want claws and that is not the best bottom that this can have it's an all-in-one extension to the front and back it doesn't really give much to the ship um, it's good but is it good enough do you like this one um, it's not in my collection unfortunately no 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 not quite good enough next Okay, now at number 14, another Class A ship, coordinates and portal address shown at the top of the screen. Now, if you like your slim ships, this is not a bad little version. Yellow and black always works for me. Um, never picked it up myself, no room for it. If there was more than 12 slots, this would have had a home. But I wouldn't sacrifice the ones I have got for this one. But it is a good ship. Next. Now number 15 class a ship blue and cream possibly i don't even know sometimes these planet lightings really do throw you that could be cream it could turn out to be red um 
depends if you like the style whether you're going to go and check this one out it's got the boards at the top as well as the boards at the bottom it's got the little mini wings it's got tips rather than thrusters on the side um it's all right but again no room for it in my collection no 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 moving on next now at number 16 another class a ship location and portal shown at the top of the screen so this is a blue and red hauler it doesn't look like it but in certain lights you can see it. it's that spider-man style um, nothing too fancy it's got the little fangs on the front um, but it just feels a little bit lackluster what do you reckon nah next right now number 17 another class a ship here it's a dragonfly style uh, white and ice blue it seems it doesn't have a very nice bottom um, it's got that long extended front to back style looks like it's on rockers uh, not for me white and ice blue definitely not a combination I've seen much of I mean it could be the planet lighting that's taken the real color off of it but it does seem to be the color it's showing not for me moving on next okay number 18 class a ship location portal top of the screen this is a green and black dragonfly um, it's not bad just a bug the green color you don't see many of them like I've said previously but uh, if it was early on in the journey and I still had slots I would have picked it up I don't have the slots available this doesn't beat what I've already got so it wasn't for me do you like this one let me know in the comments next okay number 19 class a ship this is a green and black and white uh, hauler style uh, pretty basic really it's not the style that would make it into my collection whether I had the slots or not especially in the green no, I'd rather have a hauler in a red uh, or even yellow but not green nah next okay number 20 class a ship portal address and coordinates shown at the top of the screen this it does uh, appear again it could be the planet lighting but it does appear to be green white and black now some ships if I like them and I've got slots I will take them for test flights and I'll get a better understanding of what the true color is but no nah. next okay we have a little hauler here orange and black uh, with the white finish that would never make it into my collection based on the color and how bland it actually is there's no extras no little prongs no extra thrusters no 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 next right number 22 another class s ship location and portal address shown at the top of the screen this is a blue and black s class it has the fangs on the front and it has the claws it has the extended wings at the back just to give it a little bit of an edge um, but not many thrusters but if you're not bothered about thrusters this is a nice little find if you like blue and black in your collection but do you like the white too that might throw you off on the engine didn't make my collection though next number 23 uh, another class S ship a little black bug with an engine and uh, yeah that's about it if you're collecting these little ones there's a few I've shown amongst my journeys now but here we have a black with the black or grey rear engine moving on next number 24 class A ship this is what appears to be an orange and red engine but it could be one tone of orange and then a darker tone of orange uh, you can see from the clouds around the ship they're also quite red so once again the planet lighting does make this difficult is it orange and red is it red and orange next right number 25 we have a class b ship portal address and coordinates shown pretty bland in my eyes uh, it appears to be green and black and blue hmm not enough to it boring next okay number 26 class a coordinates portal address top of the screen this is a yellow and orange combination dragonfly 
not a combination of colors that I want in my collection. It doesn't have the full size dragon wings, there's the skinny ones. It does however have the under thrusters um, uh, from the extension and the pincers itself. Uh, looks quite nice, it's just the color that lets it down for me, to be fair. Next. Number 27, another class A ship, coordinates, portal address, top of the screen. This is a red and black hauler style. Um, pretty bland though. Doesn't have enough prongs and whistles. Um, and these pipes, thrusters, some ink, just no. What about you? Do you like on this plane or do you need more prongs and whistles? Next. Number 28 another class a ship one that did not make it in my collection uh, skinny dragonfly wings it has the bottom half of the hauler style um, which is the solid base uh, white black and blue hmm not for me what about you next okay very simple very simple uh, it's a B class spider-man style as I call them blue and red uh, it's just got the boards on the top and the claws um, mm -hmm. more like a tank than a ship that should be an exocraft next okay number 30 class a ship not bad see it's quite bland but yellow and black just seems to make everything look nice it is a hauler uh, it's a shame we didn't have thrusters on the wings but then again I found a few yellow and black haulers in the previous videos that are much more presentable and pleasing to the eye than this one but this is still not a bad little ship um, but not for me next right next we found number 31 class A ship we've not had many orange and blacks some of the previous journeys I was bombarded planet after planet with oranges it was starting to drive me crazy but this is not a bad looking orange and black hauler if you want one um, it's got enough to make it usable in terms of prongs and whistles. Hmm, next. Okay, number 32, class A ship, portal address and coordinates at the top of the screen. This one I believe is red and black, but planet lighting is extreme, so it could actually be orange and black. Um, it has the rare front light. I say it's rare because I haven't found as many of these as others. What do you reckon of this? Very simple, very sleek. Hmm, next. Okay, number 33, this one is only a class B, and that's because I could not find anything higher. Um, I thought someone may like this, so I did try and find a better class. Uh, if you want to look for a better one, um, take your Echo and Dreadnought and pop them away once you arrive at the location. But, claws, boards, prongs, hmm, not bad. Next. Okay, number 34, class A ship. This one is primarily black with just a tiny bit of orange it's got orange around just the engine tips and on the front board so very minimal orange if you can put up with orange um, do you like this style of ship definitely not my style um, it feels chunky but in the wrong places next okay last but not least this is hmm well I couldn't tell if it was the planet lighting but it green and red I mean there may be a fan of this out there somewhere uh, it's got the little extra wings on the top boards uh, it's quite clean it's got the extended front at the bottom as well uh, extended thrust because of that it's got the pipe thrusters on the side it's not bad it's not bad so I'm a little disappointed that it wasn't as long as the previous journeys but like I said I have been under the weather over the last week so my playtime has dropped dramatically um, however, I believe I did find a few little diamonds there, especially the uh, S-Class with the clustered four supercharged slots. I've got myself a new S-Class weapon, which is now my primary S-Class weapon. So overall, I personally come away a happy man. Now, it took me a little while to make this video, so if you do enjoy this content, give the video a like. Give the channel a subscription, um, and I'll keep them going. Uh, there's plenty more content for me to be putting videos together with it's just finding the time and then also the fresh finds I'm addicted to the ship hunting I will keep searching and if there's something you want let me know in the comments and also remember 
if you do take one of the ships that is not an S class, you can upgrade that for free if you want to switch it in your settings to purchases free. Simple. Um, and then any upgrades you make will be free. Uh, as long as you've got the required amount you need so to upgrade to an S class while you've got free purchases on, you will need 16,500 nanites. It's not going to take those nanites, but you just need it for the game to accept your purchase. Uh, and then once you've made that purchase, you'll see your balance hasn't changed. Well, either way, I hope you enjoyed this journey. Um, I will continue it shortly, but I need to look through my ships and figure out what do I want to change, if anything. Until the next time, thanks for watching, and I'll see you soon. And welcome back to the Game Hub for yet another ship hunting video on No Man's Sky. Today I'm bringing you 12 new viewer finds from the Discord. Now, we've got some amazing ships for you today. That now brings a total to over 615 Sentinel ship locations on the Game Hub channel. Check them out. There's also plenty more exclusive finds on the live streams, and you can watch the playbacks of those if you can't catch me live. Now be sure to join the Discord as well and you can share your ship finds and check out all the other great ship finds from the other viewers. Now it is important that you remember this, every ship location is in Euclid Galaxy. Mm. Now if there's any bases glitch in the ships, report the base, save your game, reload your game and then collect that ship. Make sure multiplayer is disabled to save any issues and beacons will be placed for you to find these very easily. Are you ready? Let's go. Right, ship number one then. This one is a Class A ship, submitted by Blink89. All the details you need are top of the screen. Color scheme on this one comes in teal and white. It has the full size dragon wings and it has the tank feet. Very nice. As an A class supercharged slots, we've got two over tools to the left, one on the right. Upgrade to S, and you've got three tools to the left, one on the right. Not bad. In the air, this thing does look nice, but I say that about every dragonfly. I am a sucker for the dragonflies. Will you pick this one up? It's very nice. Hmm, next. Right, ship number two on today's list. Another Class A ship here. This one is submitted by Duchess. All the details, top of the screen. Color scheme on this one comes in a yellow and green. It's like a manta style with the big fat vent wings on the front as well. Nice. Supercharged slots, we can only see two. Initially, it's an A. Soon as you upgrade to where you can see all four. Two on the right, two towards the middle. In the air, it doesn't do much as it is a simple ship, but it does look great. And then vent wings give it a nice, chunky, deep look. Yes. Do you like this one? Next. Okay, ship number three on today's list. This one is a Class S ship. All the details you need are top of the screen. This one was submitted by Chrome Cat God. Color scheme on this one comes in red and yellow it's just got the vented wings and a very simple top not my cup of tea but what do you reckon of this uh supercharged slots you need to unlock the fourth to see them all uh three tools the right one in the middle in the air it does look better than it does on the ground still i struggle to fly these kind of ships with that big front what do you think hmm next right ship number four another a class this one is submitted by gentle Color scheme on this one comes in red and black. This is a tie style. These ones always look better in the air uh, compared to what they look like on the ground. Supercharged slots, beautiful group three on the right is an A class. Upgrade to S, you can see the fourth one is just to the left, but three together, lovely. Now in the air, as I say, these always look better. Tie fighters look nice, nice in the air. Do you agree? Hmm, next. Okay, ship number five. This one is an A-class, all the details as always, top of the screen. This one was submitted by Crin. Color scheme on this one comes in black and yellow. It is what we'd like to call a hauler style due to its length. Now, as for the supercharged slots, they're very scattered as an A-class initially. Upgrade to S and the scatteredness disappears. You do get three together. Now, once in the air, unfortunately, the shape doesn't change. It maintains as it is on the ground. But are you a fan of this style? Next. Okay, ship number six now. Another class A ship, all the details top of the screen. This one was submitted by McLovin. 
Another dragonfly style here with the four size wings. It's a green and teal color scheme. Very different, very nice. Supercharged slots, we can see two together and one on the right is an A. Upgrade to S, unfortunately the fourth one is on the left, so it's a one, two, one. But it's still a beautiful ship. Mm. In the air, if you like this color scheme, this looks glorious. Very nice shape. Next. Okay, ship number seven now, class S ship. All the details top of the screen, submitted by Tylus. Color scheme on this one comes in a white and yellow. This is a beautiful dragonfly. I have one similar, oh, but this one, it's definitely worth a look. Supercharged slots, we've got two on the right and two on the left. In the air, this thing does look glorious. That white and yellow shine through, very nice, very nice. Oh, I love dragonflies. Next. Okay, ship number eight on today's list. We have a class A once again. Now, all the details, as you know, top of the screen. This one was submitted by Potsy Dog. Okay, so color scheme on this one comes in yellow and white. Now, it does have the fins and the prongs. Very simple style. Supercharged slots, two on the right, one on the left. When you upgrade to S class, there's just scattered. But do you like the style? Now, in the air, this thing does look okay. I mean, it's kind of like a tie style, but not quite. The fins ruin it for me, but what do you reckon? Next. Right, ship number nine on today's list. Another class A, submitted by Ra. This one comes in black and white. It's another dragonfly style. This one has the skinny wings and an extended engine due to the under section as well. Now, supercharged slots is an A. You can only see two, one left, one towards the right. When you're at grade to west, they're rather scattered, but you've got two close towards the middle. In the air, this thing does look extremely long. It does look graceful when the bottom opens up. But do you like the skinny wings? Next. Ship number 10, class A ship on today's list. All the details, top of the screen. This one is submitted by Saskic. Color scheme on this one comes in black and like a teal once again, and a little bit of white there. Again, you need to like the hauler style to appreciate this. Supercharged slots is an A, very nice free together. As an S-Class, the fourth one is over on the left. In the air, the top does open and split, but where it's a solid base, that stays as it is. What do you reckon about this one? Hmm, next. Okay, ship number 11, another Class A ship here. All the details top of the screen. This one was submitted by War. Ha, color scheme on this one comes in red and black. Dragonfly style with the skinny wings once again. So if you like the skinny wings, you may like this. Supercharged slots, we've got two on the right, one towards the middle is an A. Upgrade it to S and you get the three there on the right hand side. Very nice. In the air, it does look nice, even though it does have the skinny wings, but I do like the fat wings. Yes, yes, yes. Next. Okay, number 12, last one on the list today, and it's a class S ship, and this one is submitted by Nezkroll. All the details are top of the screen. And remember, it's in Euclid. Now the color scheme on this one comes in a beautiful white with those black wings. Supercharged slots, three together on the left is the S-Class and one towards the right. In the air, this thing looks glorious with that X-Wing shape. The color scheme is beautiful. The only thing that stopped me picking this up was those fins on the top layer. The light as well, fantastic. Brilliant find, all of today's finds have been amazing. Regardless of what I think of them, someone there may have found someone else's perfect ship. You never know, keep them coming. What did you like in this collection? Let me know. And like I say, head to our Discord, share your finds, check all the other finds out, and many more will be coming in the future videos. There's many more viewer finds coming in the next week. So keep your eye out and let me know what you're after. As always, thanks for watching. You're amazing. I'll see you in the next one. And welcome back to another ship hunting video here at the Game Hub on No Man's Sky. Today I'm bringing you 14 new Sentinel ship locations. All of these were recorded on a live stream and most of them were picked by the viewers. Now in total, there are over 580 ship locations on the channel now. So check them out if you haven't seen them already. Now we also do live streams, try to do them daily. So there's lots of exclusive finds you won't find in videos in those playbacks. 
Now you can also submit your ship finds and find other ship finds in the Discord, so check that out. Every ship I show today is based in the Euclid Galaxy, that is important. Now, if there is any bases that cause issues, be sure to report them, save your game, reload, and then get your ship. Multiplayer must be disabled to save issues. And as always, combos will be placed at every ship's location. So, it's that time. Let's go. Ship number one now then. Class S. Color scheme on this one is yellow and black. Coordinates, portal address, top of the screen. And remember, if you skip the intro, all these are in Euclid. Remember that. Now, the supercharged slots on this first one, we've got two on the right and one on the left initially. Once you've unlocked that other slot, you can see two on the right and two towards the middle. Now, in the air, this thing does look quite nice. It doesn't change too much other than the wings do slightly dip, but again, it looks very gracious in the air. Yellow and black, lovely. Next. Right, ship number two on the list today then. This one is a Class A ship. Again, coordinates, portal address, top of the screen. Color scheme on this one comes in green and black. And it has those lovely little mini wings, top and bottom, very nice. Supercharged slots as an A class, we can only see two initially. Once you've upgraded it all, uh, you can see three towards the middle, not exactly grouped, and the one on the right. In the air though, like I say, they're mini wings, they do make this shape. It's a lovely looking ship, but do you like green? That is the question. Let's move on, next. Right, ship number three in today's list now. This one is another Class A ship. This one comes in the color scheme of black and red, and it is a dragonfly shape here. Uh, we have the full size wings and the tank feet. Three eyes on the front, nice, nice. Uh, supercharged slots we can see as an A class, three over on the right, two that are grouped. As an S class, three are stacked together. Not a bad little layout, that one. Now in the air, all dragonflies look amazing, if you ask me. I am a big, big dragonfly fan, but this does look really nice. Do you like it? Next. Okay, ship number four now on today's list. This is another Class A ship. Coordinates, portal address, top of the screen. Color scheme on this one comes in a black and very minimal mint green. And it's literally just on the top there and the mini wings that you can see. Uh, supercharged slots, we have two on the right, one on the left. As an S-Class, we have two, two, so not a bad little setup. Now in the air, uh, not a lot changes as it is a very simple ship. The boards do kind of dip down at a slight angle, but other than that, it holds its shape. Not bad, next. Okay, ship number five. This one is another class S ship here on the list now. Uh, coordinates, portal address, top of the screen. Color scheme on this one is a teal and green dragonfly. It does have the skinny wings. Now, as for supercharged slots, let's take a look at them. We can see all four right from the get-go, but none of them are stacked. Now, in the air, it does look as you'd expect for a dragonfly, but that green does stand out. But me, I'm not a green fan, but I know many of you are. Lovely wingtips too. Next. Ship number six now, Class S ship. Coordinates, portal address, top of the screen. The color scheme on this one comes in a very simple red. Now it's just a pure red bug body with a simple set of red wings. And then you have the extensions top and bottom with the prongs there too. Now supercharged slots, we can see two in the middle and one on the left initially. Once you've unlocked everything, it's one left, two middle, and then one slightly to the right. In the air, not a lot changes. Uh, it does hold a Thai style. Um, not the traditional Thai style that you'd expect to see, but either way, it's nice. Next. Okay, ship number seven. Another class A ship on the list here. Coordinates, portal address, top of the screen. The color scheme on this one comes in a simple black and white. I do like this one. Now this one also holds some very nice supercharged slots. So we've got two in the middle and one on the left as an A class. Once upgraded, you have three towards the middle stacked and then one slightly to the left. In the air, this thing does look quite nice, where it's very simple in style and very simple in color. Do you like the black and white ones? I do. Let's move on. Next. Right, ship number eight now on the list. This one is another Class S ship. Coordinates, portal address, top of the screen. Color scheme on this one comes in a glorious, fantastic orange. And it's a hauler. And I picked this one up. Hmm. Now, supercharged slots, two on the left, two on the right. Uh, I still can't get over this one. This one traumatized me on my live stream on Saturday. If you were there, you know. So if you know, you know. 
Hmm. There's still more to come from this ship. Isn't there, Donald? Moving on. Next. Okay, ship number nine is another class A ship on today's list. This one comes in blue. Now, it's kind of like a half tile with the uh, extended pointed top. Uh, it has the pipe thrusters that give it the extensions on the side there. It's not a bad looking ship. Supercharged slots, we have two on the right, one in the middle. Uh, once it's upgraded to S, that one in the middle turns to a stack of two in the middle. So, two, two. Now, in the air, like I say, it kind of looks like a half tie. Uh, I'm not really sure what to class this one as, if I'm honest. What would you class this ship style as? Let me know in the comments. Moving on, next. Okay, now, ship number 10 in today's list. This one is another class A ship. Color scheme on this one is a very nice green. Now, it's got fangs on it as well. Very simple in its layout, but also beautiful. Now, supercharged slots, we can see initially as an A, there's three over on the right, but once you've upgraded it to S, the fourth one is all the way over on the left, but that does not detract from the beauty of this ship. I don't like green ships, but this one, there's something about this one. It's just, it's just good. Next. Right, ship number 11. Class A ship, all the details you need are gonna to be top of the screen. Now, this is the second orange ship in today's collection and the only saving grace for this ship was that big fat light on the front. So it got documented. Now, supercharged slots, we can only see one left, one right initially. Once you've upgraded fully, there's three over towards the right and one on the left. In the air, nothing's really gonna change on this as it was on the ground, other than the wings dipping down. But like I say, that fat light saved it. It got documented. Next. Right. Ship number 12. All the details you need top of the screen. This is another class S ship here. Color scheme on this one is black and white. It's a wingless ship, this one. Uh, but it's got mini wings, top and bottom. Uh, supercharged slots, we can see two on the right and two on the left straight off the bat. Like in the air, like I say, it's wingless, but it has those four mini wings. So if you like a small X-Wing style, this may suit your needs. Moving on, next. Okay, ship number 13 in the list now. This one is another Class A ship here. This one is a very simple bug, simple as they come with a wide front. So just a black or purple bug, and that's it. Now, supercharged slots, we have one on the right, one in the middle initially, once you've upgraded it to S class, two on the right and then two towards the middle. Now in flight, it looks exactly as it does on the ground, exactly as you'd expect with the chicken legs tucked away. It's just a bug. Hmm, next. Okay, number 14, C class. Now wait, 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 wait. I deliberately chose the C class to document over the S class on this one. And that's purely because of the supercharged slots at the end result. Okay, so this is a beautiful white ship and once this C-Class is fully upgraded, you can see the supercharged slots are a stack of three and then the fourth one very close by. So if you have the means to upgrade this, I would suggest going for this one if you like this. There is an S-Class on the map also marked and an A-Class and a B-Class, but the slots are not as good. So check out this C-Class, it's beautiful. There we are, that is all 14 of today's finds. What did you like out of those 14? My favorite was number 14, regardless that I uh, used the C-Class version to upgrade. Didn't bother me. The end result for me is what does it look like with the supercharged slots when it's an S-Class? And that was by far the most superior. Now share all of your finds as well in our Discord. I'll put the link in the description and in the comments below. Now also let me know what are you after? If I haven't found it yet, let me know in the comments what style are you after, what color scheme are you after? Give me an idea of what I am missing. Now every live stream, when we land at a ship, I give the chat the choice, hunt or next. So if you want to be part of that decision, join one of my live streams. As always, thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one. And welcome to another ship hunting journey here at the Game Hub on No Man's Sky. The first video we've done like this, I covered 97 ships all in one video. This time it will be very similar, except more information on a lot of the ships. 
The first part of the video, I'll be looking at a bunch of ships, including S classes that I took for test flights. I checked the supercharged slots, as well as given the portal address and the coordinates for the ship itself. The second part of the video will be another bunch of ships, but more of a quick fire round, ones that I didn't take for a test flight, but I still recorded the portal addresses and coordinates in case you want to go and grab one of those ships. Of course, if there's any ship that you like that's not S class, you can just head to that system and hunt out the S class yourself. Now. What's important is multiplayer does need to be disabled. That is a big one. Uh, all ships are Euclid based. Now along this journey, we also find multiple S-Class weapons. I will document them too. We also find a couple of bizarre pets. I thought I'd mention that and show them as well within the ship's locations. As like the last video, all ships will be numbered. So make note of the numbers and check the timestamps to reference again if you want to at the end. So let's begin, shall we? And our first ship is an A-Class. It's a baby blue and black hauler style. Location is shown on the screen as well as the coordinates to this particular ship. Now the supercharged slots on this one are separated so you can have two on one particular item and two on another if you so wish. Um, I didn't get any in-air footage because it pretty much looks the same as it does on the ground. Solid in case back. Do you like this one? Let's move on. Next. And at number two now, we have another A-class ship. This one is white and an off-white brown magnolia beige. Take your pick. Not for me, though. I did pick it up just to see what it looked like in the sky, just to see if it was actually off-white or just the planet lighting. And it definitely is off-white. And the wings are white at the bottom, but the rest isn't. Uh, plenty of thrusters, if you like this sort of thing. Coordinates shown, portal location shown. Um, like I say, thrusters galore. Supercharged slots shown on the screen there. Is this your cup of tea? It's not for me. Next. And at number three, we have our first of many S-Class ships to show you. This one is blue, like the Minotaur blue from the Sentinel update, you know, the blue I'm talking about. Uh, again, off-white, unfortunately, not an actual white. Looks quite nice in space. If this is your color scheme, it's not a bad looking ship. Uh, the location is shown, portal address, as well as the coordinates that take you directly to this S-Class ship. There are three supercharged slots that are pretty close together that can be combined. Uh, what do you think? Next. Now, at number four, we have a black and teal hauler style. Uh, A-Class, portal and coordinates are both shown at the top of the screen. Uh, in flight, it doesn't look too bad. I like the way the top splits open. Also worth a mention, this system holds lots of whale songs, it seems, without using any items, if that interests you. As for the superchargers, we have uh, two on the left, one in the middle, one on the right. Now, this system also holds an S-Class weapon for you to get your hands on, if you want one. It's only the small orange handgun style, but still, it's a sentinel weapon. Uh, once you've upgraded it, the four slots are all pretty close together, so you could probably devastate with this. Moving on, next. At number five, we now have a black slim, as I would refer to them, style ship here. Uh, it's got white tips, very little white on this, but it's just enough to finish it off. Uh, it also has white markings by default, so it all works quite well. Simple, plain, white, black. Uh, it's a nice looking ship. This one is still in my collection. And look at those uh, supercharged slots. Very well positioned if you want some decent DPS. Moving on. Next. Number six. This is an orange and black dragon style. Uh, it doesn't have the full size wings. Uh, it does have an extended back. It has the prongs on the side. White engine just to finish it. Could have more white. Some of them have got a lot more white. But this is not too bad. Looks good in flight as well. Everything's well spread out. Is this the sort of style ship you like? The only thing with the orange, it just feels default for me. So I struggle to like them. Uh, slots, two on the left, two on the right. Moving on. Next. At number seven now, we have a blue and black large dragonfly style sentinel ship. Uh, this one is an S-Class. The location and the portal are shown at the top of the screen, as always. It does look quite nice in flight. I just wish it had the full-size dragon wings. That would have made it a lot more sweet for me. Other than that, it does look quite nice in flight as well. As for the supercharged slots, pretty spread out. Left, middle, right, right. 
Moving on. Next. Now, we have another A-class black and red hauler portal and coordinates shown at the top of the screen. I have one similar to this, except mine has more prongs on it and more red. It's red and black, but this has less red than mine. Uh, the bottom seems a little bit skinnier compared to my previous one as well. Overall, though, it's not a bad ship if you like the haulers. As for the supercharged slots, two on the left, two on the right. There you go. Moving on. Next. And at number nine, we have another Class A ship location and portal shown on the top of the screen. This is a gorgeous yellow one, I think. Uh, if you like the slim ships, this one has uh, the little mini wings on the top as well as the bottom. Lovely color scheme. I do like this yellow, white, and black. Uh, you don't see many of them. At least not many people seem to be using them that I've seen in the Nexus area. I do like this in flight as well. Uh, I wish I found the S-Class in this. I may go back for it. But this one has three slots on the left and one on the right. Very well located for DPS. Uh, moving on. Next. Number 10. This one we have a green hauler. A-Class. Hmm. Bit too much green maybe. If you're an Incredible Hulk fan, maybe you'll like this one. Speaking of superheroes, we have some beautiful ones coming up soon. But this one. This green one. Hmm. I don't think green works for me. Location and port were both shown at the top of the screen. As for the supercharged slots, they are pretty nice. Three on the left close together and one on the right. What do you think about the green? Next. At number 11 now, we have a S-Class ship again. This one is a blue slim style ship. Extended wings on the back. Has a little bit of yellow finish there. Um, it's not a bad ship if you like these style ships. Blue and yellow is a nice combination. Uh, previous comments on the last video, I know people do like the blue and yellow, so it's nice that we've got an S-Class one sat here. As for the supercharged slots, they're just two on the left, two on the right. Uh, probably weapon and pulse. Moving on, next. At number 12, we have, as I said, speaking of superheroes, a Spider-Man style hauler. I like the front as well, that's solid. Um, light the red it doesn't look like a spider-man red on the planet but when we get it up in the air you can see it is just right if you like spider-man and you want to be spider-man flying a spaceship grab this ship grab this ship it's only a class but i'm sure there is an s class down there it does look really nice in flight as for supercharged slots they're all located on the right uh nothing too special but still next Number 13, another Class A ship. This one is another orange and black slimline ship, as I call them. Uh, it has the claw feet as well, so that will double up as thrusters. As the extended uh, thrusters on the side via the pipes. All the wings drop down. Uh, prongs go up. Again, orange. Not the greatest fan of orange and black, just because the defaultness. Now, supercharged slots, two and two. Nothing special. Moving on, next. Okay, number 14, we have another Class A ship, portal and coordinates shown at the top of the screen. Orange and black, this does have the four size wings, extended back, pure orange engine. This is like an orange and orange Sentinel ship. This is not too bad, because it doesn't have the white in it. It's not a bad ship. Uh, in flight, it looks quite nice too. Uh, it is nice that it is a solid color, not broken down of the little finishes. Uh, but it's a two-tone orange. I will point that out. Now, supercharged slots, two in the left, one in the middle, one on the right. Do you like this ship? Let me know. Moving on. Next. At number 15 now, we have another S-Class for you. This one is what I've got now, still in my collection. I call it the Blue Bug. Uh, portal and coordinates both shown on the screen. It has the claw-style feet that double up as thrusters. Quite simple. It's really simple, yet... It's not left my collection. I just don't want to get rid of it. I've been recycling the others to do this journey. But this one, even now, at the end of the journey, I can tell you that I've finished the searching. I've still got it. I really do like this one. It's simple, sleek, agile. I do like it. Uh, supercharged slots, two on the left, two on the right. Pulse and damage. Moving on. Next. At number 16, we have another Class A ship for you again. Another 
sentinel default style with the orange there this one does have the white and the black doesn't have the full size dragon wing so it's not as good i don't think as the previous one shown but still you may not like the full size wings this may be more of your flavor it does look nice in the sky uh but it's just not for me it's not for me do you like it supercharged slots not well positioned to be fair uh but you can still make the most of them moving on next number 17 now this one's quite nice very simple but if you've seen any of my previous videos you know i like the bugs so now we have a simple red bug pure red bug but it doesn't have the full size wings which is kind of annoying but it does have the claw feet which none of my other bugs do uh, i wish it had a little bit more maybe an exhaust on the top uh, but either way it's simple it's sleek it just needed the full size dragon wings and it would have been mwah. Have I still got this one in my collection? Yes. Now, supercharged slots, they have one on the left, three over to the right, which if used right, could be combined. Uh, it's not a bad looking ship. Coordinates, portal, all at the top of the screen. What do you think of this one? Do we move on? Next. Okay, now at number 18, we have another A-Class. This one is orange and black and white. It is a nice looking dragonfly style, very sleek. Uh, where it doesn't have the extra side wings from above you can see it's proper nestled together i like the rear extension that spreads apart when you fly any other color and i may have considered keeping this one in my collection but not for me two supercharged on the left two on the right do you like this one moving on next okay now number 19 we have another class a for you coordinates up the top portal address at the top too now every ship i do place down i don't really mention it but there is beacons for every ship placed as well to make it easy for you to find all these ships this one does look nice in the air i like the way the wings do drop down the top slides a little bit the supercharged slots are very well located if you want high dps too and one for pulse next at number 20 this one's a little bit special this is the first i've seen with this combination uh you've got the tentacles at the front you have the full size engine you have the full size dragon wings you have three layers of wings on the side you have the extended back which is like the hauler back it's solid at the bottom this is completely different to any other ship that i've found so far and the combination in the color is really nice uh a class all the details are at the top as i said uh, the supercharged slots could be better next now at number 21 we have another red and black ship this one's a very skinny one uh, long from the extended top and the back you have a few prongs on it definitely not a ship that you're going to see me flying anytime soon but there is someone out there somewhere i'm sure that looks at this and thinks that's not bad all the details at the top of the screen that you need supercharged slots two and two could work moving on next now number 22 i really did like this one and this one stayed in my collection for a while and i kind of regret getting rid of it it's a red and yellow one with black finish it has the two layers of side wings as the extended top uh, as the claw feet as well which is really nice i like this now the supercharged slots two on the left two on the right what do you think moving on next at number 23 now we have another orange and black slim style here portal coordinates top of the screen uh if it wasn't orange i might have liked it more i'm not going to explain why i've said multiple times not for me really do you like orange and black do you like this style uh two on the left when it comes to supercharge two in the middle hmm. moving on next now we have another a class one here red black and white quite a nice looking one tentacles again at the front uh skinny wings with the thrusters on the side uh, you've got the exhaust on the top it looks quite sleek and sexy in the air uh it's just got a nice shape to it really like this one um i kept this one i may get rid of it but for now i've kept it three in the middle one on the right supercharged slots what do you think moving on next now this one we have a white hauler this is the first pure white hauler that i've found it's only a class location portal and everything is at the top of the screen uh i wanted to keep it 
but it just felt like it wasn't complete. Not quite complete. Not good enough to beat my red and black one that I've already got. But like I say, it is quite nice. And it's the first pure white hauler out of all the haulers. And I found a lot of haulers that are white. Now in the sky, when you're flying it around, you actually feel like you're part of a Star Wars film. I don't know. It looks nothing like Star Wars ships. It's just the white and black of it. As I was buzzing through the air, I was like, yeah, where's the Millennium Falcon? I've got no idea what I'm talking about. I don't like Star Wars. Now we've got two supercharged slots on the left and two on the right. Not badly positioned. What do you think of this one? White. Hmm. Next. Now, number 26 is a yellow and black A-class. Coordinates and portal are shown on the top of the screen. So this one is a sleek, simple styled one. Um, I am growing on these ones. Like I mentioned before, I have the blue one and it's still in my collection. This one, uh, I may go back and find the S-Class for it. It is quite a tidy little ship in flight as well. As for the supercharged slots, we have one left middle and then two on the right next. So number 27 now, this one is an S-Class orange and yellow hauler. Not a combination I've seen often on my travels, yellow and orange. Um, it looks all right, uh, not my cup of tea in terms of color though. Um, coordinates portal all located at the top supercharged slots we have one on the left and three on the right so it could be quite powerful if you want it to be next no 28 another class s ship this is a red and black piped ship as i've named it um due to the fact that the thrusters are just extended via pipes look very nice once in the air uh s class like i mentioned this is a pretty nice little ship very tight um this is one that I'm probably going to stick with, I think. Uh, four supercharged slots, all on the left. So you could go full-on weapon if you wanted to. Next. Okay, number 29 now. We do have another hauler. This is yellow and white. Portal and coordinates at the top of the screen. Uh, so many haulers on this journey. More than the previous. But still, it's good to see the whole mixture and combinations of colors and styles this one looks like a stingray from the top hmm next now at number 30 guess what this is yes we have another hauler this is yellow and black very tidy nice wide front the four little eyes you've got the prongs on the back the top is solid encased this is quite nice if you're looking for a hauler and you like yellow and black i'm still sticking with my red and black one for now but so many choices right now in flight, it looks as you expect it to look because the back doesn't really change because it's solid. Wings drop down, looks nice. A four supercharged slots have broken up, one on the right and three on the left. Next. So number 31, we have a B class. Nothing special here. B, but it looks quite nice. Um, for some reason, I didn't seem to get any airborne footage of this one. Kind of annoying, but it looks okay. The top does split open just a little bit in flight. Uh, nice, nice color, nice color, um, but no room for it. I only want one hauler, and I'm sticking with one I've got for now, and that's that red and black one from the previous journey. Next, now at number 32, we have another class B. We've only had a few class Bs, uh, but this one it stood out because it has the uh, tentacle style on the front. It is a nice looking hauler if you like blue and black. Um, if I had the prongs on the back, it would have been nicer, but that's just being fussy. Uh, it's not often I've seen the tentacles on the front of the haulers. In fact, that's pretty rare for my personal experience. In flight, it looks quite tidy. The wings dip down just a little bit. Uh, it looks quite menacing. Like I said, just needs them prongs. Uh, supercharged slots are all on the left, two and two. Uh, not a bad combination, not a bad combination. Now, before we leave this particular system, this little bad boy, some of you may have seen him before. Um, I've had a pet that walks on all fours. There he is. I've had him for years. Uh, there's a video on my channel to where to get them. I call them Death Panthers or Hell Panthers. But I've never seen one that walks on its hind legs. Same model, but hind legs. Um, so I thought I'll just share that. So if you uh, want a funky looking pet and you haven't seen one of these, grab one. Next. Now at number 33, we have a Class S ship. Another hauler, red and black, but this isn't, again, like one we saw previously in the uh, video. 
it's a Spider-Man style colour. So uh, if you like Spider-Man uh, and you like that colour scheme, the way it opens up at the back as well, it fans open. It's quite nice. It looks quite claw-like. You know, like the claw, the cranes you see in the fun affairs. If you look at it like that, the way it just spreads out, it's quite nice. You know, not for me. No room for it, but it does look nice. Uh, supercharged slots shown there. Two on the right, and then the other two are separated. Yeah. Next. So number thirty-four, another class S ship. Again, portal and coordinates all at the top of the screen. This one is pure black, slim. Uh, it's just a bug style in the middle. Two sets of side wings, extended out to the back, extended on the front, in flight, spreads out quite well. It's not a bad looking ship. Uh, like I say, it is an S class one. Uh, do you like this small bug style with the, just the pure wings, no dragon wings? What do you think of this one? The uh, supercharged slots, two on the right, two on the left. Balance them out, pulse and damage. That's where I'd go. Next. Now, number 35, another S class. This one, again, is black the only color off of the black here is a little bit of white on the engine and on the engine tips at the back but that works quite well because you've got the white markings on the wings already you've got the extended thrusters with the pipes uh this is a nice looking ship again for an s class it's probably worth looking at shame about the supercharged slots but ships are powerful anyway next number 36 we jump down a grade on the ship to a class Location and everything else shown at the top of the screen. Red and black, this one. Pretty nice looking. The engine, though, I think might be orange. It's hard to tell. Uh, but I think it may be orange. It's a two-tone, this one. But it's definitely red and black for the majority of the ship. Um, the supercharged slots, we've got two on the right, two in the middle. So pulse and damage there. Now, also here, before we leave this area, another s-class weapon don't think this is as good as the first one if i'm honest um, the other one had far superior placements of the supercharged slots okay so that's the detailed ships out of the way now it's time for the quick fire ships pen and paper ready so a class the first one black long slim not my cup of tea what do you think location for the portals now is bottom left okay bottom left so moving on next okay we have an a class here this is an orange and black slim style not my cup of tea keep looking left for the portals don't forget that now it's changed moving on next okay now we have an a class again another orange and black style ship here again didn't have time for this one it's quite nice move on next now we have another a class this one is a orange claw style ship very small bug like keeping it simple do you like this next okay this one is another a class this is a red and black hauler this is actually quite a nice hauler didn't have room for it didn't have time to take it for a test flight do you like it next now we have another a class this one is another red and black hauler again no room for it didn't take it for a test flight it is very nice though next this one not very nice not my cup of tea slim blue boring meh location bottom left next okay this one is an a class again slim blue uh bug style quite basic exhaust on the back uh two sets of wings one extended at the back yeah not for me though do you like this moving on next Okay, so this is a B class. It's just a large Iron Dragon style one. Doesn't have the full size wings. We've seen a few of these already in the start of the video. Didn't take it for a test drive. Moving on, next. Okay, another B. This is an off blue slim style one. Could be green though. Lighting on this planet yeah, is not exactly fantastic. So blue or green, take your pick. Uh, either way, not for me. Moving on, next. Okay, another B. This is an off white hauler it's not proper white uh, at least it doesn't look white i mean make your own mind up is it white i don't think it is i know the lighting's bad but no i don't think it's white moving on next now this is another b class it's an orange and white hauler style default sentinel colors i think um 
I've mentioned it already. Not a big fan of the default colors. Let's move on. Next. Okay, so we move on to another B class, and it is yet again another orange, black, and white hauler. <sighs> lots of orange ships. Lots of orange ships on this journey. So if you like orange ships, wow, what a treat. Ooh, yeah. <laughs> Next. Oh, look. What's that in the distance, I see? Is it an orange, black, and white sentinel ship? Oh, yes. No way. What are the odds? Ugh, great Scott. Moving on, shall we? Next. Okay, now we have a B-class, slim, pointy blue ship. Um, I'm not a fan of this myself. What do you think? Do you like this style ship? Uh, do you have one of these in your collection, regardless of colour? Um, locations bottom left, just not for me. Moving on, next. Okay, another B-class we have here. This is a nice style of ship, just not the colour scheme that I would pick up. Um, would you appreciate this sort of colour scheme? Hmm. No, nah, no room for it in my collection. Let's move on. Next. Okay, now we have another B-class here. Uh, Spider-Man colour scheme as we saw before we've had two of those so in total we've had three spider-man colour scheme one this is rather simple basic but it does work for some people i guess do you like it let me know moving on next now we have another b class this one is a white uh, and black slim style ship um not too bad to be honest i only found one in a b class didn't look too much though because there was no room in my collection for it if you want an s class hunt it out moving on next now we have a yellow and white hauler. Um, not seen many of these. Uh, not the best style possible, but if you like the color scheme, uh, the hauler has a solid base at the back. Check it out. Let's go on. Next. Okay, now we have a blue and yellow hauler. Um, I think this is the only blue and yellow hauler we've seen on this journey. Not too bad. The prongs on the back, solid top, um, thrusters on the wings. Yeah. I'm sure someone will appreciate this. Only a B class this one though. Next. This one is a C class. Very boring, but I thought someone might appreciate this style. Blue and black. Um, nice color scheme for some. Solid blue. More blue than the, is black, that's for sure. Um, yeah. Move on. Next. All right, this one is a C class. This is just a simple green slim ship previous like uh, the blue one we saw just a few moments ago not for me though no definitely not in green anyway let's move on next okay now we have an orange <laughs> big dragon but this one's actually not too bad uh, the white wings makes it stand out a little bit it's got three laser wings nice and pointy at the front um, but not for me next Okay, we have an orange, bulky, slim style ship here. Lots of prongs and whistles. Lots of pointy bits, double layer of wings. Uh, extended thrusters, top and bottom. Do you like this? It could even be red. Who knows? Next. Okay, this one is an orange one again. All possibly red with the white and black wings. The thrusters on the pipes. That has the prongs. Um, yeah, someone would appreciate it, I'm sure next okay this one is a c class it's orange black and white once again um if you like this style of ship you've got plenty to choose from from these ones again wasn't one for me so let's move on next okay now another c class another orange white and black one slightly different in that it does have the pipe extension for the thrusters other than that still orange black and white move on Next. Okay, C class again. Guess what color this one is? Did you guess it? I bet you didn't. Oh, you did. Oh. Hmm. Orange, black, white. Next. Okay, now this one is slightly different. It's um, orange and black with a bit of white don't really see these much next okay now moving on finally from the orange black and white to a red black and white um, boring though ugly not for me move on very quickly get out of here next 
Okay, now this one is a red, black, and white hauler. It's not a bad looking ship if you like the red, black, and stole multiple wings. Uh, it does have the tentacles on the front. Blah, 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 blah. Very cool, very cool. Next. Okay, close to the end now. S class, this one. Simple bug style cabin with the exhaust on the top. Double wings on the side that are black. They do extend backwards to give it a little bit of a shape. Kind of resembles a bat from above. Move on. Next. Now, oh, it's just like the one we just saw, except someone's come along and plucked the wings off of it and said, yeah, have it back. Boring. Now, luckily for me, I'll just grab this pet at the end. Uh, I'm sure some of you have seen this before. Personally, never come across one of these. I'll probably get bored of it really quickly, but I thought I'd just show you that this boring bug planet uh, that we finish on also has this cool looking pet if you've not had one of these yet. So that is it. That is all of the current collection up to date that I have found. Another journey I'm sure will start soon. Plenty more ships are out there for me to go and get my hands on and to share with you. If you like this, please give the video a like and subscribe. You have no idea how long this took, how stressful this was. I finally got it done. 5.45 a.m. Ugh. I'll see you on the next ship hunt. And welcome back to another No Man's Sky video here at the Game Hub, and it's another ship location video. And today we're bringing you 15 new viewer finds. That takes the total on the channel now up to 640 locations and over 100 S-Class ships. And we've got some crackers for you today. Loads of ships with some banging supercharged slot setups. So I hope you're ready. Now, all of these ships, as I say, are viewer submissions into the Game Hub Discord and then recorded by myself on the daily live streams. Check that out as well. Now, you can also join the Discord and check out all the ships that have not made it onto the channel yet. Loads to look at. If you come across any glitch ships, make sure you check for bases. If you see them, report them, save your game, reload, get your ship. And all of these ships are based in the Euclid Galaxy. Multiplayer must be disabled and all beacons will be placed near the crash sites for easy finding. So, let's go. Right, ship number one on today's list then is a Class S ship. Coordinates and portal address top of the screen. Now, all ships, remember, are in the Euclid Galaxy. Now, this one was submitted into the Discord by Six Killer. The color scheme on this one is yellow and black. The supercharged slots, when you initially look at them, there's only three showing, but once you've unlocked all the slots, you've got two on the left and then two towards the middle. In the air, it does open up and turns into a tie style. Very nice. These ones always look better in the air than they do on the ground. What do you reckon? Next. Right then. So, ship number two. This one is a Class A ship. This one was submitted into the Discord by McLovin. Now, all the details are top of the screen. Now, this one comes in a kind of turquoise and white. Uh, it's a very, very strange looking ship on the ground. Now, the supercharged slots, once you've upgraded to West, you've got three on the right, one on the left. Now, in the air, this thing does look a lot better, much better than it does on the ground. It all opens up into that X-Wing formation. It looks pretty nice, but do you like the color? Next. Okay, ship number three. This one was also submitted by McLovin. This is a Class A ship. Color scheme on this one is red and yellow. Now, all the details, like I say, top of the screen and in Euclid. Very simple, this one, just a tick shape. Supercharged slots is an A class. You can see two on the left, one on the right. Once upgraded is an S class. They're very spread out, but there are the location. Now, in the air, wow, well, it's a bug with an engine. Nothing's going to look uh, any different to how it does on the ground. So you get what you're given. Like it? Next. Right, ship number four. Now, this one is another Class A ship. This one was submitted into the Discord by Moist Brownie. Hmm, sounds nice. Now, this one is a beautiful color scheme. It's red and white with a little bit of black there. But it's got that juicy fat light on the front, tank feet. Now you can see two on the right, one on the left is an A. Once upgraded to S, you've got three over there on the right, one on the left. Very nice supercharged slots. Now, the only thing that put me off this one is the skinny dragonfly wings. I wish I had the fat ones. Do you like this one? Mm, next. 
Okay, now ship number five, another class A on today's list. This one was submitted into the Discord by Potsy Dog. All the details top of the screen. Color scheme on this one comes in a yellow and black, and it's a dragonfly style, full size wings and tank feet. Now, when you look at the supercharged slots as an A class, they're rather spread out. And as an S class, when you get that fourth, they're still rather spread out. Looks nice though. In the air, everything tucks up. I like the fact it's got no thrusters on the side, just the wing tips. It looks really nice. Very elegant from behind. Next. Okay, now ship number six on today's list is another class A. Portal address coordinates, as you know, top of the screen, and it's in Euclid. Now, this one was submitted by Potsy Dog. Color scheme on this one is <clears throat> orange and black. Uh, it's got the skinny wings, uh, supercharged slots is an A class, you can see two towards the left, uh, and once is an S class, so you can see the other two towards the right, but spread out. Now in the air, it does look alright, I guess, considering it's orange, but the skinny wings, uh, 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 big no from me, but the pincers, solid black with them wings, looks pretty good. Mm, next. Right, ship number seven on today's list, this is another class S ship. Now this one was submitted by one of our mods, Fry Sonic. Now, color scheme on this one <clears throat> another orange with white and black it does have the pincers on the top and on the bottom now supercharged slots as an s class you need to upgrade all the slots to see them but you get four over there three grouped very nice on the left now in the air all right it looks okay just wish it wasn't orange nice little setup there looks very great but it's orange next Okay, now ship number eight on today's list, another class A. This one was submitted by Ra. Color scheme on this one comes in a kind of minty green and white. It's very hard to see in this filter. Now it does have the pincers on the top, but not on the bottom. Lots of thrusters going on there and the little mini wings. Now supercharged slots as an A, you can see two on the left, one on the right. As an S, you get the second one over on the right, but it's not stacked. Not bad though. In the air, it does all open and spread just a little bit. Nice free eyes on the front. Like I said, plenty of thrusters. Hmm. Not my cup of tea though. What about you? Next. All right, now ship number nine, another class A ship. This one was submitted by Tylus. Color scheme on this one, yellow, white. Details all top of the screen. Now this one has the mini wings on the top as well. It does have a nice style to it. The color is pretty good too. Now supercharged slots as an A, two left, one right. As a Ness, three left, one right very nice now in the air this thing does look great it doesn't matter that it doesn't have the bottom half matching to the top it just looks great it does do you agree do you agree next now ship number 10 on today's list this is another class a ship now this one is <clears throat> i don't like the top but it's got a really nice color scheme the wings are fantastic the under section with the pincers is fantastic it looks great it's just the top part that puts me off now supercharged slots as an a you got two on the right and one just the left of that and as an s class the fourth one is further over to the left now in the air it looks glorious it's white and red in the air and it's gray and red on the ground either way it's beautiful apart from the top next okay ship number 11 is a class b but wait wait do not skip this one this one was submitted by duchess now it's got the tank feet on the bottom it's a yellow and white color scheme you've got the pincers on the top and the prongs out there as well now this gets better trust me when you look at the supercharged slots initially as a b just two over there nothing fantastic as an s they're pretty much stacked beautiful layout if you like this style of ship and if you like yellow and white you just hit the jackpot. This is a beautiful little ship with some fantastic supercharged slots. Well done, Duchess. Next. Right, now, ship number 12, another Class B. This one was submitted by Jared. This one is a Dragonfly style, but the skinny wings, it does have the under section as well, which does look better once in the air. Now, supercharged slots on this one. Again, as a B class, you can see two initially. Once it's an S class, boom four pretty close again don't just judge it because it's a b c's and b's can be fantastic as an s if the supercharged slots are right in the air this thing looks pretty good it could have done with the fat wings but can't win them all next okay now ship number 13 class s ship once again now this one was submitted by Moist Brownie. It's a black and white tie style. It does have the mini wings, but only on the bottom. Deep vent wings as well. Now supercharged slots though, two in the middle, one on the left, one on the right. 
could be better but it's still good in the air you can see it has the winch on the front it looks fantastic it looks a little unique where it only has the under mini wings but it's a great ship next okay now ship number 14 another class air ship here for you now this one was submitted by potsy dog the color scheme on this one is yellow white and black details top of the screen and remember all of these are in euclid don't forget now again this one has a winch as well supercharged slot style is an s class very spread out very spread out the s classes are not always the best so in the air this thing does look fantastic but once again we're looking at the skinny wings so bear that in mind do you like them do you next okay ship number 15 last one on today's list this one is a class s ship this one was submitted by saskic now black and gray all purple and gray if you're fussy now prongs thrusters looks okay hmm upgrade it completely you got again four on the left hand side nice little setup on this one but do you like the top can you handle that what do you reckon of this one this one is a fantastic find and if you like that style again banging ship go and grab it now that was all of today's 15 viewer locations all were submitted as i say into the game hub discord which of these did you like let me know in the comments there's got to be at least one right now remember you can join our discord and you can share your ship finds of us and they may also appear in future viewer videos consider joining the live stream i do most evenings also now when i ship hunt you as a viewer decide what i hunt and what i next so most importantly you decide what goes in my future videos as always thanks for watching like subscribe and i'll see you in the next one you're all amazing And welcome back to the game hub for yet another No Man's Sky ship hunting video. This one I am giving you 31 S class Sentinel ship locations, portal addresses and coordinates all included. Now we have over 100 S class ships now on the channel. This is the fourth S class dedicated video. Over 655 ships in total. Now we do all of this hunting on the daily live streams and as a viewer you get to choose what we hunt and what we next and uh, so a lot of these finds are down to you too now join the discord and share your finds for the upcoming future videos uh, if you come across any glitch ships make sure you report the base save your game reload and get your ship all of these ships are in the euclid galaxy multiplayer must be disabled just to save any hassles and we will put communication balls down at every ship location so let's go shall we okay ship number one on today's list all the details top of the screen remember it's in euclid now this was one of the viewers submissions from the discord finds this one was submitted by crin color scheme on this one is black and white or purple and white supercharged slots you need to take to the space station to see the fourth because you've got two on the right and two towards the left but great in the air now do you like the boards that is the question some people don't like it obstructing their view what's your opinion next okay ship number two on today's list now all the details top of the screen this one was another one submitted in a recent viewer video and it was submitted in the discord by kotzaflopping69 now the color scheme on this one comes in white and purple with the skinny dragonfly wings supercharged slots you can see two on the right and two on the left it does look great in the air them deep bent wings do you like this style skinny wings hmm. next okay now ship number three on today's list now this one was submitted by dogo mojo in the discord in a recent viewer video color scheme on this one comes in like a caramel kind of gold uh, and black now the supercharged slots two on the right and once you've unlocked the slots you've got two on the left as well now i don't have any airborne footage of this unfortunately uh, i lost the files or i didn't record them human error i don't know either way this thing does look amazing what do you think of this one hmm? next right ship number four now on today's list this one was another viewer submission recently submitted in the discord by crin now the color scheme on this ship comes in red and black it does have that top board that not many people like do you now supercharged slots we can see all four right away two at the top uh, one on the right and one on the left in the air it does look okay but do you fly inside because that affects many people next 
Ship number five. Now this one was also submitted by Crin recently for a viewer video. Now this one comes in a color scheme of blue and white and a little bit of black there. It is a tie style, this one, so it always looks better in the air. Supercharged slots, we've got three steps on the left and one on the right. Now in the air, like I say, they do look better because that opens up and takes its full form. What do you reckon? Next. Right, ship number six now on today's list. Another Discord submission. This one was by Cyphors. Color scheme on this one comes in green and black. Now it does have the board on the top and on the bottom. Again, third person view maybe, first person view, hmm. Supercharged slots, two on the left, one in the middle, one on the right. Do you like green or should it never be seen? In the air, it looks all right, considering it's green. Not quite orange though, that would be bad. Next. Okay, now ship number seven. All the details, top of the screen. Another Discord submission. This one was submitted by Kaioken. Color scheme on this ship comes in blue and red. Superhero color scheme. Now, supercharged slots. We have two on the right initially and one on the left. Once fully upgraded, you see three over towards the right and one on the left. Not bad in the air. Not a lot changes though, very simple. Do you like the superhero color scheme? Not me, not anymore. Next. Right, now ship number eight. The details top of the screen. Another submission via Discord recently. This one by Cyphors. Now, the color scheme on this one comes in white and black. Lovely. It's got the stinger on there. It's got the mini wings on there. Supercharged slots though. You need to take it to the space station to unlock all of them. And then once you've done that, you can see they're very spread out. But either way, this is not a bad looking ship. Very great in the air. Look at this bad boy. Look at it. Take it all in. But let's move on. Next. Right, ship number nine. Now, this one was submitted by Cyphors also. This one comes in a color scheme of orange and black. Very, very simple style. Um, now, in terms of supercharged slots, we can see they're very spread out. Uh, we've got two over towards the left and two over towards the right. In the air, the shape doesn't really change too much. It stays as it is. Next. Okay, number 10. All the details top of the screen. This one was also submitted by Crin via the Discord. Color scheme on this one comes in a construction yellow and black. It has the mini wings top and bottom as well as the mandibles at the top. Uh, supercharged slots, we can see one right, one middle, one left. But once you've unlocked that lock slot, two to the right, one middle, one left. In the air, once it all opens up, it does look okay. But the mandibles, hmm, they put me off a bit, unfortunately. What about you? Next. Okay, ship number 11. This one also submitted via the Discord by Crin. Uh, the color scheme on this dragonfly comes in a nice dark black and purple. With big fat light on the front, full size dragon wings, extender thrusters on the bottom, whoo, and yellow tips. Now, supercharged slots, we've got two on the left, one in the middle, one on the right. Once you've unlocked all the slots, banging, absolutely banging. Now, this is a beautiful small dragonfly if you want to keep them simple and sleek. Nice construction yellow. Next. Okay, now ship number 12. Now this one was found by myself previously. It comes in a color scheme of yellow and purple. Now it has the deep vented wings, which I really do like on this one. It looks grand. Now, when it comes to the supercharged slots, we can see two on the right, and then we've got one towards the left. But then once you've unlocked it, it's more towards two towards the middle and two on the right. Now, in the air, this thing does look great. It's very simple, but big fat vent wings, they do finish these off. Nice. Next. Okay, number 13 on the list. Another one previously found by myself. Uh, the color scheme on this one comes in a kind of green and white. It has the under extenders to give it the thrusters and the nice pointy front. Now, supercharged slots are not amazing. We've got three towards the middle, but not grouped, and one on the right. Now, in the air, it depends if you like the skinny wings and this color scheme. If you like green, it may appeal to you. Next. Okay, now ship number 14, another one previously found by myself. This one is pretty much all red with just a tiny bit of black. We've got the prongs on the top. Um, it's almost like a tie, but not quite. But once in the air, it does change. Supercharged slots, we've got two towards the middle, one on the left. Once you've unlocked the other slot, again, they're spread out, but you've got a group of two at least. Uh, now, once in the air, like I say, it does spread out just a little bit and the wings dip down. Is it enough for you though? Do you like this one? Next. Okay, ship number 15. 
Oh, it took a lot to put this one back in a video. This one, also found by myself in the past, details top of the screen, comes in orange and white. As the solid encased top uh, and the bottom section is not solid encased. The supercharged slots, two on the left and two towards the right. The bottom does fan out once you get in the air, so it does give it a little bit of shape, but still, it's a hauler and it's orange. Do you like it? I don't. Next. Okay, now ship number 16 on today's list. All the details are top of the screen. Another one previously found by myself. Uh, this one comes in a kind of purple and white with mini wings top and bottom. But unfortunately, it also has those mandibles. Not a big fan. Supercharged slots, we've got two on the right and two towards the left. Once in the air, it takes this little mini X-wing shape. But the mandibles, oh, not for me. No, no. Next. Okay, ship number 17 is another one previously found by myself on a live stream. Uh, the color scheme on this one comes in a green and blue. It has the fangs, it has the mini wings on the top, extended thrusters top and bottom. Not a bad looking ship, this one, if you like the color scheme. Supercharged slots, initially you can just see three towards the middle. Uh, once you've unlocked the slot on the right, you can see that's where it's located for the fourth. Now, no airborne footage, unfortunately, but this looks great, right? Next. Okay, now ship number 18 on today's list. All the details, top of the screen, previously found by myself on a live stream. Color scheme on this one comes in green, white, and black. Now it does have the mini wings, the prongs, the extended thrusters, the winch, uh, lots going on. Supercharged slots for the first three we can see towards the middle, and then the fourth is over on the right. In the air, it does look okay if you like green, white, and black. Deep vented wings, not bad. Do you like it? Next. Okay, now ship number 19. This is another one that was found by myself previously on a live stream. Color scheme on this one comes in a mint green and black and purple. Now it's a dragonfly style, full size wings. Very minimal though, it's not bad. Supercharged slots are very good. Three together on the right and one on the left. In the air, this thing does look pretty good. If you like the mint green, again, nice, simple, sleek style. Love it, next. Ship number 20 now, another submission from a viewer. This one was Chrome Cat God, which was submitted by the Discord. Color scheme on this one comes in red and yellow. Hmm. Now, vented wings, mandibles, not a lot going on. Do you like it this simple? Supercharged slots, we've got three over towards the right and one over towards the left. Hmm. In the air, it does look a bit better, but not for me. No mandibles, no, uh, uh You can keep them, next. Okay, ship number 21. Now this one was submitted by Tylus, again in a previous stream. Beautiful dragonfly, lovely little color scheme here. It's like a pale off-white caramel. I don't know what you want to call this, but it's got the white on the tips as well. Supercharged slots, we've got two on the right and two on the left. It does look really nice in the air. Again, those beautiful deep vented wings, full-size wings, pincers. What more do you need? Next ship number 22 on the list today now this is another viewer submission uh, this was submitted by Nez Kroll in the discord now color scheme on this one comes in white and black also has that fat juicy light on the front now supercharged slots we can see three grouped over on the left and one in the middle very nice supercharged slot layout on this one the four mini wings give it that nice x-wing shape in the air the rear extended bat wing as we like to call it or I like to call it does finish this off nicely but mandibles again next okay ship number 23 now this one was submitted also by a viewer Taki the color scheme on this one comes in a red and black mm. it's got the box front the under section and skinny wings on this one supercharged slots uh, we can see three initially once you've upgraded all the slots or unlocked the slots, you've got two on the right and then two towards the left. Now in the air, it does look pretty nice. The bottom section does fan out, but like I say, it has the skinny wings. So if you like skinny wings and you like that fan section, nice, next. Okay, now ship number 24. This one was also submitted by a viewer previously and that viewer was Morgana. Color scheme on this one is yellow red and black it does have the tank feet but it also has that top board supercharged slots three really spread out towards the middle fourth is also spread out but do you like the style enough to take it regardless now in the air this thing tucks up but the board doesn't move it keeps solid hmm what do you reckon next okay now ship number 25 all the details top of the screen another recent viewer submission and that viewer was moist brownie 
Now the color scheme on this one is purple and gray, dragonfly style, full size wings. Now supercharged slots though unfortunately are very spread out, but if you can put that to a side, uh, this is a very nice looking dragonfly, very graceful in the air, and I always love the full size wings. I'm a sucker for them. Next. Now, ship number 26. Now this one was also a viewer's submission. In fact, it was one of our mods, Fry Sonic. Now the color scheme on this ship comes in a green and black. A lot going on with this one, the boards on the top, the prongs on the top, prongs on the side, extender thrusters, tank feet. Oh, it's busy. And we got two supercharged slots and another two supercharged slots for a two, two combo. Now in the air, it doesn't look too bad. If you like this kind of thing, but they're not for me. What about you next? Okay, now ship number 27. Now this one is also a viewer find and it was found by Gentle who recently submitted it in the Discord. Now the color scheme on this dragonfly comes in red, white and black with the skinny wings also worth noting and it does have the tank feet supercharged slots and this you can see three over on the left, unlock the ones on the right and you can see that's where the fourth is. Now in the air, this thing doesn't look too bad. Again, skinny wings, that's the only thing that would have put me off of it, but I know a lot of people love them, so I'll show them next right now ship number 28 this one was found by six killer and submitted for a recent viewer video this is a yellow and purple three-eyed tie fighter looks very simple on the ground uh, supercharged slots they're very spread out though uh, once you've unlocked the fourth you can see there's two together at least and then two together towards the middle in the air when it all spreads out this is when the tie fighters take shape they always look better in the air beautiful next okay ship number 29 Ah, oh, it's orange. It was submitted by Fry Sonic. It's orange, white, and black. Lots and lots going on in this one. Um, I'm trying to think of a kind word to say. Um, it's got thrusters, uh, supercharged slots. There you go. Three together in the middle. And then one just to the left of that. Makes up for it being orange. What do you reckon? In the air. Okay, I've said this before. It doesn't look too bad. There's lots of white to make up for the orange. Hmm. Nice one. Next. Right ship number 29 this one was submitted by moist brownie now this one comes in white and black it's almost a tie uh, it's got the mini wings on the bottom so it does look pretty funky this one now vent wings as well worth noting two supercharged in the middle uh, one left one right in full form uh, in the air you can see the winch up there as well it does spread out like a tie fighter um the bottom mini wings as well do you like them hmm next okay now ship number 30 this one was submitted by Potsy Dog in a recent viewer video. It's a dragonfly style that comes in yellow, white, and black. Now it does have the skinny wings and the winch on the front. Now supercharged slots, they're very, very spread out as you can see, kind of everywhere. So if you like the color scheme enough, you'll take it. But otherwise, are the slots good enough for you? Hmm, S classes are not always the best. Next. Okay, now ship number 31. This one was submitted by Saskik. This is the final one on today's list. This was in a recent viewer video. Color scheme on this ship comes in a gray and black and purple. Now it does have the tank feet and that top board. Supercharged slots initially don't look great, but once you've unlocked those slots on the left, there they all are, all four stacked over towards the left. In the air, the only thing, like I say before, that puts me off a ship like this is that top board. Does the fly inside the ship? Does it bother you? Now, that is all of today's 31 S-Class Sentinel ship locations that were found by myself and the viewers of the Game Hub. Now, like I say, there are four of these videos up there now. Which is your favorite S-Class I've found? There's over 100. Now, remember, you can share your finds with me as well, and I can feature them in the future viewer videos, and everyone can get to see your crazy and amazing finds. Now, as part of the live stream, you get to hunt or next, so you play a big part in what ships end up in these videos. Come and join us on the live streams. As always, thanks for watching, like, subscribe, and I'll see you in the next one. And welcome back to yet another ship hunting video here at the Game Hub. This one is another viewer find video, and this one brings you 18 new viewer finds, all submitted within the Game Hub Discord. So if you haven't yet joined the Game Hub Discord, get in there, check out the ship finds and share yours too. Maybe some of yours can be in the future videos. 
Now you can also catch up with the daily live streams which show many ships that don't make the videos, so check them out. Now this is important, every ship location is in the Euclid Galaxy, please be there to start. The channel now contains over 550 sensible ship locations, all available via a playlist. Now, if you come across any glitched ships and there's bases nearby, be sure to report those bases, save your game, reload your save, and grab that ship. Multiplayer must be disabled, just to make sure there's no hiccups, and beacons, combos, will be placed at every ship location. So, let's begin, shall we? Let's go. Right, ship number one. Starts with a Class A ship today. This one is submitted by Game Crasher in the Discord. Coordinates, portal address, top of the screen. The color on this one is black and white. It is a Dragonfly style. It does have the slim wings though. Supercharged slots as an A-Class. Initially we can see two together. Take it to the space station. You can see three clump there together and then one on the right. In the air, it does look rather nice. Black and white, like I say. Pincers at the front. Slim dragon wings, but it does have the vented side wings. Nice next okay ship number two this one was submitted by crin in the discord class s ship coordinates portal address top of the screen color scheme on this one is black and white once again it does have the boards on the top which give it the extended thrusters multiple layers of side wings there supercharged slots we can see two on the right and one on the left once you've unlocked the other slot you can see it's over there on the left as well now, once you take this in the air, not a lot is going to change other than the boards at the top do dip and spread slightly. Not a lot though. Now, it does look quite nice and elegant in the air, but I'm a Dragonfly fan. Next! Speaking of Dragonflies, ship number three. This one is submitted by Game Crasher in the Discord. All the details are at the top of the screen. This one comes in a lovely blue, if you love the blue. Full size dragon wings, very simple side wings. Extended thrusters on the bottom, extension on the front too. Supercharged slots, you can only see one until you take it up and unlock the rest. It has an S class, two on the left and two over on the right. Once in the air, I do love these. This one, uh, one reminds me of my Bumblefly ship, but obviously a completely different color, but the shape, pretty similar. Next. Now, ship number four, this one submitted by Game Crasher. Okay, this one has the big juicy light on the front. Also, this one is another Dragonfly ship, as you can see. Full size wings once again. Very dominant looking. Supercharged slots, two on the right, one on the left. And once you're fully upgraded, three on the right. It's a very nice placement. Once in the air, the black wings on the full size wings do look nice. Very nice dominant front with that bright light and pointy part. Very nice. Next. Okay, ship number five now, also submitted by Game Crasher, another Class A ship. Coordinates and portal address, top of the screen. This one is another Dragonfly that comes in blue. Skinny wings, not full size, does have the pincers at the front, which also allow it to have the extended thrusters at the back. One on the left when you first look at it, take it up and unlock everything. As an S-Class, three on the right, one on the left. Very nice supercharged slots. Now, thrusters look good there at the back, don't they? Once in the air though, it does look quite nice the pincers there giving it that nice shape just wish I had the fat wings next okay ship number six now class s ship coordinates portal address top of the screen this one is submitted by discord user coxaflopping69 put it away lad color scheme on this one is black and white it's a dragonfly skinny wings extended bottom uh, with the thrusters there uh, two supercharged slots on the left two on the right now in the air it does look quite nice i do like the vented side wings but however the skinny wings they stop me from picking this one up do you like it next okay ship number seven now another class a ship all the details top of the screen this one was submitted by discord user orion now this one comes in a pure yellow style dual boards top and bottom so multiple extended thrusters there supercharged slots as an a two on the left and one on the right once upgraded to s and unlocked everything three supercharged slots on the left in the air nothing really changes much the boards at the bottom stay the same the ones at the top slightly dip and move out a little hmm very simple let's move on next ship number eight this is another class a ship now submitted by game crasher in the discord all the details you need are the top of the screen it's a dragonfly style this one comes in a lovely mint green and white beautiful color palette if you ask me now in terms of supercharged slots we're going to see two as an a class but once you've upgraded it and unlocked everything we've got three over on the right and one on the left in the air it just looks lovely and this one is still in my collection it's not upgraded yet it's sitting there waiting i'm deciding do i keep it i think i will next 
Okay, ship number nine on the list now. Class A ship. This one is submitted by Orion. This is a beautiful red and black dragonfly. It's a two-tone red, but both reds are the same red. Very nice. Tank feet too. Now, supercharged slots. We've got two there towards the middle, one on the right. And then once you fully upgrade it, there's one on the left. However, it's worth noting that I did find another version of this, which is also marked on the map. So check out all the comm beacons. Next. Ship number 10 now, another one submitted by Kryn in the Discord. Class A ship, all the details are at the top of the screen. Color scheme on this one comes in green and black. Very simple style. Uh, it does have the mini wings as well as multiple layers of side wings. Supercharged slots on this one. We can see three as an A-class grouped over together on the right. Upgrade to S and the fourth one is over on the left. In the air, not a lot changes. The top does spread open slightly. The bottom does drop and curve. Hmm, simple but nice. Next. Okay, ship number 11 now on the list. This one is another A-Class, submitted by Coxaflop in 69. All the details you need are top of the screen. It's a dragonfly with the full size wings, the pincers at the front. The color scheme is like a blue and mint green. It is a nice looking ship, unique color palette there. Two on the right, one in the middle for supercharged slots. Once upgrades to S, you have all four on the right side, but not grouped. Now, like I say, the color scheme on this one is quite unique. It does look great in the air. Do you like it? Next. Okay, ship number 12 now, another class A ship submitted by Kryn. All the details you need are top of the screen. The color scheme on this one comes in blue and black. Now, it's worth noting it does have the mini wings on this one, top and bottom. Supercharged slots, two on the right, one towards the middle. Uh, fourth one, when you've unlocked it all, is over on the left. Very spread out on this one, but it doesn't take away from the fact it does look rather nice in the air with those four mini wings, giving it the full shape. Lovely, next. Okay, now ship number 13, another A-class ship here, also submitted by Kryn in the Discord. Color scheme on this Dragonfly style is black and orange. Now that bottom section, it's worth pointing out, it does split, it spreads. So it's half X-Wing style, once in the air. Now the supercharged slots, very spread out. Um, now unfortunately, either user error or the file didn't record, but either way, I have no airborne footage of this. So take my word, the bottom does spread next okay ship number 14 on the list now another class a ship this one submitted by Kryn. nice fangs at the front there color scheme on this one is blue white and black now don't judge this one by its looks on the ground it does get better in the air now as for supercharged slots they don't look amazing initially as an a but once you've upgraded it to an s class you do get two at least together over on the right hand side now, once in the air, it does all split apart and give it that X-Wing formation. Lovely fangs on the front, nice vented wings. This does look very dominant in the air. Mm, next. Okay, now ship number 15, another class A ship. All the details you need at the top of the screen. Another one submitted by Kryn. Blue and again like a minty green color. This color scheme has popped up a few times today. Very simple tie style. Uh, supercharged slots we can see there are two over on the right but then three over on the right once it's an s class one on the left once in the air like i say it does take that tie formation and it does have the tucked up fangs there as well you like this one next ship number 16 now on the list another class a submitted by Kryn. all the details you need are top of the screen color scheme on this one looks initially to just be black with the purple cab However, it's got a tiny, and I mean tiny piece of yellow on the mini wings on the bottom. Lovely, lovely. Three supercharged slots there over on the right initially as an A. Once fully upgraded, the fourth one is over on the left. Not a bad little layout. Now in the air, this thing does look quite nice. Very small, very simple, but very, very dominant, despite the size. I like this one. Next. Ship number 17, submitted by Kryn, another Class A, coordinates, portal address, as always, top of the screen. This dragonfly comes in quite a unique palette of a two-tone pale yellow. Now, it does have the slim dragonfly wings, but it does have multiple layers of side wings there. Supercharged slots, rather spread out. As an S, though, you at least get two together over on the left-hand side. Once in the air, this thing does look rather elegant. I do like the deep vented wings, and I do like that two-tone yellow. Hmm. Do you like this one? It's different. Next. Right, final one on the list today. Ship number 18, Class S. All the details you need at the top of the screen. This one was submitted by Doggo Mojo in the Discord. 
full-size dragon wings it does have the extended engine as well as the extended thrusters supercharged slots once you've fully upgraded and unlocked everything you're going to get two on the right two on the left now unfortunately again i'm not sure if i've had issues of obs but i do not have the airborne footage even though i know i did record this one but take my word it does look amazing in the air check this one out if you like it so that is all 18 of today's viewer finds now there is more that i have already recorded which will be in the next video now share your finds in the discord i'll put the link in the description and in the comments also let me know what are you after we will try and find your perfect ship thanks for watching stay safe and i'll see you in the next one and welcome here we go again with yet another sentinel ship hunting session on no man's sky here at the game hub and today i'm bringing you 13 new sentinel ship locations we are clearing out what's left on the euclid folder now that brings us to over 600 locations on the channel which are all euclid at the moment now there's also a ton more finds from all different galaxies as well as euclid on the live stream playbacks if you can't catch me live now also you can join the discord uh, the link will be in the description and in the comments so you can share your stuff with us as well now remember every ship in this video is in the euclid galaxy you need to be there now if you come across any glitch ships let us know in the comments but generally all you need to do is report the base save your game reload collect the ship multiplayer must be disabled and of course communication balls will be placed at every crash location for easy tracking so let's go so then ship number one on today's list is an a-class the portal address coordinates top of the screen this is a yellow tie with the black side wings there now remember all of these ships if you did skip the intro are in the euclid galaxy please be there now supercharged slots is an a-class we're going to see two initially on the right hand side once an s it's two and then one to the right one to the left now in the air it does look quite nice but tie fighters generally do what do you think next ship number two class a ship coordinates portal address at the top of the screen now the color scheme on this little simple one is yellow and black now me personally i'm not a big fan of those boards on the top as i do fly first person and it does become obtrusive now supercharged slots is an a two on the right one on the left i unfortunately didn't get the s class layout um sorry either way in the air doesn't look too bad very simple though hmm next Okay, ship number three on this one, another class A ship. Now this one comes in the color scheme of red and black. Very elegant style, this one. Um, now, me personally, I'm not a big fan of the fins on the front. I've tried flying a ship with them, but nah, not for me. Supercharged slots, when it's an S class, they're very nice, three grouped together on the right and then one towards the middle. Now in the air though, it does look nice, but I'm not a fan of that fin at the front. Just, nah, not for me, not my cup of tea next okay now ship number four on the list today another class a ship all the details top of the screen color scheme on this one comes in blue and green it's a simple kind of manta style but it's very thick very simple very solid it's not bad but do you like blue and green supercharged slots is an a class two on the right one on the left once upgrades to s you get the fourth one in between those now once in the air very simple like i say but it does look quite solid it's thick Hmm, but do you like the color scheme? That is the question. Next. Right, so now ship number five, class A. All the details you need top of the screen. Color scheme on this one comes in a blue and black. Now it is a dragonfly style with the tank feet. It does have the full size wings, which for me is the best wings. Now supercharged slots, we have three scattered as an A and then as an S, not much better, still scattered. But in the air, it looks quite cool if you like blue and black i wish i had more on the wings though some prongs maybe hmm next okay ship number six class a ship all the details top of the screen now this one comes in yellow and red again this is the sort of ship that's better judged in the air than it is on the ground as it does change shape a little bit now as for the supercharged slots as an a class we can see three again scattered nothing too close and unfortunately i didn't get the s class information so you'd have to check it out if you like it but it does form the x-wing style do you like it hmm 
next. Ship number seven, another class A ship here. Color scheme on this one comes in red and white. Now there is a little bit of black there too, but it is primarily a red and white ship here. Not too bad, it does have the under extended section. Uh, supercharged slots, we have two groups in the middle, one on the right as an A. That changes to three groups in the middle and one on the right as an S class. So the supercharged slots in this one are not too bad. In the air, looks quite nice. Wings dip down, not a lot changes. Simple, nice, next. Okay, ship number eight now, another class A. All the details top of the screen. And again, a reminder, all of these are in the Euclid Galaxy. Now this is another Dragonfly style with a full size wings. And it does have the under section, which allows it to have the full extended engine at the back. Now supercharged slots, we can see two on the right together, one on the left. Once upgraded, that fourth one appears between those two sections. Uh, in flight, this thing does look pretty nice. The bottom does split open to give that nice spread eagle look. Either way, do you like it? Next. Okay, ship number nine, another class A here on the list. All the details at the top of the screen. Another very small, simple, yet elegant style one. Blue and white this comes in. Uh, the pincers on the bottom give it the extended thrusters on the rear. Like I say, simple in the air, but very nice. Supercharged slots, three together as an A on the right. Upgrade it, and all four are over on the right. This is a nice little ship. Now in the air, like I say, very simple. You're only going to get the wings that dip down. Very nice. I do like this one. Next. Right, ship number 10, another class A ship here. This one comes in blue and white. Very, very simple, not a lot going on here. Best thing about it, it has some tank feet attached. Hmm, now, supercharged slots, ah, uh, hmm. Doesn't get much better, does it, as an S? Now, in the air, simple, blue, white, black. Hmm, next. Okay, ship number 11, A-class, orange, bug, small, simple, not a lot to show. What do you want? What do you want from me? Supercharged slots look naff, but then they change. They're better. It's orange. Next. Ship number 12, another class A, details top of the screen, color scheme on this one is blue and red, the superhero style. Now, it is a full-size dragonfly style. We have the tank feet on there as well. Very nice, very elegant, if you like the blue and red. Supercharged slots, one on the left, two on the right. Nothing too special as an A. And again, unfortunately, nothing too special as an S. All spread out. But in the air, if you do like this color scheme, not a bad looking dragonfly. Wish it had prongs on the wings, but it doesn't. Next. Okay, now ship number 13, last one on the list. Class A ship. And yes, your eyes are not deceiving you. It's orange. I finished on an orange. Why? I don't even know. Now, it looks simple. Supercharged slots, A class, two on the right, one in the middle, upgrade that to S, and that changes to an L3 on the right, and then one in the middle. So supercharged slots for an orange are not too bad. <sighs> I suppose it doesn't look too bad, does it? It's all right, but it's still orange. Do you like it? Hmm, and that is all 13 for today. Now, it was only 13 because this was the last bunch of ships in my Euclid folder that I had documented that I had found. There are still some viewer finds to come from the Euclid location. Uh, there's a couple of videos, expect them in the next week or so. And I've also begun documenting, as you've seen on the live streams, in Hilbert, the second galaxy. So there'll be a bunch of Hilbert locations coming out. Uh, and I'm sure we'll return to Euclid again shortly on the streams and in videos, but expect a lot more variety. Thanks for watching. Like, subscribe, and I'll see you in the next one. and welcome once again to another ship hunting video here at the game hub and this one today is an s class only video this one will feature 21 s class ship locations all found since the last 32 s class ship location video now in total now the channel has 530 ship locations available for you to pick from there are of course many more ship locations available on all the live stream playbacks so check them out too Every ship location listed in this video will be in the Euclid Galaxy. That is important. Now, if you come across any glitch ships, be sure to report the bases and reload your save to grab that ship. Also, be sure to check out the Game Hub Discord for many, many more shared ship locations from the viewers. As always, make sure multiplay is disabled in the network settings. Communication balls will always be placed down next to every single ship. 
making life that little bit easier. So let's go. Right, ship number one coordinates portal address top of the screen this one is a hauler style it comes in a yellow and red uh, nice wide front with the three eyes if you're into haulers you may like this one uh, me I'm over the hauler stage a long time ago they do not float my boat as for the supercharged slots though they are pretty decent we've got three on the right and then one in the middle nice group to mount there in the air it's not going to change much where it is the solid in case top and bottom yeah it's uh, a hauler next Right, number two on the list now. Again, details are the top of the screen. Color scheme on this one is red. Very simple tank feet hauler. No wings, just the top body and the small three eyes. It's not a bad little ship, but not for me. Supercharged slots, we've got two in the middle, one on the left, one on the right. Hmm, okay. Now in the air, as you can see, it's very simple. The only thing that changes is the tank feet tuck up, and that is all you're gonna get. Next. Okay, ship number three on the list now. Details top of the screen. Again, another hauler with the extended front top and bottom. It is solid encased again, so top and bottom will not change once airborne. Does have the few prongs on the top there. Uh, again, I'm over the hauler stage, like I say, not for me. Do you like haulers still? Two in the middle, two on the right when it comes to supercharged slots. In the air, like I say, nothing is gonna change on this one. It's staying exactly as it is on the ground, other than the wings are gonna dip down slightly. Moving on, next. Okay, ship number four. Again, a very simple S-Class, this one. Details are top of the screen. This one comes in a simple black, or some may call it purple. Now, it's not gonna change much. The only thing going for this one, it has multiple extended thrusters. Uh, two on the left, two on the right for the supercharged slot. Now, in the air, like I say, nothing at all is gonna change. Same on the ground as it is in the air, next. Okay, now ship number five on the S-Class list. All the details top of the screen for the coordinates and the portal address. Yellow and black is the color scheme on this one. Now it does have the underboards which act as pincers on the front and rear extended thrusters. So simple, but very nice. Uh, supercharged slots, we can see one on the left, two up towards the middle and one on the right. Could be better. In the air, nothing's changing. It is as on the ground. You just see the boards underneath surfing away there. But not bad, not bad. Let's move on, next. Number six on the list. Portal address, coordinates, top of the screen. Color scheme, blue, white, and black. It does have the hauler style look to it. Um, I hoped it was gonna be an X-Wing style, but it's not, just to let you know in advance. It does have the nice light, simple wings with prongs, supercharged slots you'll need to take to the space station to see all of the slots. And that's two on the left, one in the middle, one on the right now as i mentioned it doesn't spread out into an x-wing shape this one it keeps the shape it had on the ground but either way nice looking hauler if you do like the hauler styles but not me next right ship number seven on the list now now this one comes in red white and black it's a dragonfly style, very simple. Uh, it's on the chicken legs, as people like to call them. Uh, either way though, if you like this color scheme, it is a nice, simple dragonfly. Uh, supercharged slots, you have to take to the space station again to see them all, and that's two on the left, one in the middle, one on the right. Now, once you take this in the air, like I say, it's very simple dragonfly. It's not over the top. It doesn't have all the extra thrusters on the side and the prongs, but it's still nice. Next. All right, ship number eight now on the list. Now, this one was submitted by Cox of Flopping 69 in the Discord. This was part of the viewer finds video. This one comes in a gray and red. It's a dragonfly, tank feet, but it has the skinny dragonfly wings. But if you don't mind that, then this is a very nice ship. Supercharged slots, once you've unlocked the last slot, is two middle, two right. Very nice. Now, once in the air, like I say, if you don't mind the skinny dragonfly wings, this thing does look beautiful. Look at it gray and red quite a rare color scheme do you like this one i really do like this one next okay ship number nine on the list is another viewer find from the previous viewer find video submitted to the discord by twix uh, the color scheme is red white and black it's a dragonfly style with the tank feet skinny dragonfly wings supercharged slots two towards the middle two on the right so not too bad uh, once in the air it does look rather nice the extended thrusters and the prongs on the wings the upside down y light not a bad little ship this one next 
Okay, ship number 10 on the list now. Very simple one, wingless one this one. We just have that extension on the top and the extension on the bottom. Prongs also on the top, comes with a purple cab, uh, black pieces elsewhere. Now supercharged slots, we have one middle uh, and then three towards the right, but only two are touching. Submitted by Cox of Flopping uh, on the Discord, this one also from the viewer finds. Do you like it? Next. Okay, now ship number 11, another Discord submission. Uh, this was Game Crasher, again from the previous viewer find video. Now this one comes in pure white uh, with the upside down Y light, the tank feet, uh, has the skinny dragonfly wings again, but again, nice white ship this one. Uh, the supercharged slot layout, you can see there's three kind of clumped towards the middle, but not touching and one on the right. But either way, beautiful looking ship. Do you like this one? I really do like this one. Now, this one was in my collection for a little while, but I did replace it with one you'll see shortly. Next. Okay, ship number 12. This one is a yellow, black, and white dragonfly once again. Again, skinny wings. We found a lot of S-Class skinny wing dragonflies in the last few videos. Supercharged slots, as you can see, we have two in the middle, one just to the right of that, and the fourth one is also over across to the right. So, do you like this one? Are you a skinny wing lover? Hmm, let's move on. Next. Okay, ship number 13. Very, very simple one, this one. It's just a simple gray bug. Well, that's it. Chicken feet, uh, triangle light. Uh, it's not really a lot to say about this one. Supercharged slots, one on the left, and then we've got two over there towards the right. Two clumped when you've upgraded it to uh, or unlock that slot even. Now in the air, you can see, like I say, nothing really changes. Next. Okay, let's go, let's go. Ship number 14. All the details you need are at the top of the screen. This is a white dragonfly that I found recently. Full-size dragon wings. And this replaced the other white dragonfly that you saw earlier. I do prefer the full-size wings. Tank feet as well. Supercharged slots. We've got two over there on the right and then two kind of spread apart towards the middle. Either way, it's in my collection. It's staying in my collection until I find one better what do you think of this one i really do like this one let's go let's go next okay now ship number 15 on the list this one was found the variant was found by black knight it's a ship i did find on one of the live streams uh, black knight came in assisted and found this s class variant there is also an a class variant in the previous video which does have slightly better slots but the s class variant as you can see here there's the supercharged slots very spread out um it's lovely though. The pipe thrusters, yellow, black and white, beautiful dragonfly, full size wings. Do you like this sort of fly? I do, I do. Next. Okay, now ship number 16. Again, uh, a live stream viewer found the S-Class variant of a ship I found on stream, and that's Cypher 1435. This one comes in a black and green, very simple, uh, nice vented side wings. The supercharged slots, we can see one on the left, two in the middle uh when you upgrade it you got two on the left two in the middle so not a bad little uh, layout for an s-class find uh in the air it does look quite elegant i do like these simple sleek ones looks very poised next okay now ship number 17 now this one is orange as i mentioned in a previous video yes orange i'm not a big fan of orange and the only reason we did document this one is because it was an S-Class and if there's a small chance someone likes an S-Class, well, there you go. I'm not a big fan of orange. I used to document all the oranges as well, but not so much anymore. They drive me crazy. What about you? Do you like them? Next. Okay, ship number 18 now. This one comes in green and white. Very simple, white vented wings. It has the tank feet and it has that top board. It has the Y-Light extender thrusters on the back. Uh, now, to me, that board on the top is awful. However, there are players I know, as I've uh, seen in the live streams recently, that do like that style of ship. So the supercharged slots, though, all spread out really. Nothing really to talk about there. In the air, though, does look quite nice, other than that top bit, if you ask me. Hmm. Next. Okay, ship number 19 on the list. This was in the last video. It was the black and red dragonfly. Skinny wings, but it does have beautiful black wings. The extender thrusters on the bottom and the dual black sort of toned pincer at the front. Supercharged slots has three grouped there in the middle. Uh, once you're taken to the space station, the fourth one is over on the right. But oh, 
lovely. Now, the only thing that stopped me from uh, keeping this one was the skinny wings. Do you like it with the skinny wings? I know people have picked this up already, but will you? Next. Okay, now, ship number 20. This one is what I've called Yellow Hornet. Another one I found on stream and then a viewer, Black Knight 813 went and found the S-Class version uh, and then posted it in the comments. We documented that one instead of the A that I found, but the A version can also be found in a previous video. What do you think of this one? Hmm, it's nice. I did keep it for a while, but I replaced it. Next. Okay, the last one. It's not a Sentinel ship. This one was found by pure chance on a space station uh, when I was upgrading one of the ships. It's a yellow and gold and black exotic ship. There is the portal address. Uh, it came in for me on the first wave. If you want it, you might not be as lucky. Just keep reloading your saves on the space station or a trade post and good luck. Right, that is it. That is the 21 Sentinel ships. Wow, 20 Sentinel ships and one exotic ship, which we don't normally cover. Like I say, pure chance. So I added it in as it was an S class. And who knows, maybe someone will see that and go, hmm, I want that bad boy. Either way, that is all of them. What was your favorite? What are you after? And make sure you join our Discord. As always, thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next one. And welcome to what I believe is a beautiful ship location video. This one is for the white dragonfly that I have been looking for for so long. If you've seen any of my videos or my live streams, you know that the white full width wing tank dragonfly in white is what i've been hunting and i finally found one so i'm going to share today with you the location of this white dragonfly as well as two extra locations of the same dragonfly that are s class found by a viewer who continued the search when i logged off last night so very nice so let's get going now they're all in euclid obviously they're all on the same planet obviously so the location the portal address that i'm showing at the top of the screen will not change the only thing that's going to change is the coordinates at the top so location one the coordinates are showing now it's an a class the supercharged slots we've got two on the right one in the middle and then when you upgrade it you've got one far on the left but there's like a three slot gap between the two and the one as you see there so as an a class upgrading to an s it's a nice slot placement now the second location this is what's found by uh, a viewer in fact he found both s classes it's sif 1435 um, now the location coordinates i've checked out both of these top of the screen okay so the port address like i say is the same it's just the coordinates that have changed for location two now the supercharged slots for this version you got two tucked up in the corner on the right hand side and then two towards the middle but they're not very close but they're still close enough to be able to link up together i think so apples and pears uh which combination so far do you like best now the third location again this is an s class the only thing that's changed again like i say is the coordinates we're on the same planet just different coordinates there are combos as well down for all three of these that's important to note there are combos now the slot placement as you can see two in the middle one on the left uh the fourth one as noted by the finder is over there on the empty slot on the right okay so i'm not going to take it to the space station for the third location as i know it is on the right hand side as reported by the finder sif one four three five so quick recap number one there are the, uh, the supercharged slots for ship one. There, two on the right, one in the middle, one on the left. Okay, that's when you upgrade it to S. Now this one is a natural S, location two. Two tucked up in the right, one in the middle, and then one slotted to the left there, okay? That's location two. Location three, now, this one is also a natural S class, okay? Slots, two in the middle, one on the left, and like I say, the missing one that you see over on the right that is also supercharged so that is all three locations one a class upgraded to s and then the other two are natural s classes do you like this ship which one of the three locations will you pick i think this is a beautiful ship and i'm glad that we're finally getting to share this one so as always thanks for watching and i'll see you in the next one Welcome to another
the ship hunting journey here at the game hub. This is journey number three. I am on a quest to fill my ship slots with the sentinel ships. I have now removed all other ships from my collection and I have now got 12 sentinel ship slots that I am filling. This will make it over 200 sentinel locations visited including the previous two journeys. This one I have some absolute gorgeous ships to show you. Not all of them are S class but that doesn't even matter. Once upgraded to S class they are stunning. Now you can upgrade any non S class to S class for free by changing the difficulty settings. We'll touch on that at the end of the video. Or once you're in the system with whatever ship it is you see that I've shown that you like, you can always take Dreadnought AI or Echo Locators to that system and pop away and keep hunting to find the ultimate version of whatever ship that I show you. The hard part is done. So every ship that I show will have the coordinates shown and the portal address for that system and that ship. So without further ado, let's go shall we? Let's begin. Okay, so number one on the list. First one is a class A ship. Coordinates and portal address are both shown at the top of the screen. Now, this one is a large blue and black dragonfly style. Uh, it does have the extended back, has the nice wide double layered wings on the side with the thrusters on. Once airborne, it does look nice. Once the bottom section does spread out a little bit, does look quite sleek in the air. A good addition to your collection if you do like the blue and black. Supercharged slot shown on the screen. Uh, pretty decent DPS being pulled from this one. Next. And at number two, we have another class A ship. Again, portal address and coordinates are shown at the top of the screen. This is another beautiful black and blue sentinel ship. Extended thrusters on the back, full size dragon wings. Looks really nice in flight. Double layer of wings on the side, predominant front. Really, really nice ship. Uh, it looks good in flight and it has amazing supercharger slot placements. So you could either run all four in damage and maximize that, or like me, you may just want to run three and then one with pulse. 69,000 DPS still. Beautiful. Next. Okay, at number three now we have a class S ship. Portal address and coordinates will be shown at the top of the screen. It comes in yellow and black, dragonfly style. This ship was previously shown in another video on my channel. Uh, it was an A-class version. Now, one of the viewers, Umbra Vipera 9854, I believe that's the correct name, found the S-class version of it, which had just as good supercharged slot placements as the A-class version I found. So, I am now going to share with you the S-class version of this. Now, it only shows three supercharged slots here, but once you've been up to the space station and filled your slots, they'll all be on the right hand side and you'll get a staggering amount of DPS. Yes, next. At number four, we have a class A ship. Again, coordinates and portal shown at the top of the screen. This one is a blue, black and white combination. Uh, dragon style wings, not the full size. Uh, extended thrusters on the rear, it looks really nice in front. On the front, it has a very predominant look where the wings are extended outwards at the front as well as them bottom plates. Really nice ship. And also the supercharged placements are really good again. So if you want to put in some decent DPS, not a problem. 70,000 on this one for me. Very nice. Do you like it? Next. Okay, now at number five, we have a class A ship once again. Portal address and the coordinates are at the top of the screen. Now it's not often I pick up an orange and black one. I've mentioned before, I'm not a big fan of the orange and black, but this one, this one's found a place in my collection. The simple bug body, full size dragon wings, the claw feet, it's nice. Even though it's orange and black, this one is the only orange and black in my collection now, but it made it in the collection. Now, the supercharged slots, beautifully placed if you like DPS and pulse covered. So with my DPS, I'm getting 68k. What do you reckon? Do you like it? Next. Now, number six, another class A ship. Location, as always, shown at the top of the screen for this particular ship. Now, this is a pale green, quite basic looking hauler. 
um, but this planet also holds an S class weapon the coordinates are now changed and shown where the S class is now on the top of your screen uh, this one is Yuma's Nano Needler um, I didn't upgrade this one as I have one already uh, supercharged slot placement is not too bad um, but there S class weapon let's move on shall we next okay number seven class A ship once again location uh, portal address all shown at the top of the screen this one is a pure white hauler um, I, well I say pure white it does have a little bit of black in there but the primary color is white uh, red stripes black uh, trimming if you like a white hauler this is not a bad option supercharged slots were not too great but still average DPS 57,000 next now coming in at number eight class S ship oh this is beautiful coordinates and portal address shown at the top of the screen this is now officially my best and favorite ship at this current point in time black on black or black on gray black on silver it really depends on what planet you're on but it's a dark themed ship you've got the claw feet as well full size dragon wings three layers of black wings on the side the dark and it's just oh it's lovely i mean what can you say if you like black it's worth checking this one out and even better the supercharged slots worked out really well enabling free over on the right for the damage and this one pumped out 68,000 dps for me um and i also got to upgrade pulse to 1500 not pulse well yeah pulse maneuverability to 1500 um in the nexus as you can see it does look stunning and very dark next okay number nine class a ship coordinates and port address at the top as always this is the most basic and most simple of all ships you can get and it's a black version it's literally just the bug no optional extras nothing fancy it is what it is next now at number 10 another class a ship coordinates and portal address shown at the top of the screen this one comes in yellow and black dragon style wings they're not the full size wings unfortunately does have the fangs at the front the predominant front very deep dark light um, don't see that in as many ships as i do the rest of the styles um, it does look nice in the air under thrusters as well thanks to that undercarriage that points out at the front then fangs on the front very nice looks very sleek very sexy in the air supercharged slots very well positioned once again this one knocks out staggering 74k dps for me this one's a keeper this one's called the gold fury for me absolutely beautiful melts the enemies what do you reckon next now number 11 we have another class a ship coordinates and portal address as always at the top of the screen another yellow and black one here uh, this is a beautiful looking ship if you like this sort of style of ship it's got the claw feet on the front it has the predominant top on them boards with the mini wings on the side multiple layers of uh, wings itself bringing out that color really nicely this is a really nice ship if you like this style unfortunately the supercharged slots on this one were not the best positioned but still there's others out there next okay number 12 we have a class s ship here for you now this one is yellow and black and white dragonfly style full size dragon wings black when you landed they flip over and that the yellow that you see on the thrusters in the cabin once in the air that predominant front once airborne does look like pincers um, it is a really nice looking ship now we have two of these styles available for you today but this is the first one and i really do like this one supercharged slot placements could be better but it's still good still good next okay now at number 13 we're dropping down to a class b here uh, blue and black uh, it has the predominant top with the thrusters that extend out on the back it's the pincer style but it doesn't look the same on the top if you're collecting blue and black you may like this now this also has a class s weapon the coordinates for that are now showing two uh, so if you're looking for another class s weapon or just a class s weapon in general this is Valida's loop obstructor or Valado's loop obstructor 
uh, once upgraded that is the supercharge slots next now at number 14 another b class coordinates and portals shown at the top of the screen this is red black and white hauler style uh, it has a solid bottom on the hauler style there so it won't split apart what do you reckon not for me though next at number 15 another class b ship here this is another pincer style one with the fangs on the front again uh, red black and white now a few people mentioned in previous videos they do like the red black and white so pleased to see this one here shame i didn't find the s class but it is down there somewhere uh, or you can take this one and upgrade it now what do you think of this bad boy i think it does look really nice i do next now number 16 uh, class b again this one is a black and red slim style, nothing too fancy about it, basic side wings, pure red engine, a few prongs on the top. Um, again, it's not the sort of one that I'm going to pick up, but still we're documenting it for anyone that may be interested in this. So, moving on. Next. Okay, now number 17, another Class A ship here for you. Again, this is a black and red one, like the previous, but this one's got more beef to it beautiful looking from the top i like those spiky bits at the front the uh red is extended across the thrusters the wingtips the engine uh really nice looking ship if you're into collecting this style what do you think of this moving on next okay number 18 another class a ship for you uh this one is a black and white one similar to the ones previously just shown uh, if you're into black and white, this would make a nice addition if you do like this style. Only Class A this version. I'm sure there's a Class S down there if you do like it. What do you reckon? Moving on. Next. Now at number 19, we have another Class A ship for you. This is another black uh, and red hauler. Uh, again, that nice solid light at the front. I do like that. Predominant front uh, with the spikes coming out there. Multiple layers of wings. Uh, you do have the prongs on the rear as well. What do you think? Next. Okay, here we go now with number 20. Another red and black hauler. This time with an extra accent of white added. Uh, again, it has the prongs on the rear. This one is not solid on the top or the bottom like the previous. So chances are it will split apart and form a claw. But I didn't take this one for a test flight. Um, I'm pretty sure it's red. It might be orange, but you can see what I can see. Next. Now, number 21, another Class A ship here. Again, if you like these slim style ones, this is a very striking blue, black, and white version. Um, very simple, very elegant. Um, I do have a few black and whites, but no room for this one. Next. Number 22, another Class A, a Class A that I definitely won't be picking up. Uh, another one of those ones with a big solid light on the front but other than that it's all very basic i don't like the ones like i've mentioned in a previous video where you can't tell the front and the back when you're looking at it from the side not for me what do you think of it though moving on next number 23 class a ship coordinates and portal address all shown at the top of the screen now this one is red black and white it doesn't have the full size dragon wings unfortunately but still if you like this style uh, it's definitely worth a check out um, it could be orange based on the planet lighting it's very very red and orange but you can see what i can see what do you think moving on next okay number 24 another class a ship coordinates and address shown at the top of the screen this one, another red, black, and white dragonfly, except this one has more white uh, on the wings. Now, again, it looked red, but it could have been orange. And at night time, again, that looks red. You can see what I can see. What do you think? Hmm, I think it's red. Moving on, next. Okay, now this one is a very small, basic red bug with very basic red wings and a very solid red light. So, if you like red, and you like basic, here you go. It's red, it's basic, it's a Sentinel ship. Now, this one is 100% red. I checked multiple times, just in case, but it's definitely red. Moving on, next. 
Okay, now we have a class B ship here. This is a baby blue, maybe mint green and black hauler. Again, very basic, um, but horses and courses and all that, maybe it's for you. Next. Okay, moving on to number 27, another class B ship. Location and coordinates, again, shown at the top of the screen. Uh, predominant top prongs, extended thrusters, uh, nothing fancy about the wings at all, but it does look okay from the top. Uh, just no room for it in my collection. Definitely not for me. Next. Okay, now we have definitely this time an orange and black dragonfly. This one does have the full size dragon wings. Also, that has the hauler rear at the bottom. So it's half hauler, half dragonfly. Uh, plenty of thrusters. Um, if you like orange and black, it's not a bad little ship. Next. And number 29 now, we have a class B ship here again. Location and coordinates shown on the top of the screen. This one is another blue and black simple slimline one. Just a bug body, no rear engine extended. Uh, thruster, prongs, double layers of black wings. Very nice spiky top. Hmm, what do you think? Next. Okay, number 30, we have a class B ship here now. Uh, this is a dark blue and green, maybe. Again, the planet lighting might be throwing this off, but bizarre combination at first glance. Uh, looks pretty nice other than that. Color, hmm, what's going on there? Moving on, yeah, next. Okay, number 31, another class A ship here. Coordinates and portal address, top of the screen. Okay, this one is an orange, white, and black hauler. Definitely one that wouldn't make it into my collection. Uh, but here we are. Is it your cup of tea? Let me know. Moving on. Next. Okay, number 32. Back to class A again. This is blue, white, and black. Um, it's not a bad looking ship, if I'm honest. It's okay. I mean, there's no room for it in my collection. Uh, I'm very limited now, and my choices are very, very, very fussy. But this, it's not bad. Next. Okay, this is a B class. This is, in my eyes, a very ugly ship, but I'm sure in every ship from the journey. Green and black. Location, portal address shown at the top of the screen. Um, just green doesn't work for me. I have not got a single green ship in my collection as of yet. No, sir. Moving on. Next. Okay, now, here we go. Number 34, another orange, black, and white dragonfly style. No thrusters on the side of the wings. Full-size main dragon wings, though. Just the bug body. Take note of that with the exhaust, so no rear extension on the engine itself. Quite a simple, elegant dragonfly. Um, if that was any other color, maybe. But next. Right, number 35, another Class A ship here. Again, address, coordinates, top of the screen. This one is a blue and black hauler style. Very simple, but very elegant. Um, if I was collecting blues and blacks, would I take this one? Maybe, but I think I've found better ones than that so far. Yeah, next. Okay, now number 36, we are looking at a bright yellow slim ship this is similar to the yellow of the two previous dragonflies i showed earlier so this would match that collection but it's very basic very simple not a lot going on but i know horses courses everyone likes different styles different colors i mean do you like it does anyone like this one next okay number 37 a class b ship but this is a true dragonfly ship it is green and yellow with the extended pincers on the front. Um, so yeah, I mean, if you want a dragonfly to look like a dragonfly, I mean, then I guess this is the right color. But it's not for me, not the color. Moving on, next. Okay, number 38, class B again. Uh, this is a light blue, baby blue, it looks like, but it could be the light, uh, white and black slim style ship. It does have the very nice top. I do like that style, especially when you're looking from above uh, on the predominant front there. Uh, very simple side wings. Next. 
Okay, now we have another dragonfly. This one is a Spider-Man one, and it has the hauler extension. Well, not really a hauler extension, it just has the, the extension of half of a hauler. Uh, so they probably split apart once in the air. Uh, very nice, full-size dragon wings. Do you like Spider-Man? Mm -hmm. Next. Okay, number 40, we have a light blue and yellow wingless ship here. Uh, class C. Um, um, it's metal, I guess. Not for me. Moving on. Next. Okay, now number 41, we have a class A ship. This one is yellow, black, and white coordinates and address shown at the top of the screen won't be going in my collection um, too much yellow I like yellow and black but that's too much yellow um, what about you do you like this one nah didn't think so moving on next okay number 42 another class B ship this one is orange black and white now this was popular in a previous video but the red version there's one that I found like this the little pipes on the side of the wings very simple very elegant but I don't think the orange one is going to be as popular uh, and I didn't even find a better version than the B how depressing moving on next okay number 43 we have a B class pale blue slimline style very basic uh, very simple no additional thrusters on the wings no prongs no exhaust it does have the extended thrusters on the bottom but that's all that's really all it's got going for it. Moving on. Next. Okay, number 44. Class A ship once again. Coordinates and address shown at the top of the screen. This is a very nice looking yellow and black. Simple style, but it has the claw feet. Um, in the air, it does look really nice. Um, the wings do drop down just a slight amount, but very sleek, very sexy. What do you think of this one? Moving on. Next. Okay, now at number 45, we have another Class A ship. This is a yellow and blue, I believe. It's like that bright yellow. Or oh, maybe it's a green. The planet lighting really does throw, but it looks like a green and blue or a yellow and blue. Either way, I don't want it. Get away from me. Next. Okay, number 46, Class B ship. This one is a red and black and slightly white hauler. Uh, no thrusters on the wings, dual layer of wings though, you've got your prongs, the solid top, predominant front, um, bit basic, I've definitely found better on the travels, uh, nah, moving on, next. Okay, class B again here at number 47, this one is yellow and grey and red, maybe navy blue, I can't say I've seen, no, it's not even red, it's I don't even know what colour this is, if I'm honest with you. It's different, it's basic, but it's not for me. Moving on, get rid of it. Next. Number 48. Now we have a Class S ship here. This is red and black. Uh, the description I wrote for this one was red and black, slim, pointy. Well, I wasn't wrong, was I? Uh, those top thrusters are extended thanks to the top predominant front. Nothing fancy about it at all, really, in terms of the wings. Nice and simple. On the top view, it looks all right. But no one looks at their ship from the top when they're flying. What do you reckon of this? Next. Okay, number 49. We have a Class S ship here. Location and address shown at the top of the screen. Again, one that I wouldn't touch with a barge pole. It's slightly different. You've got the pincers at the bottom. They're extended. You have the extended top. Extended rear thrusters, top and bottom, two layers of wings, white and black. But other than that, the color kills it. It could have done a few extra thrusters on the wings. Um, no, 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 no. Next. At number 50, Class B ship, blue and black. Very basic. Now, I'd love to know anyone that's watching who will admit to liking this style of ship. This basic, very little style of ship. Now, I know everyone's got different styles, but I'm curious to know who actually likes these. Hmm? Now, as for the pet on this planet, check this one out. It's kind of a slash between a dinosaur and a dragon, I guess. Either way, funky colours, funky looking pet. It's mine. Do you like it? Moving on, next. Okay, number 51, another Class B ship here. 
uh, white, black, and a very light green. Maybe a very, very pale blue. Either way, uh, not my style at all. Um, if you like them basic like this, and you like this color, then you know, fair play to you and all that. Maybe go to Specsavers. Next. All right, now number 52. This one is yellow and orange. Again, a bizarre combination. Not sure why it's together. Definitely not a combination I would want together. Not going in my collection. Have you got the time of day for this? <laughs> Hope not. Moving on. Next. Okay, number 53. This is a orange, black, and white. Very sleek looking ship. Uh, it's got three layers of wings, multiple thrusters, exhaust, mini wings, the sexy looking top. Uh, what do you reckon? And that concludes the third part of this journey. So, maybe one or two more ahead. We'll see. It's getting very tough now based on the fact that I have 12 slots crammed with treasures. All Sentinel ships. All amazing, which makes it very tough for me now to decide which ones to swap out. So my question to you, on my next journey, what style, what color, what features are you looking for in your ships? If I know where to put that extra effort in, I will put in that extra effort. All ships are Euclid based now and going forward. Um, upgrades can be done for free in the difficulty settings. Go to purchases, set to free, apply. So if you want to go from a C, B, A to an S, you can do that for free. So don't worry. As always, thanks for watching. Like the video, subscribe. And I'll see you on the next ship hunting journey. Bye for now.